happening? Oh. Hold on. <laughs> I guess it's boy. Hold on. There we go. Hi, other dog always sadly forgot the name of oh that's Wolfie. Wolfie and Smokey. Wolfie and Smokey. Hello. Good morning. Hey, hold on. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Good morning. Are we all doing good? Hi, Lexan. Mermaid Krug. Monk. Um, Nala Sewa. Hello. Uh, Jamal, hello. Hi, Beastie. Red Hood Xenox. Oh. Oh, marshmallows, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Krabby, hello. Light high. Sardine, hello. I hope we're all doing good. Welcome. Chelsea, hi. Hi, Corin. How are you? I want to nap, but I need to read textbook. I don't have enough time for both. Oh, no. No, I'm sorry. Hopefully, the textbook isn't too bad to get through. You had pho for lunch? Oh. Turns out the restaurant also had good iced coffee. Oh my gosh. Uh, that sounds wonderful, Krug. Sounds absolutely wonderful. So, hi, everyone. I hope you're all doing good. These new things give me life. Please keep slaying. Thank you, Krabby. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. You're so sweet. Still obsessed with your hair. Thank you, Sarah. Slay! Slay! Mwah. Hi. You have strawberries in your bed. I do. Yeah, they're cute little strawberries. Uh, I apologize for bringing my awful, awful weather to your coast. Listen, bestie, I love it. I've been loving the rain. <laughs> I like rainy weather because we don't get any of it. So as long as it's just rain and not intense storming, I'm happy. California can always use the rain. I'm sad I missed stream yesterday, but you're here now. You're here now, BC, so you can hang out with us today. Hi, Dragon. How are you? Sunny, hi. Welcome in. Uh, I had flood warnings at the shop half of the days I've been here. Yeah, we always have flood warnings, though. That's because anytime it rains, there's flood warnings because we're not built for rain, really. So, like, but it's not like um, it hasn't been so, so, so bad, but that it's been like mudslide territory yet, which is nice. I didn't know you were in Cali, too. That's awesome. It's raining here for me as well. I am. Yeah, I'm in Southern California. Yep, yep, yep. It's 53. Yeah, it's kind of chilly today. I kind of thought about putting a long sleeve on. You can have the rain that's about to hit here. I'll take it. Worse than yesterday other than that great nor. Dragon, you're not allowed to feel worse. Uh, you're not allowed to feel worse. I'm sorry. I hope you feel better. Mwah. <clears throat> I've run mudslides up here a little further north. My boss is running to one. Yeah, I'm sure there are rounds. <clears throat> do you at least have medicine dragon? Yeah, do you? <gasps> Hi, nature. How are you? Welcome in. Good morning. Smokey's so cute. He's a precious baby. I took yesterday off to go to Ikea and other places with my family. I got a new desk and a uh, bookcase in my room. <gasps> I still have to build that bookcase tonight because it took four hours to do the desk. Oh, geez, bestie. But you did it. You did it. I'm proud of you. You have a whole new desk. Let's go. We love. I love your necklaces. Thank you. It's one like giant necklace and I love it because it makes it so easy to put on. Smokey is blending in. Yep. Yep. Because mommy likes to wear a lot of black. I have meds and a ton of tea that is not yummy but works. At least it works. It's helping. I'm sorry it's not good though. I'm sorry. Hey baby boy. You're so sweet. So sweet and cozy, huh? She a little angel. He's back to looking small again. Yeah, I think it's the weather. Uh, the weather. I think it's the angle. <laughs> this cold weather can go away now, Kate. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Nard spring. Spring is rainy. <laughs> I think this is like the first time 
in a long time. California has actually got like spring. We're only two days into spring though, so. I'm like, hello, are you okay? The tummy problems too, Rip, yeah. But I hope you feel better soon, Dragon. I'm sorry. I'm writing uh, a book about hurricanes, but at the moment it's only a small draft. Just stop it. Hi, Omni, welcome in. I hope you're doing good. Hi, Hannah. Why didn't that go? Why didn't the little burp, 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 burp go, you know? Or no. Oh, wait. Because I think Mix It Up crashed. Hold on. I think it crashed. Hold on. Bestie. Bella. Where the hell have you been, little girl? <laughs> Hold on. Bestie, can you end? There we go. Jeez. Hold on. Um. Wait. Stop. No, it's not already running. Hold on. I'm having issues. Uh, whatever continue writing this instance okay hold on y'all might get double uh double nuggies today some of y'all anyways i have to reopen it because it crashed so i don't normally do this but it was too good to pass up on so <laughs> My thighs and prayers, thanks. It's trying to open again. Hold on. Okay, you should be able to do your nuggies now. Do them now. Um, Let me um go in here and uh, do a thing for you. Hold on. Hold on, besties. Let me go and um up the number to two. Let me up it to two for now so people who um, redeemed it can get one at least. So if you redeemed it and didn't go, do it again because it was broken. <clears throat> Just to make sure y'all get it. The bot crashed. <clears throat> oh my goodness. <laughs> Got enough cute flus for the rest of the class? No, no, Ferret, sorry. They're all mine. <laughs> all mine. Hi, Kate, by the way. I hope you're doing good. Good morning. I hope you're doing absolutely wonderful. I love you. I adore you. Hi, Nia. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Um, Got my confirmation that I'm no longer a Twitch affiliate. So that's neat. Got, I hit hard on taxes, so decided to call it quits. All oh, sardine. I'm sorry. They are tough. They're absolutely tough. All right. 110, yeah. Some people have a lot. A lot to lots. Make sure y'all get your nuggy again, okay? Because if you redeemed it at the beginning of stream, you need to do it again. Because, um... Uh, my bot crashed, so it wasn't actually giving it to y'all. It was just letting you redeem it. So if you um, did it earlier, make sure you do it again. Just to make sure, because it, it crashed. Mm -mm. Hi, Steph. Hello. How you doing? Kiridactyl, hi. Hello. What are nuggies? They're a daily check-in. Um, so you get one every stream. One every stream. So it's like a, a tally of how many you've been to if you've been remembering to do your nuggies. So Monk has been to 109 streams. 109 streams. Bragging rights. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Marshmallows, I thought that said you had 3,000 nuggies. And I was like, dang, bestie. <laughs> I was like, have I even streamed that many? <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy. Hey, what? Why are you growling? Why are you growling? Huh? Why are you growling? 
I don't understand. But how is everyone doing? How is your Friday? So this is my first time I redeemed my nuggies. Is it marshmallows? I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you for doing it. As you should. Do you want down, baby? What the heck? When you get a thousand nuggies, you can trade them at any participating McDonald's for an IRL nuggie happy meal. Yeah, a thousand for one happy meal, for sure. That's not a scam. Here you go. Okay. All right. <laughs> a thousand streams. How many is that's over three? That's so that's so many. That's over three years because I don't know how many days in a year I stream. I stream every day except for weekends. Usually, I don't know how many that is. How many weekdays are there in a year? I'm guessing like 300. So then that's over three years of streams. That's wild. Dietix that I can trade in my internet nuggies for real nuggies. This hair on that shirt and your necklace and choker situation swoon. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. Thanks. Thanks. Sarah, you're so cute. I adore you. When is 60 getting sponsored by McDonald's? Oh, that'd be great. The dream, truly. Hi, Moonflower. How are you? How you doing? Welcome in. I hope you're doing absolutely amazing. Um, 69 days a year. Totally accurate. Yes. Yes. Where'd you get the necklace needs? Um, I got it on Amazon. I just got it on Amazon. I don't remember what I put in. I put like maybe like chunky chain necklace or something like that. Something like that. Hi, MB. My day's going good. How are you? How you doing? How's things? All right. I'm going to put the um, nuggies back at one, okay? I'm going to put it back at one now. I think everyone who um, redeemed earlier um, has gotten their second redemption in. Uh, just so I don't accidentally leave it at two for the entirety of the day. <laughs> and also forever because I will forget that I left it that way. Also, I don't know what donuts I should have today, besties. I need y'all to pick. Do we do powdered donuts? Powdered mini donuts. Or these coconut crunch ones. Which my wifey had and she said they kind of give like Samoa vibes just without the chocolates. Powdered donuts in a black shirt is brave. Listen, bestie, I know. I know. I might have to get like a blanket or something. To just like drape over myself. Okay, powdered. The consistency is just powdered. Got it. I will eat the coconut ones tomorrow. Those coconut crunch ones are bomb. They look good. They look really good. I will eat them tomorrow. Um, it is good. I had to get some car repairs done. Just been trying to get work done in between. You got this. I believe in you. I hope the car repairs went good. It is brave, but I do love a powdered donut. Um... I might get like a napkin and try to eat it in the air. I don't know. How am I going to do this? It is brave. You're correct. It's fine. We're going to make it work. Okay. I love powdered raspberry filled. I don't like raspberry. I don't like filled donuts. When I'm extra brave, I end up sticky and covered in powder. Oh, I thought I was leaving, but I have over an hour. Let's go. Let's go, Hannah. We love to see it. Have only feed them to you. Okay, perfect. Put it on your desk and eat it without your hands. That'll protect the shirt. Why are y'all this way? I'm just gonna eat it like this. Mm -hmm. mm. mm, -mm, -mm, -mm. Why are y'all this way? <laughs> Why is dragon this way? Why are y'all this way? You mean. <laughs> you act like you never do the same. There's no way I'm going to eat all six of these donuts. That is not happening. 
I am well behaved. Sure, 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 sure. Or sure, sure. Mm hmm. Yeah. Why are y'all this way? It's your community, bestie. So I take no responsibility for this. I've been reading FDA regulations all week and I have to get my kicks somewhere. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. I would have eaten half of them already. I'm not a huge like donut person in general, so. I barely slap, so expect, I don't even know what to expect. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I expect you to pass out soon and go beb. That's what I expect. You're like this way too. You just don't know it yet. Are we sure? <laughs> no, no. I think this energy came completely unwarranted from nowhere. It definitely could not be a reflection of me and my energy. There's no way that's possible. <laughs> That'd be weird. <laughs> mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I agree. It's Smokey's energy. Yep. See? It's not my fault. It's Smokey's fault. <laughs> Hi, Magsy. How are you? Welcome in. Hello. Can we order a new sandwich for Sarah? I would love to do that. I would love to do that. Because that sandwich looked so sad and upsetting. I'm so sad about my sandwich. I'm going to sue for you, okay? Don't worry. Hi, Drago. How are you? Welcome in. We've all seen your Discord. We won't stand these lies. I don't know what you're talking about. It took me three years to get us this far. Don't ruin it, chat. <laughs> I had a nothing sandwich for lunch. Oh, so you and Sarah had the same lunch. So you and Sarah had the same lunch. Perfect. Beautiful. <clears throat> More strange odd dreams last night? Really? I Why? You. Why? I love you too. I'm glad you're enjoying your time here. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you're doing good. <clears throat> Um, don't mind me if I don't comment right now. It's super and silent time for me. Yeah, do your thing. Do your thing, Chelsea. I appreciate you. Thanks for being here. I left over pizza for lunch, and that was definitely better last night. No, all oh, rip. I hate that. I hate when the leftovers just don't left over. Just come to NM and visit me, and we'll get you a new sandwich because Jimmy John's here is actually good. That would be great, Lexa. There you go. And it's an excuse to go uh, see... Lexa, so. May have added something to your going live tweet. Happy takes plus takes being live now. Just a happy chat. Aw, Drago. You're so cute. Why are we going so hard, bestie? Okay. We're going hard in the morning for some reason. We're on the lo-fi playlist. This song said, no, <laughs> lo-fi, absolutely not. We're going lo-fi house music. Like, bestie, chill, relax, God. Okay. Lexa doesn't care if I'm sticky and covered in powder. True. Lexa actually might encourage it. <laughs> so... Besties, I'm going to eat like two of these donuts. I've eaten one and I'm just like, I can't. I'm <sighs> um, actually this feature based, not house. Krug, I knew you were going to do that. You stinky butthole. <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> I hate here. I also remembered I've been following you for over a year now because March 18th marks one year. Ooh, that's a while. Dang, Drago. Not the stinky butthole. Krug is a stinky butthole. The way I laugh when you call people stinky buttholes. <laughs> it's the best insult. Or a stale Pop-Tart. Yeah.
These donuts, donuts are so thick. I don't even know how people do this every, all, like I don't, I just can't. <clears throat> Hi guys, how are you? Keep the donuts in front of you, eat a donut every break. Yeah, maybe. I'm gonna eat like two of them. I usually go for soggy pop tart. Ugh, soggy pop tart, ew. I really need to remember the stale pop tart. You do, Hannah. You need to use it as an insult because how do you come back from that? <laughs> how do you come back from someone calling you a stale pop tart? You don't. You just cry. That's it. Soggy pop tart is yuck. Fair. Soggy pop tart, stale pop tart, both. Yeah. Um. To be fair, we EDM genre nerds are very aware of the fact that we are stinky balls. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. As long as you're self-aware. Um, in less than an hour is my next meeting. Nor, gosh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Is that your last meeting of the day? Hopefully, I gotta go get my uh for breakfast for my dad. I'll be by soon. Okay, I'm fine. Travel safe, all that stuff. I appreciate you. Soggy cookies. Mmm. But soggy cookies, depending on the cookie, like could be good. Cause I mean, you put cookies in milk. If you don't shower and show up to the pit, we kick you out. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. My last meeting was supposed to be four hours ago, but this one just got. Ew. Well, hopefully that's the last one. Hello. Hopefully that's it. My brain is confusing this song and a Mario song. What Mario song, I wonder? Hi, Frezzo. How are you? The good news is tennis tonight. Let's go. Let's go. We love that. I hope you have the best time. Here's a comeback for stale pop tart. At least at one point I was tasty, unlike you. I guess. I guess. <laughs> that would work though. 45% meaning percent meaning at this time. Great. No, not allowed. <laughs> not allowed. You have to keep it under 50% at least. What? What's your problem? You have to go potty? Because you didn't go potty when I took you out to go potty 30 minutes ago? Hold on. He has to go potty. One second. Okay, he's good. <clears throat> he's goob. Progress. What are y'all doing? Living with one monitor is much worse than I thought it would be. Oh, yeah. No, it's bad. What did you used to have before, Gash? Do you? Smokey. No. No. Absolutely not. Did you just have two before? Or were you three? I don't remember. I'm assuming two. I had two of them um, with one being an ultra wide. Got it. Okay. 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 That makes sense. That's fair. Okay. Yeah. Switching in from two to one is really tough. I had to switch from like three to two one time and phew, oh my gosh, I about lost my mind. Now I'm just down to my normal non ultra wide. That's even worse. Friday, everything will be solved. Hopefully it comes by quickly. I don't think I could do it. I couldn't do it either. Well, I specifically couldn't do it because streaming and stuff, but like, yeah, also no. No way. I'm so used to three monitors now. I use them all like literally constantly. Like this monitor when I'm streaming is for chat in my dashboard. This one is for my game and this is for OBS. So all my stream monitoring stuff. When I'm not streaming, this is where like my right monitor is where Discord is. 
My main monitor is where my game is, and my left monitor is whatever YouTube video I'm watching. So. <laughs> yep. There was a game going on in a place I didn't recognize, an empty theater backstage. There were these Zelda-like puzzles that were opening doors and stuff. Turns out I was creating the puzzles, not solving them. For some kid I don't know. Oh, while that was going on, my family setting up my family was setting up the show to the same place. Oh, interesting, Xenox. Interesting. Huh. Well, that's kind of cool, though. Oh, so hi, Sapphire. Hi, Glenn. Welcome in. I don't think I could do what I want. Five monitors. I flip between three and two at this point. I feel that, yeah. I have three and an entire extra laptop just for Tixie. I'm honored. Three at work, which is best. Two at home, which is sad. You need three at home. That part is going to be a wild ride, but we didn't talk about that. It's going to be great. You're going to be fine. It's going to be fantastic. You're happy. I'm glad. I'm glad you're having a good day. I'm overwhelmed by two monitors. How do you... I don't know. I just... I just Three is like the perfect amount. If my desk at home was bigger, I'd have three. Three is perfect. Yeah, it's really nice. Three at work and three at home, but at least at home, I have the bonus laptop. I work. I have to use the phone. Ew, a phone. Hi, Arsene. How are you? I have one 28 inch monitor. I want another one, but it would not fit anywhere. Yeah, I had to rearrange like my whole entire room to get these monitors to fit. Um, The place was somewhere I remembered being in. So I guess my mind created it. Yeah, maybe. I think two per computer is nice or is perfect. A third for a second PC is perfect as well. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I have. This third monitor that I have is set up to both my streaming computer so when my streaming computer is on, that monitor is directed to my streaming computer. But when my streaming computer is off, that's on my um, my gaming computer. So I usually have access to all three. Three on a single PC is a bit much sometimes. I love three on a single PC. I love it. Adore it, truly. I need three. <laughs> I always have three. Stray cat I'm trying to find a home for is going to have kittens. Oh, that's cute. It's, uh, it's cute. I wish them all the health. I don't think I could do three monitors if it weren't for my monitor arm. Um, For the big one and the window seal while I purchased the middle one. Fair, fair. Have you ever posted a photo of your setup? Um, Have I? I don't know if I posted a photo. I know I have, um, let me see. Um, okay, this is an old picture, but it hasn't changed much other than like aesthetic. Like I don't have that same mouse pad. I don't have that same keyboard or anything like that. Um, and my lights are different, but this is a... This is the general vibe of my setup. Oh God, hold on. My phone is always so bright, sorry. Hello. There you go. I post in Discord when you can show it on stream. Okay, well I'll do both. Uh, I'll do both. For anyone who's not a... Uh... Hi, Tris. Hello. I want that camera. I love this camera so much. I do love it. Discord. Share in... Jesus. Where is my own Discord? Flew for me, Astros. Share to... Where's technology? Where are you at? What? Okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Let me navigate to it. Uh, media recommendations, technology. Okay. Let me find the picture again. Hold on. <laughs> Computer. There you go. There, it's in there. 
But yeah, that's how my setup is. So I have the three monitors on like an arm like that. I got my um, stream decks in front of me. My mixer's over here. My camera's right there in the middle. My webcam is now over here now. It's not there anymore. It's on this side for cat cam and then the lights. So. <clears throat> They're all so cute. Thanks. Hi, Kira. How's everyone doing? Good. How are you? Welcome in. I hope you're doing absolutely amazing. I probably could, but I, I like having some space on my desk too. That's fair. That's fair. That makes sense. Let's all clean our desks and start our setups. Yeah, I can't take, I cannot show you my setup right now. It is so messy. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way. Absolutely not. That's so cute. I like it. Thanks. My brother and his girlfriend may adopt her and named her Haru because when I met her, I met her in spring. Oh, nice. Also, hi, Tris. I hope you're doing good. Hideaway, hello, welcome. I found an old baby bell in the back of the fridge. I'm eating it. I hope I want it. Bestie, why? Did you check it? Did you check it to make sure it's good? Hi, Monty. Welcome in. How you doing? Hi, hi, hi. Hello. I'm guessing your photo is from the stream perspective with there being two Discord windows and all. And OBS in the background. Why are you, why are you investigating it so much? <laughs> yeah, that's when my stream computer was on. I was sending myself like resources. I have a channel that I um just like send myself things. So I was sending myself stream deck icons. You can see them there. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> But yeah, that's when my other computer is on. My other um, monitor is on my stream PC. Feeling blood today. How are you? I'm doing good. Uh, I'm doing good. I'm sorry you're feeling bad. I hope you feel better. Where did you get your monitor stands uh, that they're on? I need them. Um, I was also from Amazon. I can probably find it. Um, it's like a three pronged thingy. It's like it's a one. It's one thing. Hold on. For all three. Oh, the white and clear things. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. The monitor. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on. No, 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 no. Um, hold on. Just kidding, just kidding. Sorry. Yeah, the monitor stands, not the monitor arm. My bad. Um, let's see. Monitor riser. Um, I have two different ones. One is an older one, but the the ones in the middle are nicer because they have USB ports on them. Um, cool. They're unavailable, but yeah, they're also on Amazon. They're called a man monitor riser. Monitor riser is what you want to look for. Um, and then just put like USB. And you can probably find some that are glass with the white. That's the aesthetic I went for, but they have a lot of them. Just, yeah, look for a monitor riser. That's usually the terminology they use. <clears throat> There's a lot of options on there. I have a laptop riser and then a monitor arm for my big boy monitor. Ooh. Yeah, there's a lot of nice ones on here. You just got to kind of look for the aesthetic you're looking for and also um, see if they have the USBs and stuff. But there's some that look like mine. They're just not white and uh, glass. Kind of hard to adopt a cat when you're allergic. Yeah, that would make it more difficult. I think you have the exact same monitor arms that I do. Oh, do we? <laughs> Where it holds all three. If I'm starting to, um, if I'm not starting to get back tomorrow, I'll be out for 10 days. I'll definitely take that time to clean my desk. Don't think I have since I moved in. I'm sorry, dragon. I really hope you are feeling better tomorrow, though. <clears throat> I need one with the USB ports. Yeah, they're super nice. Uh, tell me why I have the same takeout napkin on my desk right now, too. Wait, what takeout napkin? Y'all are analyzing this picture from, like, literally a year ago that I don't even know what you're talking about. What are you? Why? Why? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Feeling blah myself. My son went into the ER at 1.30 on Sunday. <gasps> he has pneumonia. So it has started off as a craptastic weekend. He's on meds and fluids and resting a lot. It's great to see y'all, y'all. I will be lurking as we're driving to pick up lunch at the moment, Kira. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I hope, um, I hope you recover soon and then it gets better. I hope you're doing okay. I know you're not... You know, you're not going to be 100%, but I hope you're doing the best that you can. Y'all will both get through this. I'm so sorry, though. 
I'm sorry that's going on. Just had a chaotic day. There was a leak in our flat and we had to drop everything and travel there and sort it out. Turned out the leak was from the flat upstairs. I had gone from our bathroom to the shop below. <gasps> Monty Nor, I'm sorry. Why is everything being stinky? I'm so sorry, Monty. I hope there's not too much damage. I hope there's not too much damage. And that it's at least easily fixable. That sucks though. It's stressful nonetheless. <clears throat> but yeah, that's just general setup vibe. <laughs> though again, it's uh, my desk is very messy. And a lot has changed since then, but it's fine. I should just make a hugs command that just does a general hug. Listening to you in chat is making my day better. Thank you. Of course. Uh, we're absolutely here for you to give you the positive energy. I'm so sorry, though. This is starting to be a heckin' start to the season right now. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with spring. Okay, I need to eat one more donut and drink my coffee. One more donut and coffee. I'm not going to be able to eat all these. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I have a picture of my super old setup. I saw it in here when I was looking for this one. Mm -mm. That's how I used to stream. Because I didn't have desk space. So I had one monitor, one vertical monitor, and a giant TV up there for extra stuff. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Cause I needed somewhere to put OBS. Or at least I think that's where I put it. There. I don't remember what I put on the third monitor. I did like having a vertical monitor for chat though. It was really nice. <laughs> I did what I could with the space that I had which was like no space because my desk was along this wall that was like three feet wide <laughs> so I redid my entire room and I put my desk on this wall instead. So there's a lot more space now. And my desk is huge and could be bigger. My desk could technically be bigger. <clears throat> I'm thinking even older than like pre Golex Lar and that desk that has its own riser or something. I think you were still two monitors also. I don't know. I mean, that's been my setup for the longest time. It Before that, it looked exactly the same. It just didn't have the TV or the GoXLR. It looked exactly like that, though. <clears throat> for the longest time. Until, like, there was a point, one point where I got, I only had one monitor, but you didn't know me then. Because it wasn't for long. <laughs> it was not for long. I'm going to move Tixie to my TV. Might as well. Hi, Bubble. How are you? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Friend from the North says she wants to live in the desert. I'm like, no, you don't. You would have a heat stroke here. <laughs> One time my mom's steering wheel melted just sitting in the sun. Yeah, it gets really hot. Like the pain of having your steering wheel being so hot that you cannot drive. <laughs> you got to get like gloves on or like try to just, yeah, no. It's fine, but like it gets hot and people just have to be prepared for that because a lot of people's bodies just aren't really used to it with how hot it gets suddenly and like so quickly. You know what I mean? Like you got to be prepared because yeah, heat stroke is no joke. Absolutely no joke. <clears throat> we have two huge desks that my husband built. We have four monitors on one desk. Dang, four. Let's go. Let's go, Tris. 
You're living the life of luxury. You love to see it. I'm so good. I hope you're swell. I'm doing good. Thank you. I'm doing good. Thank you. Um, we're talking climate change. I just moved from Texas to Michigan. Oh, dang. That's definitely a wild change, huh, Bubble? That's a wild difference. Yeah. How are you liking it, though? Like, maybe if you have a pool. Maybe, yeah. Growing up, my friends had a pool, so I would go over there in the summer to go swimming, and we literally poured ice in the pool because the water was too hot. Jeez. Yeah, that sounds about right. That makes sense, Mermaid. Yep. I never had a pool growing up, but I had a lot of friends with him. So I was always at their house in the summer for sure. My son heard you say bubble and asked if you were talking to him. His name is Brody. Oh, well, I hope Brody feels better. Hi, Amber. Looking like a dark wood elf today. I'm so here for it. Hi, Amber. How are you? How you doing? How's your day? I have many aesthetic here. I go from being like very cutesy uwu or very like earth tones to very just like dark <laughs> I can't choose one, so I'm them all. Can't choose an aesthetic, so I am all aesthetics. Thank you. <laughs> do I have gauged ears? I do. I've had them since I was like 16 or something like that. I'm having forever. Forever, forever. <clears throat> I need to get some new um uh new gauges soon though. Just looking new options. I've never noticed what size they they're um double zero. I always forget if they're zero or double zero. <laughs> I always forget. I think they're double zero. Double zero? They're one of those. Hold on. Gage. They are <clears throat> double zero. Yep. <laughs> Not me pulling up my Amazon history to see what size I bought recently. <laughs> Every time I buy new gauges, I have to go like type in gauges in my Amazon results and real like figure out what size I bought because I never remember. <sighs> Double zero. Just a few months ago, I regaged my ears. Let's go. We love it. I love having gauged ears. I like them a lot. They just are so cute. I don't know. I like them. I like them and I like the size that they are and I like that like um if I wanted to wear regular earrings I can't wear like I can't wear like a like a stud obviously but if I wanted to wear regular earrings as long as they have a little hook you could just like hook them in there and you can have little dangles and then you have the best of both worlds cute so love it here I was never an earring person though so that's why I gauged my ears Cause like, I'm not a dangly earring person. I'm not like a stud earring person. So I just was like, fudge it. I'm literally losing nothing to have ear gauges because I don't wear earrings anyways. So I just have these, which are just black with like little rhinestones on them. This is good enough. I have a double zero. I have double zero too. Let's go. Not us all having double zeros. I love this for us. As we should. Why did I have to come into gauged ears? Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> do it, Lily. Hi, Lily. How are you? My second holes are 2G. I want to get a second hole. You know what I also really wanted for a long time in my life is an industrial piercing, but I don't know if my ear is fit for it. And also, I'm really terrified of getting a cartilage piercing. So <laughs> my ears all of a sudden hated regular earrings. So I said, screw it and regaged them. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough, Hannah. Honestly, don't blame you. Um, do you find a lot of cute jewelry in double zero? I'm a zero and thinking about going bigger. Yeah, I wouldn't say the selection is too much different, RCN. At least from what I've seen, most things that I've bought offer double zero and also zero. But I don't know. Maybe. Maybe there's cuter jewelry in double zero. <clears throat> maybe possibly. I work in a lawyer's bestie. They'd fire me. They won't know. Just get those nude ones to put in when you go to work. My wife has zero, but now she wants to do double zero. Do it. Do double zero. Mine are zero. Guess I got to size up one. Y'all got to y'all gotta match us. Yeah. So all of y'all that are at zero got to go to double zero. <laughs> it is in the rules. Thank you. Because we all have to be at double zero. I'm wearing the same gauges. Are you? Oh, my God. Twins. 
I can't do industrial. Oh, your ears can't. That sucks. Don't. I wanted industrial for ages. The hole they can see through. They would never know. Okay, it would be it would be nude, but like full. <clears throat> it would just make it look like you, like unless they're like analyzing your earlobe, they would never know. Now, where's my big old beer? There you are. Yes. <clears throat> Literally the exact same word you get yours probably on Amazon. <laughs> I get everything there. I wear a hoop. I love hoops. Oh, they're so pretty. Love, love, love. I almost dropped my phone. Chelsea, no. My hair and tattoos are already against the uniform policy. So what you're saying is then it doesn't matter because you're already breaking the rule. I'm not good at the whole photo thing. Where would hair photos go? Selfies? You can put it in selfies. You can put it in beauty if you want to put it in beauty. <clears throat> Whichever. Thank you for the water, mermaid. I appreciate you so much. Not my cat yoinking my scissors. Why is your cat yoinking scissors? That's concerning. Let's not do that. Ay, ay, ay. Let's not steal scissors. <laughs> Goodness. But yeah, I need to get new new gauges though, because these ones are great and I do love them. I need to at least just buy a new set of them. Um, because some of the rhinestones are like falling out on one of them. I think it's this one. There's some that are like missing, so I need to get. I have a photo of Kay's hair. Oh, yes, we need to see it. I was talking to one of the 50 year old women and I was saying I was dying my hair purple, and they were like, Oh, well, I really prefer this to the green. I didn't like I didn't like it. I hate the pure judgment for everyone. Yeah, I hate that for you. I'm sorry. <gasps> it is so cute. Uh, Oh, I love it. I love the colors. I love the streaks. It looks so, I, I, it just looks iconic. Absolutely iconic. Love it. The color is perfect. It's blended really well too. <laughs> Sarah, I saw your picture. The baby is helping. The baby's helping. Not as you say, yes, we want to see it for a photo of Kay's hair and the flu section lights up. I was about <laughs> that too, that too. Also want to see that. Yes. She needed it to be professional since she's a manager. Imagine having to be professional and not have colored hair in a certain way because you're a manager. It doesn't matter. I had to share him helping. He's such a good helper. The best helper. Ollie is also helping by sitting back there napping. And Wolfie is in here? Yep. Wolfie is also in here and helping. <laughs> Both of them. I have a very adult big girl job with purple hair and three nose piercings. Heck, anyone who says you can't do that. Yeah, no. Living in the past. Where's the hair photo I want to see and I can't find it? Um, If you go into under discussions and then go to your beauty and fashion, it's in there. <clears throat> Do, 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 do. Ollie was being help in the next YouTube episode. Oh my God, Ollie. Ollie was just, he was so much the last time I was trying to record. He was so much. Not like necessarily in a bad way, but my goodness, it was so hard to start anything. I love Hi, Witchy. You. How are you? How you doing? I also have a pink girl job covered in tattoos, piercings, as you should, because it shouldn't matter. It makes no difference, you know, like whether someone has tattoos and piercings and colored hair, like it literally doesn't matter <laughs> unless you quite literally have like offensive as all heck tattoos all over you or something like, OK, maybe. Yeah, maybe that. But like for the most part, I don't think it should matter either, but I weren't cares for some reason. Yeah. Literally doesn't matter at all and it makes me so mad. Yeah, it's silly. Silly and stinky. It's fine. Maybe one day. To be fair, in some areas, all tattoos are offensive. No, it's not what we're talking about because those people are stinky. Those people are all high and mighty and feeling like they're entitled to other people's bodies. <clears throat> and we don't like that energy because you're not. I've had jobs where I had to cover my tattoos with makeup. Oh gosh, bestie, that seems excessive. I feel like that would just be a lot. 
Because I think I saw in Celeste's Discord, don't you have like a lot of tattoos? Do I have tattoos? I have two. Yeah, I have two. Um, I have one on my back shoulder blade. It is a sunflower and a microphone. Um, and I have one on my ankle that is Artemis. That one I can show you. I can't show you the one on my back, but I can show you the one on my ankle. A little Artemis. <clears throat> um, my wifey has the same tattoo, but it's Luna. We have matching but not matching tattoos. I have none, uh, but I so wish I had one. I want like 10 different tattoos. I feel that. I need another one. <laughs> um, as long as you're dressed professionally and you've uh not got the heaviest makeup, I really don't think anything else should affect your personal job. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> maybe not ticks on your forehead. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Maybe not that. I completely agree with all of you. It's so silly that some professions don't want piercings and tattoos and different hair colorings. And this comes from one who has never colored her hair and had some tattoos and only one classic piercing in her ears. Yeah, because it doesn't, it's silly. It's heckin' silly. My oldest brother is having twins. My brother is having a baby girl, so I get all the auntie lovings later. Oh my gosh, we love. Congrats, Bookie. Congrats on the babies. Love tattoos. Me too, witchy. I'm quite covered up, up to my cuticles and everything. Jeez, yeah, that sounds really excessive. I'm so sorry, Amber. Yeah, that's fair, Lily. I don't like that. Don't like that energy. Which, by the way, don't recommend getting cuticles tattooed. Wait, yeah, you got your cuticles tattooed. That sounds really painful. I will agree. There was an entire sleeve of stamps in there. Nice, Sewa. Um, okay, it is our first break time, which means I'm going to sit here and chug my coffee. <laughs> I'm going to sit here and chug my coffee. Um, we all are going to stare at my face and um, the ads are going to run and then we're going to jump into Disney as soonish. We're not going to jump in right away. We'll finish up conversation, obviously, but um, we're having an ad break. So we're, I'm going to take advantage and drink my coffee. I've been forgetting about do that. I'm honestly apprehensive to get my hands tattooed. Need my right arm done, but then maybe I can think about it. I've been wanting like little, like little knuckle tattoos of like a little crescent moon or something. They're so cute. Or like little dots. Ugh. Anyways. Like they're so pretty. They're so pretty. I love them. And a moth. Of course a moth. I'm bi. I need a moth. <laughs> like, I feel like that's in the bi handbook. Okay. So, yeah. Hi, Lils. <laughs> How you doing? Welcome in. Hello. I have two small finger tattoos and a hand tattoo, but I really want on top finger tattoos. I have no idea what I do, though. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. You have two small finger tattoos, though. What are they? Happy Tuesday, barely. Happy Tuesday, Lils. Uh, my artist friend's got her palms tattooed. <gasps> oh, that would be painful. Oh, no. Because I've accidentally, like, hit my palm on something. Like. Oh, oh, it's just so squishy. I feel like it hurt. I feel like they would hurt. Moth to go with the mini backpacks. Exactly. Exactly, Dragon. Those are both in the handbook. <laughs> I'll share my hands in the Discord. Yeah, I'd love to see. I have no tattoos because I'm a scared little peach. <laughs> and commitment issues. Fair enough, Lils. Fair enough. Fair enough. Also poor, probably. That's my issue anyways. I would have a lot more tattoos, but I'm poor. This is... Uh... I need to save and book um, my leg, but also pay off my PC. Why is money so annoying? I don't know. Money is stinky. Can money just stop? Hashtag poor. <laughs> 
Um, an infinity sign on my left ring finger and a semicolon on my middle finger. Okay, but we love. Uh, semicolon is meaningful. Yeah, that's true. At least I'm assuming that's the reasoning you got it. <clears throat> Liliana, hi. How you doing? Mm, 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 mm. I'm also covered in roses, so fair enough. Correct? Yeah, that makes sense. So let's see. And you did it for an empowerment. That's not basic. <laughs> That's not basic. I think it's really, it's, I like it a lot. Should I also share my back? Bestie, you can share whatever the heck you want to share. Absolutely. Go for it. All the things if you want. Whatever you feel comfortable with. We will absolutely sit here and hype you up. Where do I put them? Um. I guess you can put them in selfies. Selfies would work, I guess. Um, selfies is under photos. I guess I can share all my tattoos. No, then? Now, then? Do you mean now? Well, girl, don't tell me that. <laughs> we put it in creative. You can do creative. You can do selfies. Either one. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'm not too picky about it. Whatever. I have no tattoos, but I want some. Do you have any ideas of what you'd get, Liliana? All the things. Just put it everywhere. I just really want to finish my Disney sleeve, but I'm too poor right now. Fair, fair. A Disney sleeve, though. That's really cute. What kind of stuff do you have on your Disney sleeve? Time to start a tattoo thread. I mean, I'm picky. Do selfies. <laughs> Lils. <laughs> I figured selfies because, like, it's of your body. I don't know. It's of yourself. I have the smallest tattoo of a heart that I got just because I cut at 18. You know what? Proud of you, Tris. As you should. As you should. Yep. I'm sure it's cute, though. We love that. Listen, I'm glad 18-year-old me did not get a tattoo. Because I wanted, like, a... I wanted a tattoo right here of Hello Kitty. Bessie, I'm glad I did not get that. Don't share yet. I'm making a tattoo thread. Are you? What are you going to use as the picture? Like the little icon, the little emoji. It's not, but that's okay. I have a few piercings though. Would have liked more, but well, I mean, I'm pushing 40 in a few years, so that's never too late. And the game traumatized you that much? This was like forever ago. How dare you? 18 year old me got a nose piercing, 20 year old me got another nose piercing. Valid. Absolutely valid. I'll post a photo. Alice in Wonderland, Winnie the Pooh, the Magic Kingdom Clock Tower. Yeah, I want to see. I want to see. Okay, we're doing a tattoo thread, apparently. 18 year old me got an underboob oh, slash wow. rib tattoo for the first tattoo. Bestie, you're wild and you were wild and dang. Uh, a rib tattoo is your first tattoo? Iconic, truly. Proud of you. Jeez. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Welcome in. I have, uh, I know some adults that have Hello Kitty tattoos. No problem with that. Oh, no, no, no. No shame against people who do have Hello Kitty tattoos. I just know that I wouldn't be happy with it in like my current life right now. If I had it, I would probably like regret it and not really vibe with it. You know, that's all. For me personally, I just don't think it would, I don't think I'd want that anymore. I forgot how to make a thread under photos. Oh my God, I'm making it. I hate it here. <laughs> hi, 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 hold on. What do we want as the icon for tattoos, besties? What do you want? We need an emoji. A moth? There's like the butterfly. I can make it a butterfly. I could do a rose or a butterfly. A needle. No, we're not trying to trigger anybody. There's no moth, but there is a butterfly. <clears throat> okay. Um, art, aesthetic, cute. Okay, there's a tattoo thread now. 
um do you need help finding it amber do you need help navigating discord because discord is kind of confusing i'm gonna put it in the channel guide um photos qrst okay it goes after shoesies tattoos there we go <clears throat> there you go you have a tattoos thread now I don't want to have input because I don't even have tattoos. A butterfly is cute. Butterfly works. It doesn't hurt as bad as everyone said. We love that for you. Good, Bookie. I'm glad. I have Care Bears tattoos too. I love that for you though, Marshmallows. I'm sure they look so good. They aren't that bad. The actual sternum is awful. Oh, really? Okay. Huh. I really want to get this done from a baby these days. It honestly didn't hurt. Yeah, I've heard a nose uh, piercings aren't too bad, Tris. I think you should do it. So good thing about piercings is if even uh, they only hurt for a few seconds. True. And the nice thing about piercings too also is like if you don't like it, it's not permanent. You know what I mean? It's not permanent. <clears throat> Yeah, so the way that all of our things are um, organized, Amber, is they are under threads. So if you click on photos, if you click on photos, it should give you a bunch of different threads in there. And then you want to click on the one that you're looking for. I just have it that way so that everyone's feed and Discord isn't like overly cluttered with channels. And you can just choose which ones that you see and which ones you don't see. Um, so yeah, click on the one that says photos. And you should see tattoos in there. It should be at the top because people are top talking in it. <clears throat> I think my big rib tattoo was my third. Ooh. Fortunately, I only have one because a um, year later I had a kid. Never had the time to get another one done. That's valid. That's fair. That's fair, Bookie. Also expense, you know. I had an industrial piercing. I loved it. But I had to take it out because the placement killed me when I wore headphones or my glasses. Ooh, I didn't even think about that, Liliana. Yeah, because I wanted an industrial piercing, but I didn't even think about the fact of like glasses or headphones or like a helmet in any way or anything like that. Anything that goes over your ears. <clears throat> Couldn't breathe well because it stretched the skin, but then it was, then I was tensing. Oh no. I will say with my nose piercing though, it's taken ages to heal because I'm really bad about touching it. Oh, fair, fair. An anklet charm bracelet going around my ankle with my mother and grandmother's initials, Nia. That's so cute. Oh, I love that. Uh, industrials heal so bad and are hard to heal. My sister's was a disaster. Yeah, I've heard because they're cartilage too. So bleh, they just take forever. My two leg uh, and shin tattoos were a solid five plus hours. Proud of you for getting through that though. Worth it, you know. <gasps> Bookie. Bookie, thank you so much for the brand new subby. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for being so sweet. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you for the amazing, wonderful support. I'm trying to post, but Discord is hating me right now. What's it doing? What's it doing? Is it not letting you? Is it saying it doesn't like it's against the guidelines or something? <clears throat> is it? Well, thank you for the brand new sub, Bookie. You're so sweet. Question, Yarsh. Yes, um. Where is it? Hmm. It's just freezing, not loading up. Okay, okay, okay. It's me issue, not your server though. Okay, okay, okay. Because sometimes it doesn't let people post things because it's like, oh, it's um, it's sensitive. I have a picture of my chest sent to you. My boobs are somewhat there, not the nipples. I mean, bestie. you. As long as you're comfy. As long as you're comfy. <clears throat> We're there for the tattoo, so... <clears throat> it's 18 plus bestie so yes as long as you're comfy exactly exactly I just don't ask tigs with the color of anything <laughs> yeah as long as you're comfortable I forgot we're 18 plus now so it's not an issue now no mm -hmm. yeah it's more so just like people's comfort zones you know if you don't mind then you're good <clears throat> Ooh. oh <gasps> 
Oh, wait. Okay, I see. Ooh, I like all your hand tats. <gasps> Lily's sternum is so pretty. Oh, God, I love it. Y'all are going to make me want to get so many more. Oh, <gasps> Kate. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, God. Why are y'all... Why are y'all A, so wonderful and gorgeous? And B, why do y'all have so many uh, incredible tattoos? Hello? <gasps> Kiridactyl, thank you so much for the brand new sub and for using your one free sub here. I appreciate you so much. You're so sweet. Thank you for the amazing, wonderful support. I hope you enjoy your emotes and ad free viewing for the whole 30 days. Uh, thank you. I appreciate you so much. This thread was such a bad idea. I'm too broke for this. Oh, yeah, no same. No same, actually. And it has Pluto. I am so proud of you, as it should, because Pluto is a real planet. Thank you. Y'all the cutest tattoos ever. Are you kidding me? I know. It wouldn't let me post my photo. Wait, why? Is it saying that you can't because the moderation settings? <sighs> I don't know how to fix that. Uh, I wish I didn't have nerve damage so I could get my spine done. Fair. I'm sorry. You're welcome. I've been watching for a week or it, uh, or so now, and I always keep coming back. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. I appreciate you just being here. That is not the correct timer. Oh, it's grayed out. Hold on. That means you may not have the... Hold on, hold on. Where are you, Nia? Nate, where are you? What's your name? In Discord. It sounds like it's a permissions thing. So what's your name in the Discord? <clears throat> if it's not the same. I have more. <laughs> I need to see it. I need to see. Hi, Robo. I hope you're doing good. Oh, it is just the same. Um, Let me see. Where the heck are you? Do 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 do. Let me try that. Yeah, try a refresh. Hold on. I'm trying to find your name. Uh. I'm just going to screenshot my same tattoo folder on Insta. You should. Maybe I'm sitting as well, but I was saying things yesterday. It was all grayed out. And once it refreshed, it loaded. Okay. Uh, maybe it's a refresh thing. J-K-L-M-N. I'm just going to search in here. Hold on. Uh, where am I? Members. Wait. Are you sure your Discord name is the same? Oh, okay, okay. I was like, wait, hold on. I can't find you, Bessie. Okay, yes, it's a permissions thing. Got it, got it, got it. There you go. You should be good now. <laughs> okay, you're good. You're good. You should have it now. Hi, skateboard. Welcome in. I had an epidural and now the nerves in my spine are ultra sensitive. I can't hand stand anyone running their finger up and down my spine. <gasps> no, I'm sorry, Bookie. I'm legit thinking the same thing. <laughs> Send it. Kitten licked herself bald and is taking the biggest nap on the bed. What a baby. What a little angel. I love. Thank you, Sunny, by the way. I appreciate you. Oh! <laughs> Kate! <laughs> this little baby is so cute. The little unicorn is adorable. Stop it. <gasps> and the pictures of Luna. Oh, my God. Oh, she is such a precious little angel baby. Oh, I love her. I'm going to come steal your cat. Thanks. <gasps> oh, wait. Uh, 
Marshmallow, I love the color palettes of all of your tattoos. They're like pastel y but vibrant at the same time. Love. For free, I was just going to be like, free Pete? <laughs> and no, the tattoos are really pretty. I like them a lot. I really like the style of them too. I'm pretty colorful, as you should be. They look really good. I like them. Luna's the sweetest, most cutest baby in the world. She is, yeah. My pop fell asleep and is using my Squishmallow Hans as a pillow. What an angel. What a little baby. You have to hurry. I'm going to steal her first. No. <laughs> no. I'm going to go co-parent with Lil's. <laughs> I'm going. I'm obsessed with you. I am also obsessed with Marshmallow. I agree. I posted the pic on the floof thread. <gasps> oh, what a baby. Oh, my goodness. A oh, little baby angel. Mm. Oh, Ollie is light tanning. I swear he's going to like blind himself one of these days. Now my phone is having an attitude. Ew. How dare it, Hannah? <gasps> Ooh. Oh. oh, I love the behind the ear tattoo. Bestie, stop it because you're going to make me want one. Oh, the rose on the foot with the little spiders. Oh, my God. Oh. I'm simply unwell. Oh. Your entire sleeve is so pretty. Amber, how dare you? I love all of your tattoos so much. They're so pretty. Oh, dog glass airbender, hi. Hello, thank you so much for the two months. I hope you're doing absolutely wonderful. How are you doing? How was your day? Thank you for the amazing and wonderful support. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Bender, I love you. <laughs> I'm gonna take a video of my other one. Yes, I need to see them. I need to see them. Ooh, okay, Lily. Dang, Lily. Looking disrespectfully, sorry. <laughs> I'm jealous of all the tatted besties. I know, I know. The same. How dare. It went, oh. Cute. Wait. That's an Animal Crossing character, right? Ooh. I see, Hannah. Oh, it's pretty. <gasps> oh, I love. Oh, it's really cute. Gosh dang it. And dragons. Oh. Y'all are going to make me want more tattoos. <sighs> Lily, I want to be you. <laughs> it's flurry. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, I know that that animal, like that character. I just couldn't think of their name. I was thinking Marshall. I knew that was wrong. Oh, the Care Bears are really cute. Oh, I like them a lot. They look really nice. They fit in that space really well. The little semicolon. Oh, these all look so clean and amazing. I know. Everyone's tattoos are so pretty. Excuse me. First of all, you are also beautiful. Second of all, um, you all look tight as flood, bro. I could not. <laughs> Fair. Everyone is too too hot, too beautiful, too crushing it. Like I just swoon, just swoon constantly. It's fine. Um, <laughs> oh, you're from class, uh, song girl crocheting fast time. I must have guessed this our combo. Nice girl got her number feels we're coming on my shelf, but in a good way. Oh, Robo. Well, I hope you'll have some conversation. Proud of you. Hi, Pokemon. Welcome in, by the way. I hope you're doing good. Hello, Lore. 
Lurking while working. I appreciate you, mermaid. Thank you for the work, Lurk. I hope work goes good. <gasps> Thank you for the Lurk RCN as well. All right, I'm opening up Disney. Open and Disney. We still have tattoo conversation. I'm just going to run around carelessly while I do that. Um, is sprinting to go get more tats? Honestly, same. Not going to lie. I saw Amber's foot tat love. And my brain was like, girl, sell them for profit. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Listen, besties, go get your bag, okay? If that is by selling feet pegs, live your best life as you should. Do your thing. <clears throat> Not the feces for free. I know. We're getting free feces. <gasps> <laughs> Recap, carpets have been shampooed twice. I've been working. I packed three and a half boxes during my lunch and now I'm back for more working. Sarah, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You're doing so good though. I'm so proud of you. You're doing absolutely incredible. But how are you doing, Bender? I hope you're doing good. One time someone tried to sign me up for feet tender. We aren't friends anymore. <laughs> oh no. Why would they do that? Bestie, please. And I have a total breakdown on Monday night, I'm going to lie. You're doing so good, though. You're doing so good. You're doing your best that you can, and I'm so proud of you. Honestly, if you got the kind of fee um, that pays your bills, kudos. Honestly, bestie, do what you got to do. There's the other one. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> Love. Oh, they're all so pretty. Ugh. Amber, how dare you? How dare you? Truly. <gasps> so, uh, the leaf is, the um, feather is really pretty. I like it. I remember when you showed us to that voice. My parents just signatures I wrote from cards. Oh, wait, that's really cute, Marshmallow. <gasps> oh, that's really cute. I like that. Not takes in the background laughing. Listen, I wasn't listening, so uh, oops. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> I think I shared the before and after. You did, yeah. Mm hmm. You did, you did. I do remember that. <laughs> God. Jeez, Lord. You're all cute as freak. I know. I know. Ugh. Y'all are just perfect. Y'all are all perfect and wonderful and amazing. And all of your tattoos are wonderful and amazing. And that is all. Thank you. Make me want to go get new ink. Honestly, same. Uh, <laughs> tattoos over DDV. Listen, you're right. Yeah. Also, would like my uterus. Uh, would my uterus like to chill? Please, thanks. That'd be great. I wish I could come over there and make it, make it relax. This is a tattoo stream. Okay, perfect. I will. Uh, I will get right on that. No, but seriously, I've been wanting a tattoo soon, like recently, but. The one that I want is big, so I know it's going to be expensive. Sore. And tax season just hit me. Sore. <laughs> yeah. Maybe soon. At some point this year, I'd like to get it. I just haven't done it yet. Let's go get tattoos. Okay. We'll go get tattoos right now. I will just um, switch to streaming from my phone. <laughs> Lily! <laughs> Oops! <laughs> Lily! <laughs> I swear. Wait, the knife. Hold on. Ooh! Oh, yeah, the knife is really cool. Dang! Uh, yeah, that's really cool. Jeez. I teleported in front of Donald and he fell on the floor. <laughs> Did someone say potatoes? No, but yes, now. Now I want potatoes. Phone stream tattoo time, <laughs> if only. You know, I actually saw someone, one of my um, 
friends did a tattoo stream once upon a time. Kind of wild. Yeah, I have a bit. Listen, as you should. I wish I could have that many. If I could have that many, I would have that many. Don't be sad. Just get a tattoo. <laughs> Don't be sad. Just get a tattoo. Exactly. Exactly. And I'm getting more, as you should. Proud of you. You should get more. <gasps> is today Blue Raccoon Day or is it Wednesdays? I don't remember. There's a there's an animal that's today. I think it might be the raven. It's the raven. But it was till it's at 6 p.m. Okay. The raccoon is tomorrow, I think. Uh -uh. Sixty what? Yes, hi. Remember one chance for a thing? I know. Brown Raven, thank you, Liliana. What did you end up finishing decorating yesterday? Um, I finished right here. Right this. Right here. We got all this done. And then we got a little arch here and we put Merlin back here. We're still kind of working on this area, but we got Merlin's space. Also, these aren't supposed to be here anymore, I don't think. This is what we've done. Put him in the little nook back there. And now we're kind of like working on all this. Oh, yes. But we have to do some uh, resource farming today because I don't have any more pathing, I don't think, really. Yeah, I don't have any. Um, and I want to redo this path a little bit, so. I don't like how straight it is right here. Did you say you wanted your ears tattooed behind your ear? I think so. Like at some point that'd be cool to have. I don't know if I would really, I don't know if I'd actually like do it cause I'm a big baby. Um, and I don't know if I could uh, handle it. You don't feel anything really? I feel like I would feel it like cause the vibration cause it's on your head, but I don't know. Maybe not. Seven ads? Why now? You shouldn't have had ads now. They shouldn't be going off at this moment. I don't know why you had them. I'm so sorry. They're like 30 more minutes until they're supposed to run. How dare Twitch do that to you? Because when you take like scheduled breaks when ads go off. So I don't know why I gave them to you um, now. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I did that. When I jumped in, it shouldn't have that. I literally, pre-roll should be disabled. So I don't know why it's doing that to you. I'm sorry. That's stinky. They literally should be off. But welcome in. I'm sorry about that. Sorry, ads are being weird. <clears throat> I know it might have been a spam thing, but chance were great. I loved them. Yeah. Thank you for sharing the art on your bodies. I'm always so amazed and always like, okay, I want one. Yes, yeah, same, 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 same. I agree. Mm-hmm. Such a weenie with them too. Every time I go get one, I'm like, why do I do this to myself? This is the last time. Gets another tattoo a few months later, as you should. As you should, marshmallows. You need to get more. Behind my ear didn't hurt at all. I barely felt it vibrating, but feels nothing. Okay. It's just annoying because you're laying there. Got it. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. Hmm. Hi, stalker. Hope you're doing good. I have my freckles tattooed. Something to do with that area. Um, it feels like barely nothing. Like face, head area. Interesting. So it's just a butt head. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little stinky. I'm sorry, but welcome. Uh, I think it's so different for everyone. Like my nostril piercing sucked, but I know for a lot of people, they didn't even notice them. I stuffed them though. Easiest piercing I've gotten. True, true, true. I want more um, piercings and tats. Yeah, I feel that. Me too. I do as well. You've done all your piercings yourself. Iconic, Amber. Truly iconic. Thinking of getting my tongue done. Ooh, your tongue. Love to see it. Tongue tattoos are, or tongue tattoos? Tongue piercings are nice. Boring and unaltered. You're not boring. Symptom killed for me, but I think it was the place I got it because they did it wrong. Yeah, probably. My septum hurts so bad, but my nostril is fine. But everyone says septum was super easy. Well, the thing is, like, it depends on, A, your piercer. And it also depends on, like, your um, your nose itself. Because, like, technically, you're supposed to have this little soft spot in your nose that they pierce through. And that's what doesn't hurt. So maybe you just didn't have that soft spot. Or maybe 
Like, you know, it could be something like that. Mine was absolutely done wrong. Yeah. Because there technically is supposed to be a soft spot they can pierce through. But again, I know not everyone's soft spot is like big enough. Like some people's is smaller, some is larger and X, Y, Z and that or like whatever. So everyone's nose and stuff varies because of shapes and stuff. Also, if you have like a deviated septum, I think it makes it harder for them to use that spot. I don't know. There's a lot that goes into it. You know, there's a lot of lots. Nothing wrong with not wanting tattoos and piercings. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. There's nothing wrong with it. First time I went to get it changed, the piercer was telling me the guy pierced it. Probably missed my soft spot. That would make sense. Yeah, that would make sense, sadly. As to why it was uh, a little bit more painful. 95% soft and cut. Does that count? Yes. Ears, uh, trigus, nose, septum, tongue, nipples, belly button, and private area. Dang, bestie. You did them all yourself, you said? Honestly, I'm more impressed about that. SD icon, truly. Her tattoo is terrible, but I still love it and plan um, to get it touched up when it's done healing. Fair, 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 fair. I feel like that's a good idea. Might as well get it, uh, get it touched up. It's fine now and it sits in a good spot, so I'm fine with it. Good, yeah, that's good. That's all that matters. I can feel my soft spot, it's nowhere near it. <laughs> Listen, as long as you're happy with the uh, piercing in general and it's healed and it's good now, then whatever. Whatever. You're past the part that sucks, at least. So there's that. Um, yeah, we need to <laughs> we need to get some more. Some more soil. And by some, I mean a lot. So we're going to have to make more shovel potions. Um. My BF came up and said that Luna is farting up the bedroom. I think that's hilarious. <laughs> As she should. Listen, she's a little gassy kitten. It's fine. Thank you for the money. I'm a buy all the nuggies. Don't be mad. But this is just because I think you're amazing and wonderful. And I love you. And also because you're you. And also, also because you deserve it. Also, also, also because I can. You can't stop me. I hate it here. Light. Oh. You big old stinky. <laughs> Thank you for the ten dollars. You're so sweet. Thank you for being so kind and wonderful. I appreciate you. Also, know you. The audacity. <laughs> Lol, you can't stop me. You think. Me on my way to deactivate coffee. Thank you. Thank you, lady. Appreciate you so much. Thank you for being so sweet. Um, it's totally cool to not want piercings or tattoos too. Everyone should be able to do what they want with their body and not feel bad about it. Exactly. Exactly. I agree. It doesn't matter. It's someone else's business. You know, if you want tattoos, you get tattoos. If you don't want tattoos, you don't have to get tattoos. It doesn't matter. It shouldn't make a difference to anybody else. That isn't you. Good day to you. <clears throat> do, do, do. I'm pretty sure I have like all of this. Oh, greetings, neighbor. The only thing I want to mod about my body is getting back into climbing martial arts shape. Ooh. My bodies are beautiful and tattoo appears or not. Exactly. Exactly. Greetings, neighbor. Bye -bye. The most important thing that matters about anyone's body is that they're comfortable in it. Good day to you. <laughs> wow. That's it. What an amazing... Hello. Oh. <clears throat> oh. Greetings, neighbor. Tommy. <laughs> buying all of this so many things today got a cute little pink hat i love it greetings neighbor the little pink baseball cap is iconic so cute greetings neighbor yeah they do you know what i love actually i don't know if anyone has really paid much attention to this in the game um but i think it's so cute where like the mannequins in the store will reflect the shape of the uh, body that you choose. So if you chose a more masculine frame, it would show that. If you chose a more plus size frame, it would show that. If you chose a more slim frame, it would show that. Like, I think it's so cute. Uh, it's so cute. Like it's such a little detail, but such an important detail. 
you know? Like, it's so important, I think. But it's so something so simple that they yeah. could have done. Where's my big old beer? There you go. Thank yeah. you for the water. I appreciate you. So yeah, if you choose like a more masculine frame, all the dresses will still be on that same frame for you. Which I think is just so cute and inclusive and we love it. I'm getting up to get water and everyone else should too. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you for the water. Um, um, um. Thank you, thank you. Oh. It feels so bad for Olaf. Nobody likes his gifts. What do you mean? Most of the characters in this game are just buttheads, to be honest. <laughs> hmm. A quest? Oh, well, yeah, it happens. It's fine. It's fine. To be fair, those quests are usually them trying to gift to, like, villains. And villains don't really like anything. They just like to be left alone. Just like mood. I need to refill water. I'm gonna finish my snack first because water refill equals the restroom and the back door. Perfect. There you go. There you go. I'm not okay. It's Olaf. Well, you should expect it. It's fine. If they don't want it, it's fine. I have a cold and hot chocolate. Does that count? No. I'm figuring out the Discord. Just posted a face to my name and selfies. Yeah, I'm glad you're figuring it out. I'm gonna look. Hold on, I'm going. I mean, not like I haven't already seen the picture in Celeste, but you know. <laughs> or seen that picture. And that mean I'm a villain at Disney Sanders because I also don't like anything and I also want to be left alone. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes. <gasps> Amber, you're so cute. You're so cute. There's a memory of all of them together. Yeah, well, it happens. You probably don't remember anything. I'm trying to stretch my lunch break to 30 minutes. Um, because I keep getting yelled at for skipping breaks. Hanging here with friends. Oh, Corin. <laughs> yeah, you do not. You should not be skipping your breaks, bestie. Absolutely not. You need those. All right, we're going to go gather wood and stuff. Because I do need more soft wood. I've been kind of like using it all up, so... I'm gonna walk around and gather it all from the biomes that they will drop in. <clears throat> do, do, do. I don't wanna be at work all day. Yeah, well, you still need a break, though. <laughs> you still need breaks, though. You gotta take care of yourself. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's see. Any more? Yeah, there's some here. Just gotta do our daily collecties. Can I get through here? Oh my god, I can. Ha ha ha! Nice. <laughs> Not the little angie. So cute. Have a good stream, friends. Bye, Corin. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate you so much. Have a good rest of your day. I'll see you later. Do, 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 do. No Q, only Inky. No Q, Inky. Q, Inky. I need to make a hugs command that's just hugs and it's like a general huggy. That's what I need to do. Not Baxter straight up something, uh, because <laughs> he's cute, but listen, it's Baxter's. That was for Baxter, clearly. So, RIP. Hi, Dina. How are you? It was not. Are you sure? Did you tell Baxter that? Because Baxter disagrees. So, hey, Dina. I hope you're doing good. Welcome in. <gasps> Hi, Cheese Joel. I hope you're doing good as well. Hello. Good morrow. Hi. How are you? Yes, because uh, Nico keeps the ice machine and help me get it okay well but baxter wanted one by general hockey you mean the diaper and pull-ups no <laughs> nor <gasps> there we go perfect thanks enox 
there we go. Now we have a general huggies command. I hope everyone is well today. He's doing good. Uh, trying to change gears from Xbox to PC on DLV. It's nice. Ooh, you're going to play on PC? Let's go. <gasps> I hope you enjoy. The sad cat has changed. There's two sad cats. Yeah. There's two now. I need to change the name of that one. Um, Because they're overriding each other. I don't know what I want to name that one. I need to change it though. Thank you for reminding me. Because I forgot with BTTV, like you can't just like choose between them like you can in Discord. It will just overwrite. So I need to change it. I love the sad cat spinning there. Perfect and a mood. I just need to change the handle so that you can use both still. That's it. Where is it? Spin cat. Sad cat and cat sad. What about... Um, what if I do sad catto? The same like, um, capitalization stuff. You just add the T-O at the end. We'll do that. Did it change? Okay, yeah. There you go. Now it should be sad catto. I heard sad cattle and I like that more. No. Catto. I have to refresh the uh, chat though. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay, yay! There we go. I fixed it. <clears throat> uh, oh, good. Impromptu training meeting for me to lead. Yay! Wow, fun. That email was adorable, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, fun, gosh. I'm so excited for you. <sighs> I am doing... How about you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. It's nice to see you, Chicho. You're so sweet. But I hope your um, transition to PC goes well, Dana. It's going to be so nice with keyboard and mouse. Ugh, I cannot wait for you. Crappy. You're so cute. <gasps> Hi, Starfruit. How are you? Uh, welcome in. Got 50 minutes to unwind before time. How's DDV going? It's going good. We're just kind of like collecting uh, resources and stuff. Um, we bought out our shop and it was kind of like meh. But right now I'm trying to gather some wood and things because um, I'm running out of softwood again. Shocker. It's definitely making decorating easier. Yeah, it's so much better. So, so, so much better on PC. That quote is getting abused. When is Gash's next meeting? Yeah, because it's true. Ugh, which I hate for you so much. So, so, so much. But 15 minutes, let's go. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. It's nice to see you, Starfru. You're so sweet and wonderful. <clears throat> Thank you for the shout out, Dwagon. If y'all are not hanging out with Starfruit, you absolutely should be. They are absolutely incredible and so sweet and kind. And we love our besties in here, so. And Starfruit usually streams um after I do, so. A perfect way to unwind in the evening, if it's evening for you. Can we always go back to chatting, uh, chanting? Oh chanting you could go back to chanting no you no you excuse you oh no why oh no lils or well lils you won it's fine <laughs> everyone else died but you won you made it out alive in that heist it's fine 2022 called listen don't be rude about our chance okay we miss chance every single day I'm so upset about them still. I'm just suffering and no chance for some reason. I never got to see them. They were so fun. Uh, I love chance. Chance the Rapper. No, not Chance the Rapper. 
<laughs> I mean, I guess, if that's what you're into. You're sure, bestie. <clears throat> See, bad chance made people not want to watch streams for some reason. Yeah, they're so, I don't know. That was their whole reasoning for not wanting chance was so weird. They were like, oh, it's like streamers are getting less viewers because of chance. And I was like, what do you mean? That doesn't even make sense. They're like, yeah, people aren't watching streams because of chance. I'm like, that's what bestie that no, <laughs> it's not the reason. What? It's fine. Everything's fine. I missed one. <gasps> oh my God. I got it. Iconic. Oh, let's go, Kate. Let's go. Wait, I need to see it. I want to see it. If you're comfortable sharing it, I need to see it because I'm sure it's all beautiful and precious. You're sort of Ghibli merch. Ugh. Love your hair. I love it. Thanks, Pia. You're sweet. How are you? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Y'all are being so kind and wonderful. I adore y'all so much. Thank you for being your amazing, cute, beautiful, precious selves. Always. I have to pee. <laughs> oh, also, I need to restart the bot on uh, the next ad break because it's um desynced right now because I had to restart it for um because the points weren't working. Are the cutest? Honestly, true. Not wrong. Got back home from vacation on Thursday and recovering from jet lag. Oh, I get ya. I get ya. Did you have fun on your vacation though? I'm at my parents' house because my apartment doesn't accept packages, but I will definitely share when I pick it up. Yeah, I want to see you. I want to see you. I'm so excited for you though. I'm glad it came in. It's no better feeling. Well, there might be better feelings, but one of the best feelings is uh, having a package you've been waiting for for a while come in. love it doo -doo. okay um let's see let's do this let's go up to the forgotten lands because i think that's where my other chests are probably going to be we'll walk the beach though just to see I'll make sure it's not back here the first time we bought a mug for so far loves it like loves it loves it and it was a fun mystery because my wife put it in her locker and didn't tell her <gasps> i love that i'm so glad they like it I'm glad they like it. Four weeks out of the country is too long. I find, yeah, that's kind of a long time. Four weeks of vacation is just a lot, you know? Like, we do love being on, like, a mental vacation for that long, obviously. But, yeah, four weeks anywhere, truly, that isn't my house is too much. I couldn't do it. But I'm very much, like, a homebody, and I like being in my own, like, comfort space, which is very much my house, obviously. So, I don't know if I could do, like, a month-long thing especially out of country. I want to go on a mental vacation for the rest of my life. Can you imagine? <laughs> no, I literally cannot actually. That must be really nice. The other, uh, other than the last half of the vacation, it was really fun. Yeah, I feel like two weeks is a nice medium, you know? Two weeks is probably where you start to feel felt um, like burnt out and like wanting to go home homesick kind of vibes, you know, but I'm glad you have fun I'm Glad you had a good time with it though And you were able to make the memories and whatnot, but I'm also glad you're home in your comfort space again And kind of just vibe my Cousin got married and I was one of the bridesmaids for the groom party. Ah, oh, gotcha Gotcha, gotcha That makes sense Well, I hope it was beautiful Okay, we got all the things here. Let's go to the other side and look for my chest and whatnot. They weren't in the forest. They weren't up in uh, Frosted Heights. So we need to go over to Sunlight kind of area. Wedding was probably the most eventful part of the vacation. I'm happy for him. Yeah, that makes sense. That checks out. Well, I'm glad you had fun. My stepdad told me I needed a vacation to help with all my anxiety recently. And he said, you know, just get away from everything. And I said, sir... Not take a vacation from my brain and body. Yeah, I feel that, bestie. I feel that. <gasps> Your class got kiddled. Let's go, Magsy. We love that. We absolutely love 
And you can just vime. Don't have to worry about a last class. <laughs> but I understand, Tris, yeah. <laughs> like, I wish, Bestie, but it's truly not that easy. Like, yes, not having to worry about, like, work and stuff might help, but, you know, also, <laughs> you can't fully escape it ever. Let me not work, spend time at home, maybe go outside and go on walks, explore my state, play with my kitten, spend time with my partner, play video games, read and listen to my audiobooks, do puzzles, not worry about money, that's the big one. No worries about timelines or due dates or anything, that'd be incredible. Imagine living your life like that. Ugh, man. Gotta go home now and do homework. Gross. Uh, hopefully homework doesn't take too long. But at least you don't have to worry about class. You got more time to do homework. You know, that's helpful. At least. Bright side. I don't know where all my chests are. I have not seen them. So I'm going to have to go in this view because I don't know where they are. I think I'm missing a chest or two, right? I don't think I found them all yet today. I don't remember finding more than one. You got more time at least? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that helps. If you want Stitch's house, go for it. If that's what you want, then get it. Where are they at? Hmm. Maybe in the meadow. I haven't really been in the meadow yet. So maybe they're in the meadow somewhere. I don't see them yet. I can get skin safe shampoos right now. I love being allergic to normal things. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lily. I wish I could make it go away. I don't see anything. What the heck? Did I already find all my chests? I don't think I did. Hmm. Oh my god. I have to pee so bad. I'm trying to wait until this freaking ad break goes off. I have five minutes. Lord have mercy. I'm going to implode. Um, You want to see some really cool emotes that I got from a gift sub? Absolutely, yes. What are you allergic to? Um, uh, oh, shea border. Didn't you just pee? No. No. Shampoo for hair? Hey, uh, what is that? Pia. Oh, I hate it. So why? Tixie, go pee. No, because then the ads are going to go in like four minutes. It's fine. I can wait four minutes. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's four minutes. Um, Classmate just said that she's not a gamer because she plays Minecraft and Animal Crossing New Horizons. And the three of us that were in class earlier were like, no, our bestie, those games like any other, you're a gamer. It was so wholesome. That's because of freaking disgusting online misogyny being like minecraft and sims and animal crossing aren't real games it's like bestie it's literally a game do you understand what the word game is because they're literally like they're literally games what mm -mm. funny thing is these emotes were made by a professional artist as they should be i love that for them truly though not real games. I like that your fire is green. Thank you. Thank you. You have now been blessed by art. They do because all they do is play games with others' feelings. Oh, <laughs> Dang, Lils. Did you see the thing about Hunchback? No. Uh-uh. Do you not understand what real means? Because they're not real games. <laughs> Stop. Hey, dear. Burn! Not Kelso's voice. Stop it. If I haven't been watching you play games, then what the heck have I been doing for the past 14 months? Just staring at my face. That's it. 
Hi, Miss B. How are you? How you doing? I hate the mentality of if it's not kind of competitive, it's not a real game. Yeah, because it's silly. It doesn't make any sense. Like, it's literally a game, though. <laughs> like, there are different types of games for sure, but they're both games. Like, that doesn't invalid. Like, what? What? <laughs> you don't get to decide what's a game and what's not a game. That doesn't make sense. Tried playing Don't Starve and that was a mistake. Really? Did you not like it? Or were you just confused? Because I tried playing Don't Starve and I was just confused. I'm not complaining about staring at your face because hello, have you seen it? Have you seen your face? It's art. Basket is funny. Glory. You're not answering who though. Why does it have a tail? Why not? But yeah, it doesn't have a tail. Wait, what are you talking about, Lily? That's a foot. It's a back leg. Wait, Lily. <laughs> Wait, hold on. There's no tail. I really don't. I really like Don't Starve. Oh, you do? If you need help, let me know. I know you didn't ask for help to begin with, but me doing hair couldn't stop myself. Amber, you're so sweet. You're so sweet and kind. Check miscellaneous. Okay. Or, see, I never really watched Hunchback. But that's cool. I know a lot of people like it. I've never really watched it, though. Not gonna lie, it does kind of look like a weird black tail smaller. I guess. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. <clears throat> Hi, Alex. How are you? Don't serve us so hard. Yeah, I agree. It's very difficult. I agree. I agree. I got very confused when I tried to play it. I'm too old for this. You're doing great, Lily. I'm so proud of you. You look stunning today. Thank you, Alex. You're so sweet. Stitch is in the game now. Yeah, Stitch is in the game. Mm -hmm. Stitch has been in for a little bit now. Um, But yeah, you can get Stitch. All right, it's ad break time. Thank God, because I'm going to run to the bathroom and pee a waterfall. <laughs> I am going to go do that. So, our, hold on, I'm just reopening the bot, though, so that the timer is synced again. I don't know. You're doing great, Lily. I'm so proud of you. I love that visual. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome for the visual. Um. <laughs> okay ad break time so if you need to get up and stretch your legs or get water or get food or use the restroom or anything like that now is the perfect time to do so because you will not miss a single thing so i'm gonna run to the restroom and uh finally have relief and then check my cat game so brb we'll be back in a couple minutes um or pee a waterfall or pee a waterfall be safe thank you <laughs> thank you thank you i always get concerned about my safety in the restroom so <laughs> I love you. You're wonderful and amazing. I'm really glad that you're my friend, Sarah. You're so cute and sweet. We love Lily. Lily is the best. Most adorable. Pee like a racehorse. Stop it. Not that. Not the like a racehorse. I hate it here. Anyways, BRB. <laughs>
color. <clears throat> Don't fall in. Thank you, besties. Only is 12 out of 10 cute as heck adorable bestie. True. Sarah is cuter. 13 out of 10. I think Lily and Sarah are 15 out of 10. I agree. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Lily. How are you? You guys are greedy. I love you here. Everyone here is so sweet and cute. You haven't seen uh, Undertale. No, I have not. <laughs> Sorry, bestie. If you're in here, you're a 16 out of 10 and that's it. That's fair. That's fair. That's that, says Sarah. <laughs> As you should, bestie. Oh, we got to change our outfit today. Gosh, what do we want to wear? You said Hawaii, right? So it's fine. Oh, did I? Okay, good. I was saying it like the uh, TikTok audio that I know where it's like, Hawaii. <laughs> Hawaii. <laughs> So, six, 420 out of 69. Let's go. Let's go. Incredible. Wow, Dragon. Imagine stealing that from Magsy. Imagine stealing it from Magsy. Wow. <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you. Welcome in. And Dragon is offense. He doesn't feel good. No. So I don't care. Suck it. I'm just kidding. No, I hope he feels better. Toxic. No. <laughs> Dragon. Now I do hope you feel better. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Um, I don't know what shirt to put on. <laughs> Takeshi, I, I, I appreciate you. Enjoy. You go get your baby boy. You go do everything. And go hang out with Stitch. As you should. Oh, I want better shirt options. Hi, Ali. Hi, hey, me, baby. Hi, Nova. How are you? This is Ali. For anyone who doesn't know, he's a sweet angel. We love him in this household. Hi. How's cat game going along? Oh, so good. It's going so good. Checked the heck out of it while I was over there. Um, let's see. Shoesies. Do these. I really, ugh. I guess we'll wear this shirt today. It's okay. It's an okay shirt. It's on the other monitor. No, it's not actually. <laughs> it's not actually. Thank you. <laughs> I couldn't have it on while I'm uh, trying to stream. There would be no way. It'd be too distracting in like the corner of my eye. But I did check while I was potty in. <laughs> Hi, Ollie. Hi, baby. You're so sweet. Hi. Hey, baby. Hello. Yes, I see you. I don't know what hair I want to do. I don't know what I'm vibing with today. Maybe we'll just do this one. Let's do this one today. That's fine. Okay. Um. Bro. Ali, what do you want? Snackies? Is that what you want? Hmm. You have a cat that would rub on me like that. It's so cute. It's uh, he's so 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 cute. I don't mind if he rubs on me like that. It's when he starts trying to rub on all my equipment like that. You can give me head bumpies, Ollie. Yeah. Give me all the head bumpies. 
Yeah, so I literally slept in my arms at night. What an angel. That's so cute. Ollie does that except for he likes to sleep on me. <sighs> Which is problematic. Because he falls asleep on my chest and then I'm stuck. <laughs> and then I'm stuck laying on my chest. The cat is watching TV with us. What a little angel. We love all the kippies. He's trying to bite you back. Probably, yeah. That's probably exactly what it is. Trying to give pets back. Do, do, do. Hey, little angel. Here, Ollie. Back up, okay? Oh, no, stop it. <laughs> Be patient and wait, okay? I'll give you some snackies. I know that's what you're wanting. I know your signs. You're coming up here trying to like swat everything. There you go. Okay, enjoy. Ah! There you go. My donuts are knocking all over the place. <clears throat> I need to get them in like a little, uh, a different type of baggie. They're kind of flopping all over. No longer secure because I ripped the package open too much. Enjoy your snacks, Ollie. Um, okay. What do we need to do? I need more soil. So we're going to have to get, uh, where's like Scar or somebody? There's Scar. Let's get a digging buddy and go dig up some soil. Because I'm basically out. Mm. Did you eat all your snacks? You're not done. You're not going to eat the rest of them? Okay. I'm just going to leave them on my desk. That's fine. Along with all the hair that you left on my desk. <laughs> huh, Ollie? You goober. Hi, Duncan. How are you? Welcome in. I hope you're doing good. Hello, hello. The hair was a gift, was it? Well, I threw it on the floor, so... I guess R.I.P. me. I didn't mean to throw his gift on the floor. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Do, 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 do. Ollie, can you stop? As usual, I've gone for simple. For what? Hey, what are you referring to? Simple for what? Ollie, you're pressing buttons on my stream PC. Don't do that. Or shampoo and conditioner. Is that a brand or you just mean like simple as in like, um, like the, um, descriptive word, simple. <clears throat> Dana. I love you five ever. I love you five ever. Dane, thank you so much for the 29 months. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for the amazing support for so long. I hope you've been doing good. It's nice to see you. Hope life's treating you well. Hello, hello. Simple as a brand. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it, got it. That makes sense. I figured as much. Just because of the context, but I didn't know because I'm not familiar with it. But listen, as long as it works, might as well get it. I'm in between homes at the moment. Finally a little settled. Good. I'm glad you're being a little bit more settled. It's nice to see you. Doing, um... Looking for jobs and chilling. Fair enough. Fair enough. You got this. So, okay. It's been a rough uh, room flare today, but it's all good. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Duncan. I hope it settles soon. But I'm glad you're good otherwise. I hope you feel better. I hope all of our besties in here who aren't feeling well feel better. I don't like that y'all are sickies. Or just like in pain or whatever it is. You know. Don't like it. None of those vibes. Looking for jobs, too. I wish you both the best of luck with your job search. I hope it goes good. I know how stressful it can be. Looking for jobs. 
just in general. <sighs> it takes a lot of time and energy, you know. I need to get a PC so I can play Phasmo. I need to get a PC so you can also play Disney on PC. <laughs> or whatever else you might want to play on PC. <laughs> whatever else you might want to. I made the husband throw his back out, so I feel y'all. Wait, no! You made your husband throw his back out? Uh oh, that's not good. That's not good, bestie. I hope he feels better. It's poor back. All right, let's make two of these potions. Though I'm gonna be out of vitalis crystals. Yeah, I feel bad. Oh. Well, as long as I hope you just recover soon. I'm sure you didn't mean to do it. It's not like you did it on purpose, you know? You didn't have malicious intent. That matters. It's not like you wanted it to happen. Was it doing something fun at least? No. <laughs> Maybe they want to play the Powerpuff Girls Mojo Jojo's Clone Zone on their PC. Maybe. Listen, I would like to play that on my PC, so. Maybe. Hi, Hope. Doing good. How are you? <laughs> Lily. The brows. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> oh, stop it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. See, listen, so it was worth it. It's fine. <laughs> so it's fine. Throwing his back by throwing it back. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly that. <laughs> Hi, Link. How are you? Welcome in. It's fine. Hashtag worth it. Everyone's favorite emote user is here. Yeah, I just love the foot wave. It's so great. So good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're welcome. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. I do it for you. Wow. I'm so honored. I'm so glad. Thank you. Finally got you on my PC. Let's go. Let's go. Love that for me. Isn't that potion is awesome? I'm going to wait to use that when I start decorating. Yeah, it's so helpful. Super, super, super helpful. Um, it takes a bit to craft. So if you're not yet farming Vitalis crystals, um, I would recommend doing so because it takes 20 every time you want to craft one. And if you're like me, I never used to farm Vitalis crystals. So um, make sure you uh, make sure you farm those. At least have like a decent amount of them because you're going to use them really quickly. Vitalis crystals, if you don't know, are the crystals that you find inside of the cave inside of Sunlit. Those like blue ones in there. I need to get iron. You should do an iron route, Amber. Hair update, I'm getting the curl cream back. The mousse is fine, but I think my curls need something softer initially to encourage them. Yeah, yeah, do your curl cream. I think it would help a lot. It's a chill day today, so I can chill with you all day. Missed y'all sending out who wants one a hug. Aw, Dane, you're so sweet. You're so sweet and cute. I miss you so much. I'm glad you're here again. Iron route, yeah. Um, So if you go to, you can either do exclamation point iron um, Amber, if you want, or if you go to Disney Dreamlight Valley, um, in Discord under games, um, there is a pin in there that has an iron route map. That is a video by another creator on this platform who made a really good iron route and I like it a lot. It's really easy to follow. Um, so if you want the visual representation of the video, there's that. Um, but there is a picture of the route inside of Discord if you want something just like this. Um, so it shows you like where they go. Shows you where they go. This is the whole route, though. And I follow it all the time, and it's super easy. Super, super easy. 
So if you want the picture of the map, it's in there. If you want the video, the picture is also in the video. So, but yeah, it just uses the um, tools of warping so that you beat the spawn timers, making sure you have a, um, making sure you have a mining buddy and um, making sure your energy bar is always in the yellow, which is why I started making these pastry fruits and pastry creams and fruits. Make sure you always have your energy bar up here. I do not mind those crystals right now, but I should start. You should. Yes, yes, yes. Start farming um, Vitalis crystals, MB, for sure. And anybody else in here who might want to make those potions. How do you make those? The pastry, cream, and fruit? Um, It is um three different berries, um, sugar, and milk, I think. Let me go in here. Hold on. Let me see. Where is it? 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 Beep, 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 beep. Did I pass it like three times? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Milk, sugar, and three, um, three fruits, but I use berries. I saw a streamer who did this. Yeah. It's a good, uh, it's a good route. I like it a lot. It's super easy to follow. Baby is eating like we starve her to death. Yep, that sounds about right. Sounds about right, Lils. She's a growing girl. How dare you not feed her 15 times a day? It's kind of ridiculous, truly. Like, I just don't understand <laughs> why you're not feeding her. God. I'm going to try to dig in the glade because I would like to get more clay. Actually, do you get clay? What do you get in forgotten lands outside of soil? We're going to go up here. My baby's sleeping like she doesn't nap 14 hours a day right now. <laughs> she doesn't. I haven't been here to see your gorgeous as per usual. I love seeing the selfies. Even when I'm not able to be here, you're so sweet. You're so sweet, Dane. I adore you. I miss you so much. I'm glad you're doing well. How dare we? True. And I adore you, Dane. I appreciate you. They just struggling. Yeah, that's fair. She's doing the best she can. Gonna get there, you know. She's got this. Tough baby. Do, 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 do. I love 60 and 60 streams. Well, I love you and your whole face. So. Sugar, three fruit, and milk. If you replace the three raspberry fruits with this berry fruit, so you um, almost get a full golden energy bar. Oh, yeah, with the uh, the gooseberries. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I True, Gira. Well, I love you, Nova. How dare you? <laughs> the audacity. It just hurts my heart. Um, which is why I live on here with you guys. Yeah, we got you. We got you for a little bit of that mental escape, you know? I love you. I understand, though. No one likes seeing their, uh, their baby in pain or unwell. It's always tough. But we got you at least with positive energy and good energy. Let you de-stress a little bit. If that's not all that you're focusing on, you know. That can help a lot. I love you. Thank goodness. I always have to wait like so long so it doesn't glitch out. Robo, you're so sweet. Thank you for the hugs for Amber. Do I just not love you? I don't know. What do you, what do you mean? <clears throat> Hello? <clears throat> My pug loves me. <laughs> As your punk shoe. You're supposed to say I love you I too. Love 
I mean, I don't have to. <laughs> I don't. What? Okay. You're supposed to? I'm not, though. It doesn't say anything about that. <laughs> okay. I don't know why you're trying to I just you're being very aggressive towards me and like trying to make me say that I love you to you I just don't understand why where this energy is coming from it's very off-putting and making me uncomfortable I love so like you. it just I don't <laughs> Bobby Thank you for the, the 11 biddies, Hope. I appreciate you so much. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. Anyways. Um. <laughs> um, let's uh, go try to get some iron or something. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> While zooming, so he's whistling while scratching. What a baby. Haven's dropped biddies in a biddy heat. Zane, you're so sweet. Thank you for the hundred biddies. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. I adore you. I was very tempted by a game called Please Fix the Road in the Steam Cell. I haven't played that, Lily, but I've seen people play it. I've seen people play it and it looks really fun. I haven't played it yet, though, myself. A resting sad face. What a baby. It looks so cute. Yeah, it looked really fun when I saw people play it. My first DOV streamer obsessed with this game. Welcome in. Uh, welcome in, Crystal Rain. I hope you're doing good. Did you make that top your character is wearing? It looks like a customized one. No, it's from the um, shop. I bought it from Scrooge's, actually. It's just a regular, um, one of the regular tops. I don't know what it's from. Does it tell me? Oh, it says retro by and large shirt. Yellow retro by and large shirt. It's really cute though. I do like it. I like it a lot. It did not rain tiles at first. What did you read? I keep forgetting to look at the steam sale. Oh, bestie. Good luck. Hi, Ace. Welcome in. I hope you're doing good. I do not need more games, but tempting. You need more games. You need more games, Hope. Absolutely. I think I remember hearing you mention Please Fix the Road. Yeah, probably Xenox. We talked about it before. I think I have it because of somebody. Maybe, possibly. This is exciting. I'm a nerd. I'm glad you're enjoying the game as much as you are. Who's your favorite character so far? A uh, 22 hour drive to get from own home to temp home. And it's another 40 minutes to the town I'll be living in. Okay, listen, but you got the big part done. The 22 hours. That's wild, Dane. That is absolutely wild. 40 minutes isn't too bad. That's not bad at all. Lexa, when was the last time you refreshed chats? If not, um, reset real fast. <laughs> Why Lexa? What'd you do? I wish I could send hugs to my sweet, um, it should have not hit enter after also Lexa. Oh, wait, do you want Lexa to refresh or do you want us to refresh? I'm so confused. I wish I could send hugs to my sweet little boy Brody. Could any friends help me in a hugs for him to hear? Of course. Can we get some hugs for Gira? Well, specifically for Brody, but can we get some huggies? I just had to reset too. What are we refreshing for? I got an emote just for her. Oh, great. Lexa, I would be concerned, bestie. An emote just for you? That's concerning. Lexa specifically, but anyone else too, I guess. Oh. I was so scared I got modded. No. Oh, it's just a cow rave. Oh. Why is it for her specifically? <laughs> That's mean. Wow, I guess none of us, uh, no, like, none of us are allowed to like cows. Okay. Rude. 
Um, I was stoked to see Ariel, my favorite childhood movie. <gasps> Me too. Uh, Me too, Crystal. I like Ariel a lot. Because she loves cows. So, we also love cows. Because I always asked him for the cows when he was at his parents. Well, no one else is allowed to like cows, I guess. Lexa has a claim on cows. I see how it is. <laughs> I see. I like to live on the wild side. My wallet is already crying as it is. I've claimed cows. Sorry, besties. Oh, rude. Are you excited for the new movie? Oh, I'm so excited. I love it. I love, 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 love it. It looks so good. Can't believe you're gatekeeping cows. I know. Literally yesterday, Light told me that he is does not gatekeep Gaslight Girl Boss. And what are you doing? Gatekeeping. <laughs> the new cow movie. No, no. The new Little Mermaid movie, Lily. <laughs> no, the new Little Mermaid movie. Doing good. Sick and tired of the snow today. So um, I have to just shut my curtains and chill with you guys instead. I'm sorry. I hope it lets up soon. I hope it lets up soon, Ace. The little cow movie. <laughs> Listen, I would watch a little cow movie. How are you? What's on the agenda today? We're going to be um, decorating my forest a little bit more today. Um, we'll figure out how yeah. it goes. Honestly, we're, we're going to be decorating though. So right now we're doing a little bit of resource farming um, because your girl was out of soil. Sorry. We're trying to get some more soil so I can make some more... Um, flooring and stuff pugs are amazing my favorite dog is boston terriers boston terriers are so cute uh this uh sacred cow script no it's cute it's about um any boy saving a cow i have, haven't seen that no don't steal my no nuggies i'll drink you better amber everyone hydrate or i'm stealing your nuggies Let's all write the little cow movie and then sell the script to Disney. <gasps> Xenox are genius. We're going to be bajillionaires. And then all of us can retire. <gasps> Iconic. All right, besties, let's go. Little cow movie. Once upon a time. Chat. <laughs> and I hand it to you. Thank you. Just to say that I contributed. Once upon a time. I will take my 50% royalty. Thank you. <laughs> there was a little cow. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a little cow in a pasture. 50%? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Listen, I was hoping no one paid attention. Hello. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you welcoming. <laughs> They're so adorable and bouncy. True. With a little hat. We should pick a moral before we do this. Um, what do we want our readers to feel at the end? Self-worth. Well, Pete, who lived a very long life on a vegan farm. <laughs> <gasps> okay, a strawberry cow. Yes. Strawberry cow. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> mm-hmm. <clears throat> Don't forget to apply chapstick or something, people. True. Please do get yes, chapstick. Absolutely. Absolutely chapstick. <laughs> oh no um name for the cow i don't know whose friend is a banana cow oh <gasps> cute a banana cow a berry the strawberry cow nothing dries out your lips worse than mouth breathing true yeah please get all the chapstick i actually need to um apply Hello. some too let's roll it back once upon a time old mcdonald had a farm and on the farm he had a cow but it wasn't an ordinary cow she was a little cow perfect beautiful lily did you suggest that the moral be depression lily 
No, it cannot be a depressed strawberry cow. You took a long time to see that. Listen, I was, there's a lot. Y'all are very, very inspired by this strawberry cow. <clears throat> Fire is hi. I'm doing good. How are you? Why Nord's relatable? Because he can't be. He's a happy baby. What? Yes, Amber. Hi. Hello. How does Barry's mom die? <gasps> no. I'm a depressed strawberry cow. It's relatable. You booked another tattoo appointment. Oh, love that for you. Love and adore that for you, bestie. Oh my God. Ollie, please. <sighs> Lord of mercy. Why would you do that? Knocked my light over. Oh, maybe the twist is therapy. <laughs> a strawberry and cow in therapy. What a motivational book. <clears throat> and this cow knew how to twerk it up and drop it like it was hot? I'm sorry. Is this an adult cow or is this a baby cow? I'm confused. What is happening? I feel like this story is going in 15 directions at the same time. Barry the therapist. So now the cow is a therapist? Or is the cow getting therapy? Or is the cow a therapist that's getting therapy? Because also I love that. What is happening? I love complex storylines. <laughs> but see, there's, a, there's complex and then there's like Kingdom Hearts complex. Okay. Where like it just doesn't make sense. And I feel like we're getting in that territory where it's like, well, I don't even know what's happening half the time. Fifth, like plot holes. Yes, many, but it's fine. Totally panicked this morning because I didn't realize there were two pillars in Dazzle Beach and that I missed an orb. Oh, no. Yeah, you didn't. You're good. <laughs> You're good. Um, I hate to interrupt the book, but do you happen to have any past dreams with how your valley looks? Um, I do, but we can just walk it, Crystal, because honestly, I don't know which VODs they are. I don't have like specific segments highlighted or anything. I haven't made videos, so I can just do like a quick little, uh, a quick little walkthrough, um, cause I, I wouldn't know where to direct you and I don't want you to watch every single VOD that exists. You know, that's a lot. Got a degree as well. Smart, depressed cow. Oh my goodness. Seems like we have a basis for a New York's bestseller. Honestly, therapy's so hard. She became a therapist. Barry is iconic, truly. Sure, we could do a Mad Libs Create Your Own Adventure. True, you could do that. Yeah. All she needed was to touch grass. Stop it. Not a cow touching grass. What kind of idea do you have for your new tattoo, though, Amber? <clears throat> is she a city cow? <laughs> a city cow. Okay, let's start in the plaza, shall we? We'll start in the plaza. The plaza is the first place I decorated, so um, we'll walk through here first. Um, boop, boop, boop. I'm going to finish my back and then get my boobs, as you should, bestie. Love that for you. Love that for you. Farm cow that moved to the city. Okay, now it's turning into a Hallmark movie. Is this a Hallmark Christmas movie? About a cow? <laughs> views <laughs> Barry goes to the city I hate it here I've always wanted to be in a Christmas movie <laughs> hi Michaela how are you welcome in um absolutely Amber yes absolutely hi Michaela I hope you're doing good okay <clears throat> plaza so when you first enter down this ramp to the right is where I have um a Scrooge's store she would be a city cow and go to a small farm and meet her love, but you're doing the opposite. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Hallmark movies are the opposite. It's a city girl going back home to her farm. Right. Um, but here we have Scrooge's shop. Over here is where Remy's restaurant is with a little um, outdoor seating area because I needed something. So we did a little outdoor seating area with a little outdoor bar. This area is probably going to get redone because I did it forever ago and I have way more stuff now. So um, we'll probably go back through it and like fine tune it. But um, this is just extra foliage. <laughs> this baby cow story is iconic right now. Listen, who's taking notes though? Truly. When a cow is an issue providing milk, they move to the big city to find a specialist. There they meet the one. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that link. I, that's that's it's giving very cursed. 
Can the cow have a best friend platypus? They move to the city and start selling their milk and become rich, then bring the Bostonists back to their small town hometown and help them thrive from the company's success. Yes. Yeah, it's giving kinky link, but it's fine. It's great. Um, but yes, dragon, they can't have a best friend platypus for sure. I agree, yes. I'm still tired. I hope you feel better, Michaela. Wait, no, it's not. Mm, are you sure? I want to be a guest cow banana. Okay. As you should, Dane. As you should. Um, I hope you feel better, though, Michaela, and you can get some good rest. <laughs> We've been lost on the sauce. Y'all really are like, okay, we're making this book. As you should. Um, back here is just a bunch of foliage and stuff. This is my main centerpiece for the entire, um, the entire plaza, though, which I really like a lot. It's just a lot of bushes and flowers and stuff just to fill the space, but I didn't want it to be overly crowded. I'm trying to decorate light, but also full, um, so that I don't worry, have to worry about my item limit too much. Um, so I didn't want to go overboard with like the individual flowers and stuff trying to keep it very light but also not so light that it feels empty um back here is just again more foliage and stuff i left these little spaces on the side open for all of my mining notes because i want to be able to access them what is bixie tixie is barry i'm barry on the sauce in the sauce on the sauce in the sauce same thing. It's fine. One of our stipulations for Disney is that Tixie must be hired to voice the cow. Oh, that's what it is. You want me to be the cow. Starts out with Barry being a small baby cow with the dreams and stuff on the farm. Then when she's grown up, she goes to the city and given her up on her dreams. And so when she goes back home to the farm because her mom and cow is sick, she's reminded of her dreams and has to decide to go back to the city or run after the dreams. You said dreams 15 times and I just like completely, I've lost, I... You said dreams so much that I don't even know what I read. She goes back and forth. Iconic. This feels like a dream. <laughs> Hi, Jose. Welcome in. I don't even... The word dream doesn't even feel like a word anymore. I'm so confused. Anyways, here's Remy's apartment. <laughs> So it's got a little, uh, it's got a little, um, a little clock outside of it. And then just a bunch of foliage on the side. I have been turned into a cow. Can I go home? Disney Cow Light Valley. I'd play that. She goes back and forth. Honestly, same. I think it's the bisexuality. <laughs> Alexa. <laughs> Stop it. Wow. You're a really good leader for this valley. Um, across from Remy's area is where we have my orchard. Okay, we have all of my, uh, all my trees here. <clears throat> Iconic Barry by Queen. Barry? Is it Barry or Barry? I love the orchard. Thank you. I wanted to place it with all my trees because I wanted them all together so I didn't have to go like collect them all from super, super far areas. So I put all my trees here. Um, and then over here is where we have Remy's restaurant and the outdoor, um, is the cow now by? I guess. I don't know what's happening. Barry Allen. Is the cow berry like a berry like food or is it Barry Allen? And now so the cow's by now, which is we love. I'm just very confused. <laughs> cow flash. Okay. Strawberry and cow flash with a platypus best friend with dreams who's by I'm confused it's fine I'm always confused me too bye for platypies stop it <laughs> bury bury the cow wait no don't bury the cow with depression who's also a therapist going to therapy the moral is not depression so cow and platypus are dating yes they will be at the end of it just trying to catch up. I'm also biased, so I want to see what was happening. Bestie, you should... I wouldn't even try to catch up because I don't even know what's happening. And is pink and bi. Okay. <sighs> They're making a story about a cow who's bi and going to therapy, who's also a therapist, who has depression, who... 
his side piece is banana cow. Okay, his side piece is banana cow. He's dating the platypus best friend, kind of. <laughs> They're by, I don't know. It's fine. I come back at the strangest times. Listen, we're having a day. We're having a day. It's fine. It's basically a cow with a very cool life. Why does the cow have depression? Because they decided that that was the moral of our story is that the cow has depression. Can he look like the fluffiest cows? Yes. Yes. Like the Highland cows? Absolutely. The cow and the platypus must be best friends at first and realize their feelings for each other by the end. Exactly. Yes. And they have dreams. Um, that all seems like a very big dream for a little cow. <laughs> Gee, Joel, stop it. But no one likes depression. True. I don't know why they decided depression. Therapy fits. We gotta have a bestseller. Therapy fits. True. At least you aren't coming in for sweat milk. No, Dragon suggested that, basically. Oh, the br brand fluffness. Oh, puff pals. Oh, listen, I thought you meant like fluffiest cows. Got it. I don't know what their cows look like, but I'm sure they're really cute. The Turner said they get therapy so hard, they become a therapist, then they leave the country to touch grass. <laughs> this sounds like strangers in paradise. The fluffy cows are cute too. Lord have mercy. What is happening? I love y'all so much. Y'all are so cute. <laughs> This is what you get for growing your community and being amazing and having so many lovely people here in chat. I get a cute story about a depressed strawberry cow. I'm not quite seeing the connection, but I'm not mad about it. Oh, I love strawberry moose. <laughs> Um, where were we? How are we? Where are we going? Hold on. Let's see. So, <laughs> Link. Link, thank you so much for the gift of some... <laughs> the Takeshi. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. I appreciate you. What is happening in here? Kate, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think we're all manic right now. It's fine. Thank you so much for the gifted sub, Link. I appreciate you so much. If this song isn't in the movie, I'm right. Wait, are we writing a movie or a book? I'm confused. Which one are we doing? Are we doing both? <laughs> Thank you for the gifted sub. I appreciate you. Barry? <gasps> yes, that's Barry. That's Barry. This is Barry. This is Barry. Yes, that's Barry. right now <laughs> I'm reading this whole book to my future kids put it on your list right now <laughs> okay okay we're writing a Disney movie okay to be clear this is a cow stream perfect Barry the strawberry moo hi gash <laughs> it's a depression book oh okay depression book me too now. Can I borrow five dollars? <laughs> Link, stop it. Oh, I hate it here. Sorry, this is my plus. <laughs> I'm never gonna get this tour done. I hate it here, but I love it here. Um, it's really nothing too special, to be honest. I just kind of like filled the space. <laughs> Not the accent. <laughs> Oops. Streams have always been about cows. Can't believe y'all didn't know. Who needs audiobooks when you got stream? That's true. I can be the audiobook. Okay, so Remy's Remy's house, orchard, middle centerpiece, Remy's restaurants, Scrooges. Also, it is meds reminder time. If you have not taken your medication yet and you need to do so, now is your verbal reminder for that because I need to take mine as well. Um, so if you need to take medicine or get food or hydrate or anything like that, now is your opportunity to do that. Take your darn pills, lovelies. Yeah, take your medication to place. I remembered this morning. I'm proud of you. You're doing so good. Barry would like it. Barry is life and she supports you. Barry is iconic, true. I think chat got into the chat sinks. <laughs> we had grass too, not the grass. Self-care check besties, we love you and want you to be cared for. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> On the topic of depression, <laughs> have you taken your pills? <laughs> My pills are with dinner, but thank you, you're welcome. You're welcome, I hope your dinner is really good. What are you gonna have for dinner, Dane? 
Hopefully something really yummy. It's also 4 p.m. and I haven't eaten today. <gasps> Amber! Me getting mad at you like I don't do the same thing constantly all the time. But please eat! <laughs> please eat! If you're happy, you know it. It's your meds. If you're happy, you know it. It's your meds. Uh, anyways, let me take mine. <laughs> that reminds me, uh huh. What does that remind you of? Hubs is out, so something noodles. Ooh, yum. <clears throat> Why does Sardu and Animal Crossing have to hit in the mommy and daddy issues? Ugh. Because they hate us. Also, hydrate. Yeah, hydrate. Should probably eat also. Yes, you should, dragon. You should eat. Day one with my extra serotonin boost. Let's go. Let's go. We love that for you. I was just going to say you can't judge. You do it too. But it's fine. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's fine. You're not wrong. Did I ever stream Animal Crossing? Yeah, when it first came out. I'm seeing how life is without my meds. Also, don't worry. I did talk to my doctor about it first. Good. No, as long as you're, as long as you, um, have talked to your doctor about doing those things. Yeah, do what you gotta do. Meds aren't for everybody. <clears throat> Okay, mm -mm. sure, my meadow. <laughs> my meadow, now that Ollie is here. When you come to the meadow from the plaza on this side, if you go to the right, we have Goofy's house. Across from Goofy's house, we have a little fishing spot for him to sit at and fish, obviously, with a little campfire because the boy loves fishing so much. If you continue going this way, we have a little seating area along the pathway. Um, and then we have Minnie and Mickey's area. I think I just have hardcore ADHD. Probably, bestie. Same, same. <laughs> I went to go take a test for ADHD, like, to get a proper diagnosis. And this man came back to me and said, yeah, you have severe ADHD. And I was like, wow, thanks. Anyways, here we are. Um, sore. <laughs> I was like, thanks for a severe. Thanks, bestie. Um, Minnie and Mickey's house is here. I gave them each their own little garden areas that kind of like match their aesthetics of their house. Though Mickey's doesn't really match because his house kind of sucks. There isn't a flower planter that kind of matches his house. So it's fine. Um, back here, they have like an actual little garden and a little seating area to sit at. Did you get a prize for doing so well on your test? You got severe. I wish. <laughs> I wish I got a prize. I mean, I guess my prize was medication. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I love that they're both together. Yeah, I wanted them to be here. Anyone ever put um, out their meds so they don't forget and then forget whether you took your meds when you took them out or not? I, yeah, all the time. All the time, Duncan. Mm -hmm. There's actually, for people who um, are having issues with that, there is, um, <laughs> girl, that's on your severe ADHD. Have some pills. <laughs> Um, for people who have issues with that, there is a, um, my bestie introduced me to this. I didn't buy it, but my bestie introduced me to this thing that you can buy. It's like a pill container off of Amazon. You can probably find it other places as well. If you don't want to buy it on Amazon, totally valid, but it's a container for your pills. And it tells you like when you open it, it like logs you opening it and will say on top of the cap, like the last time you accessed it and unscrewed it. which is kind of cool. So if you have issues with like think remembering if you opened your pill bottle or not, it'll tell you the last time you did that. So maybe look into something like that. I don't remember exactly what it's called, but I'm sure if you find, if you type in like a uh, pill container, like timer or like electronic or something, it'll probably pop up. <clears throat> are also small boxes with days. Yeah, they also have like the regular organizers with the weekdays on it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can also do that if you don't want the autumn, like the electronic-y kind of one. That would be a game changer for medicine taking. Yeah, yeah, it seems super helpful. Hi, Rose, how are you? Perfect grade in ADHD, congrats. You are a valedictorian. Thank you, Krug, thank you. What are we doing today? Right now, we're doing a little tour, and then we're going to do some more decorating in my forest. Um, so yeah, Minnie and Mickey's house. Next to Minnie's house, we have um, all my berry bushes because I wanted them to be together. So that, again, same thing as why I have my um, trees together is I just wanted harvesting them to be super easy. Across from that, we have my actual like little picnic area um, by the pond because I thought it was really cute. Three hours into the tour. Listen, uh, listen. We have my little picnic area with a pond across from it. 
just a lot of like clutter and cute little outdoorsy items. This is where my well is. Woody is dead over there. Don't mind him. <laughs> always dead in the background it's fine um we have our cute little space here we actually kind of just redid this um a couple streams ago and i like it a lot better we added these little um flower boxes and i think it just fills the space a lot more um past here to the right is um our little market space so on the right it's our um farmer's market so it has um like all of the crafting materials and veggies and stuff like that it's because we have Kristoff stall and we have goofy stall um, across from there, we have the regular marketplace, which is more so like a giant yard sale kind of vibe. It's got inside house decor. It's got, um, books and like chairs and music things and all that, all the random clutter, as well as like some boba, some coffee and some ice cream, um, to give you kind of like that marketplace, like fair kind of vibe, you know, food. Um, so it's fine. Enjoy your food, Lily. Uh, I hope you get something super yummy. Enjoy, enjoy. Um, Ollie. Ollie. Do you mind? <laughs> Do you mind? Come over here. Tech support, making sure everything's fine. Yeah, the camera's fine. Thank you for checking. I appreciate you. Um, across from the marketplace is where we have my farm area. So we got more seating, obviously, <laughs> from the ponds. And then we got a well, my little outhouse, all of my farming tools, a bath out there, and my actual farm here um, with some dig spots. Oh my God, wait, there's two now. Iconic. There's two dig spots that have spawned under this planter that I refuse to get rid of. Love that for me. It kind of looks really cool. Not gonna lie. It makes it look magical. We love glitches in this game. Um, then we have all my, all my just little tiny little farming plot that I can use if I need to. Hi, baby. Come here. It looks awesome. Thank you. Um, this is just more clutter, so it doesn't look empty. Here's another teeny little picnic area. And then over here... <laughs> Ollie, over here behind um, the marketplace is another little fishing spot as well. So just a lot of fishing spots and a lot of um, like foliage just so it feels full. This is all just foliage and trees and uh, grass and bushes and all of that just so it doesn't feel empty. But there's not actually anything over here. Um, in Ollie... In most of the places that I've decorated, I've tried to at least leave one area empty so that if, when more characters get added and more houses and stuff get added, I can move them around and have a little bit more freedom of where I want to place them. So this is open so that if somebody gets added and I want to move them to the meadow, I can empty out this spot and kind of like put them in here. Um, if we go down here, yeah, we're going to decorate. Or we're going to walk everything. Don't worry. We'll walk everything, Rose. Um, if we go down into the glade, the glade is probably my favorite biome. I love it so much. The colors are so pretty. It's dark and gloomy, but it has all these vibrant purples and pinks and the red of the brick fence. I just love it. I love it here. Um, I was very, very, very tempted to move my house in here because I love the color palette so incredibly much. <gasps> oh, good. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, good. Thank you so much for the six months in the tier oh, no, two. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for being so sweet and wonderful and supportive for so long. I appreciate you. I hope you're doing good. It's nice to see you. Hello, hello. Lilo better be out of the game or I'll fart on someone. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope they add Lilo. I don't want to be farted on. Thanks. Uh, the Glade is my favorite area as well. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Ollie, can you please? This all Come here. means you have to Never mind. Don't go there. The doggos and the Come here. That we love my first tier hardos. two. You're so sweet. Thank you for the tier two. Ollie said I'm out. She said fart. I know. He said, please don't fart on me. There you go. Enjoy your snacks, Ollie. 
Also, hi, cat girl. Come in. Can I see the Ollie? Um, you can kind of... Oh, no, you can't. He's sitting too low. You can kind of see his little booty. He's eating his snackies. So, I'll show you when he's done. <clears throat> um... Or it's ad break time. It's ad break time. I'll show y'all. I'll show y'all Ollie when he gets settled. Um, but it's ad break time. So um, if you need to get up and stretch your legs or get food or water, um, use the restroom, let the animals out or anything like that. Now is the perfect time to do so because you aren't going to miss any. You're not going to miss anything. We'll continue the tour of the glade um, when the ads are over. And then we'll walk the beach and then we'll walk the forest and then we will um, work on decorating the forest a little bit. I got to do some crafting of some more flooring for there. But we'll walk the glade, walk the beach, and walk what I have done in the forest. And then we'll continue doing a little bit more decorating. Um, but yeah, if y'all need to get up and do anything, now is your opportunity to do so. Because you will not miss a single thing. I'm going to um, get up and stretch my legs and maybe see if there's a snacky. Um, and check my cat game. <laughs> Oopsies. Listen, I have to check the cat game, okay? And just to make sure. I need to make sure I'm getting my max revenue. <laughs> Did you have lunch yet or not? No, I had two mini donuts this morning. I know that's a lot of food. Oh, look. Uh, my tummy has been bugging me today. So I'll see. That's something still though? Yeah. I'll check. I'll see what I might have. Anyways, BRB. Burb. Good day to surf. Okay, this should be just about over. Hopefully. Uh, thank you for the lurk, Rose. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Gosh dang it. I'm losing the wrong thing. There we go. Um... Got like a work thing. Fleet finished mine. It's past nine here. Past nine. I'm glad you're done though. That's good. Gosh, it's so much later for you. 
You tried turning life off and on again. That's true. Did you reset life? <laughs> um, I don't know what that is. Kefir? What is that? How are you doing today, chat? You're so sweet. I'd love to see seven dwarves in the mine. They're multiple dwarves that are not used. True. Yeah, we'll see. I'm excited to see what all um characters they they get. Um also. There you go. You can have a little bit of babies. There's Owali. There's Wolfie. <gasps> You're out of the hospital. Good. Uh, I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad. How are you feeling? Hopefully okay. A yogurt drink. Oh, I see. It's also good for your downstairs lady as well. We do love that. We do love that. We love a yogurt drink. Okay. Vibe. Mm, given my fear of belly buttons, nor belly buttons. <laughs> Why are we talking about belly buttons? What's happening? Yes, honestly, I don't blame you. Belly buttons are not a vibe. Um, did the Matrix traumatize you or something? The Matrix? Works for windows as well. What are we talking about? I feel all right. My ankle hurts, but I'm trying to keep it elevated. I'm glad you're feeling better. I'm scared that if someone pokes me in the belly button, it's going to open up and unravel. You know what? I hate that for you. I'm so sorry. I know that's not how it works. How do you know? How do you know? Listen, anytime anyone tries to touch my belly button, I feel like I want to throw up. So absolutely not. I feel you. Um... <laughs> So we go into my glade and we go to the right. This is where Goofy's little stall is. So Anna is just sitting here vibing, living her best life. Um, and running a letter. Um, it just has a little Goofy stall. So it's got a bunch of foliage, a bunch of purples and um, green trees past Goofy stall. And after our well area, which is one of my favorite shots in this heckin' um, whole entire biome is the well right here. It's so pretty. So, so, so pretty. Um, past all of that, on your left, on your left, you have where my clock tower is with just a bunch of seats so that you can come and vibe and relax in here. I have to figure out what I'm putting here. I might just make like a cute little flower planter. I don't know. Um, past that is where I have my orb. Um, Cause I needed somewhere to put it and I thought it kind of looks cute here next to the ponds. And then if you keep going, all of this is just foliage that I've put in here just so it doesn't look um, boring and um, undeveloped. So it's just a bunch of foliage. Obviously, we have Mother Gothel's area right here. It's very meh. I haven't really done anything with it. I just added trees so it doesn't feel bland. But I don't know what I want to do with it yet. I don't have the right like materials and things that I want to decorate in here. The only thing that I'm happy with is this little section. I think this is going to stay with the flowers because I think it's cute. But the rest of it is all going to get changed. So, um, yes, yes. Foliage also does take up my item limit, which is why I'm really fond of using a lot of it, especially big items like these rocks, because they take up a lot of space. Um, like these huge trees. <clears throat> they take up one, which is nice. Um, then here we have a little seating area with another fountain. I really, really like this fountain, but it's always hard for me to place it somewhere because you can't put pathing underneath it. Um, but it's really cute. I also felt, felt like because the fire on top, there was a lot of places where I didn't think it fit the vibe of. But here it works. The fire works in here, so... I just stopped decorating um, because all my stone, pebble, and sand were gone. Making the path is hard when you've just started playing. Yeah, it's a lot, Rose. It's so, so, so much. It's very resource heavy. Even at the point in time of like I am in my game with like 300 hours or whatever it is, like I even have to stop and um, get more resources and stuff. There is a limit on how many items you can place. Yes. So um, this number down here is the total number of individual items you can have. Everything in your map counts towards this. Spawnables, dig spots, um, trees, bushes, rocks, furniture items, everything. Every single thing except pathing and fencing. Everything else counts. Flowers, wood drops, all of it. Okay. 
Um, so if you have a plot of 500 dig spots in Forgotten Lands for pumpkins, that is counting towards 500 of this 3,000. Everything counts towards it. And this is shared globally for your entire valley. The number at the top is unique items. So an item that you have never placed in your world before will count towards the top number and also the bottom number. So say like this ice throne. I've never placed it anywhere before. If I put it down, it's going to add one here and it's going to add one there. But if I take something like a chest and I put it down, it's only going to apply to the bottom one because I have chests placed already. I don't know if this is true, but I did hear they're working on trying to remove the spawnables and stuff in that count. That would be great. I feel like that would fix it instantaneously because that would lower everyone's numbers drastically by like a couple hundred at least. It's like a drastic amount if they got rid of all the spawnables. Because I think each biome, like between all the flowers and like the, the wood drops and all of like the herbs and stuff, I feel like each biome probably has like 50. Where can I find my numbers on the switch? It should be on the same thing, Ace. Um, you just have to go into the um your like build menu. So whatever, however you get to this, however you get to your furniture thing, it should be in the same spots. I'm pretty sure. Rip my pumpkin patches, yeah, Miss Nemo. They all count, but I hope they do fix it like that, Kate. What sort of stones did you use in front for of Moana's? I'll show you. I'll show you. I think I just used the uh, Dazzle Beach like these like the little dazzle beach rock cluster i'm pretty sure i hope a larger inventory also in the future oh bigger than the like what do we have 60 i forget what it is however bigger ours is um but if you keep going past this way this is where i have ursula so i got a lot of uh i got like the well of souls i got the coffin i got her little reading um area right here that's full of um potion books and all of that so we got the extra books in the back we got potions on the floor we got the growing uh glowing anemones there and then just of course a bunch of purples um ursula is really what inspired this whole entire glade color palette because i really wanted her here i didn't want her on the beach because i needed to get somebody off the beach i had like seven people there's too many people's houses that fit the beach aesthetic so i started moving people out of it um like ursula i moved here um donald i moved him up here into the pond of sunlit because i'm like bestie i can't have ursula and donald and maui and moana and eric and ariel and stitch on the beach i'm like that's not gonna happen so i started moving people away um and now i just have ariel and eric stitch moana and maui and moved a lot more people out because i was like bestie i can't deal with this um so i moved ursula in here because i thought her color palette looked really cute move donald up here into sunlit i think it's a lot better you can also move donald if you don't want to move donald into sunlit you can also put donald in this pond in your meadow if you want to i thought about doing that like because he would be by goofy and minnie and mickey but i didn't want to put him here because i just i already have this place decorated so in sunlit he goes because that one needs to go in sunlight anyway so um, if you don't see it when you have then you have to change the settings on tv i didn't see it at first oh it could be that it could be that rose yeah maybe an ashback ratio where it's like cutting it off that looks awesome thank you i have seven people in my meadow now that i think about it. do you you have seven people that's wild hi ryan i'm doing good how are you welcome in that was my problem thanks oh i'm glad you were able to fix it thank you for helping rose you're so sweet I'm only at 1700 and the switch is struggling. Yeah, the switch is a little hard. It's a little tough, a little tough, which is why like whenever people talk about the issue of item limits in this game is like, I try to explain to them to be a little bit more understanding about the other platforms because like as much as I would love for them to take this 3000 number count and double it to like 6,000 or something. Yes, PC players and console players on like Xbox and PlayStation, Xbox, like the newest, xbox and playstation 5 probably would thrive and be fine but you would quite literally break the game for switch players because they already are struggling like some people are already having so much issue running the game on switch and they don't even have the 3000 items yet like you can't just simply double it because you have to think about every platform that runs this game and unfortunately the switch is just a little bit lesser because it's not a game that was designed for switch it's just a game that is on switch which matters because it's not optimized for the hardware in there. 
<clears throat> I quit it because the switch sucks. Yeah, it's not great. Not everyone has issue. I know there's some people who have said they have a bigger memory card and that helps them. There is also people who have a bigger memory card and that doesn't help them. I think it depends on like your version of your switch. Like if it's a day one switch, if it's an OLED switch, if it's a whatever. There's a lot of things that go into it, obviously. Um, how much wear and tear there has been on your switch, how much you use it, all of that things. Like there's a, there's lots, you know, there's a lot that goes into it not as simple as just like every person who uses a switch their game sucks because a lot of people have no problem with it um so but there are people who do unfortunately so i'm going on a 12-hour flight in april am i going to be able to play it in the air does it have to be online i actually don't know can you play this game offline i'd imagine you can you just probably can't access the um, moonstone shop and your star path but i assume you'd be able to play the rest of the game please check subby's area in discord okay let me see Oh, goodness. <gasps> you wrote the whole script, as you should. Chad, you named it Chad. You named the platypus Chad. Why would you do that? <laughs> Please. Doesn't need to be online. Just can't do Moonstone Star Bath. Okay, that's what I figured. You can play offline. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you for verifying. I appreciate you. Yes, Cadence, I do play on PC. Mm -hmm. I do, I do. Also, hi, I love you. I love you too. How are you? I'm so glad I got the game working on PC. It's so neat with the portability with the Switch. Yeah. Well, the nice thing is, Ace, you can go back and forth. You know, um, if you're using Cloud Save, you can use both platforms if you want to, if that's an option for you, if you have the luxury of that, you know? Um, I'm well. I'm glad you're still alive. I seen you live earlier, but I was out running errands. I hope your errands went well, Ryan. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're doing well as well. Um, my game is on Switch and my limit is now at 3,000 and it lags a lot. See, that sucks. Uh, that sucks. My Switch works fine. Um, definitely. Mine is probably a Gen 1 or 2 Switch. I have a 500 gigabyte memory card. My game crashes at least once while I'm playing. That's so poopy, Kate. I'm so sorry. Since this is a future Disney movie, we should add a farm animal villain that secretly portrays them to the company. Okay, perfect. We should. You're right. I'm really looking forward to this flight. It's going to go by so quickly with Disney. I think my Switch only lags in places where it's decorated a lot, like my garden area. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would agree with that, Rayanne. And also Forgotten Lands. All of the green flames in Forgotten Lands like instantly break my Switch whenever I visit there. And I don't even have anything in Forgotten Lands other than some pumpkins and like literally four trees. And my game always freaks out when I go over there. <clears throat> I think it's all like the animation of the flames that um, trips it up. Oh! <gasps> go your imagination <laughs> Lexa Nor <laughs> what you making Mr. Wonka Mr. Wonka with the factory in your wildest wildest dreams your imagination Mr. Wonka. What you making, Mr. Wonka? Mr. Wonka with the factory. It's vibier than I thought. Thank you. It's vibey. Mr. Wonka. Game only acts up if I don't play for a little bit without properly closing it. Fair. Fair enough. Oompa, oompa, doompa dee doo. Oompa, loompa, doompa dee da. Oompa, doompa, doompa dee doo. Sorry. <laughs> Hold on, where are we? <laughs> it's because the lands are forgotten, so it's forgetting the lands. Trying to remember them. Got it. You're right. I'm preoccupied with learning Stardew now. I'm actually loving it. I'm so glad you're having fun, Kate. What's the last thing you've done? What are you working on? Please tell me. 
This jam in the club, please and thank you. I would love that. I'm a bartender and I'm definitely playing this at my bar tonight. <gasps> please do. Please do. Do you need the song link, bestie? I got you. Please play it because it's such a vibe, okay? We love Chili Wonka in this household. We love it. Anyways. Um... I haven't seen it. No, I haven't seen it, Tikishi. Uh-uh. I don't know what that is. I want to watch it, but not traumatize myself. Oh, no. Is it traumatizing? Thank you. Such a vibe. So chill, but amazing. You're welcome. You're welcome. I got you. I love it at my barn. So Robin is making that tomorrow and trying to get everything for the community center. Nice. Uh, you are absolutely crushing it, Kate. Do you know that? That I'm so proud of you and you're amazing and incredible and wonderful and iconic. And that is all. Thank you. Love you. <laughs> Hi, Samantha. How are you? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Stop knowing you. Uh-uh, you. Okay, where were we? Um, So this is Ursula's house. Across from Ursula, it's really just more foliage, truly. I have like one little seating area here in the glade. There's not too much, though. Again, it's mainly just like clutter so that it doesn't feel empty. But I wanted it to be very foresty because, like, it's the Glade, you know? I wanted it to be very true to that still. So there's not much in here. There's really just Goofy stall, um, Ursula's house, and Mother Gothel. And that's literally it. The rest of it is just, like, random stuff, like a seating spot. So, um, But down here on the beach, I really like the beach, too. If we go to the beach, this is my favorite part of the beach. This is Ariel and Eric's little courtyard. So I wanted them to be next to each other because I felt like the game was being really mean and rude that they have Ariel and Eric living in separate houses because canonically they're married and they live in the same house and they have a kid. And I felt like it was mean, especially when they put Anna and Kristoff in the same house. Anyways, rant over. I'm less upset about it because that means we get a cute, beautiful sea palace out of it. So I guess it's fine. Um... <laughs> I guess it's fine because we get a sea palace, so it's okay. Um, but I wanted them to be together because they're literally married. So um, I made them like a little shared courtyard. And here we put his statue with like these little little mermaid um, benches so that it kind of like clashes their color palettes. He's got his own little model of his ship over here because that feels very Eric-like. Um, he would have a model of his own ship. Absolutely. So he has that over here. Um, she has a little table full of gasmos and gizmos aplenty because she needs it. She needs all of these little things. So she's got things that I think she would be fascinated with like this. That looks like coral, but isn't coral a little stuffy, a phone, a music player, some books, a cactus. Um, she's got all that here. I love, love the courtyard. I love that pathing. Oh my gosh, this pathing was a nightmare to make. I was using regular stone before, like this stone pathing, but I decided to use this because after I started putting it down, I realized since it's opal, it's so pretty in like nighttime. It gives like rainbow iridescent mermaid vibes because it's opal, right? I didn't realize that. I thought it was just like white tile with gold i didn't realize it said opal which makes sense so it has like this rainbowy kind of aesthetic to it in the shade it really 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 comes out and i love it it's so pretty at night it is gorgeous um so yeah they have their little courtyard he's over here in this little nook i still need to finish this area i want to make like a little pool in the backyard but i just don't have the pool yet i haven't made it so <clears throat> Goes on a mission to get a cow back. It's basically how we breed animals for food, not the cool side of it. Oh no, yeah, that might be a little much. Maybe a little much. I could not handle that movie. I don't know how you'd feel about it, but it's intense. Yeah, I don't think I could do that. I am doing a valley tour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, how long did it take for you to make those tiles? Uh, the amount of gold you need is insane. I don't know. It took me a while, but to be honest, I had a lot of uh gold saved up, so it wasn't too bad. I wasn't using my gold really for anything else at the moment so it wasn't too awful but yeah i did use literally every single piece of gold to my name though <laughs> hi nan how are you welcome in hope you're doing good um so yeah then we have her little entrance again it's just like a bunch of foliage and stuff some mermaids things like the glowing anemones the little coral things um and then we have a little seating area right here 
We have a little sitting area right here. <clears throat> I missed you in Plaza and Meadow and Forest area. I can do a little quick uh, recap of the Plaza and Meadow. I haven't shown the forest yet, so. Getting gold is easier than getting stone. True. You can see it at night. Yeah, here. I can also walk the glade at night for you because it's really pretty. Look. Wait. I'll make it even later. There you go. There's it at night. You don't have the pool from Scrooge's with the palm trees and foliage? I do, but it doesn't fit. I need the craftable one. <laughs> Look at how rainbow it is at night. Look at this floor. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it so, so, so much more. And we got the subtle little glowies of like the benches and the things by her. Oh, I love it here. But my favorite is the glade. Let me show you again. Has anyone else noticed that Donald has Maiden uh, Daisy on the front of his houseboat? Yeah, yeah. His um his boat's name is like the SS Daisy or something like that. It's really cute. Look at the glade. The glade is one of my favorite places to exist in when it's nighttime. So pretty here. It is so pretty here. Like the way I'm just obsessed with it. There's a magical blizzard in my frosted heights. Oh, go investigate, bestie. Go investigate. So pretty and magical. Yeah, I love it. Um, okay, so then past here, we have the other side of my beach, which is where um, the rest of the besties are. I'm going to put it back into uh, daylight hours because I think it's easier to see their side. Um, we have Stitch right here. So Stitch has the little wagon with his ugly duckling book in it because I thought it was so cute. A little seat to sit at. And of course, his city model build because I thought I needed to put it near him. So he has it right outside. Um, across from Stitch over here is where we have Goofy's little nook um, for his stall. Of course, a pathway leading up to the pier so we can go fishing or boats can dock or whatever. Um, here we have a pathway to Maui's. I wanted to put him kind of over here. I thought it looked cute i don't know how i'm gonna finish it yet i'm kind of like waiting to see what my item count is at because i do want to add more like water cl clutter more um reeds and all that stuff so stream. i also Time have to, to get ready for tomorrow too. hope you're so sweet thank you for the hundred biddies have a good rest of your day thank you for being here good luck good luck you're gonna do amazing wonderful i adore you so much thank you for being sweet thank you for the hundred bits i adore you We'll miss you. <laughs> I think my favorite Easter egg is that Gale is in Frozen Heights. It's the only biome you can see the wind. Ooh, true. Did you also know? Wait, speaking of that, I want to show y'all one cool thing. Hold on, because I did I totally forgot about it. If you go to nighttime, so you know if you are looking at the sky at night, um, you can see the moon, right? Um, if you look up, you can see the moon. It's a beautiful crescent. Did you know that if you go here? Beep, 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 beep. Hold on, it's gonna take a while for me to walk over there. You can see a beautiful crescent moon up in the sky, late at light. If you gore, mm -mm -mm. Beep, 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 beep. all the way over here. If you look at the moon, as you walk into Frosted Heights, you can see it's starting to shift because Frosted Heights is the only biome in the game where you can see a full moon. the only biome that has a full moon everything else has a crescent which i think is so cute so you got that beautiful full moon in the background and also if you didn't know there's a bunch of constellations in the sky at night um and they're all like different um like disney symbols like you saw the one for um the heart of tefiti there's like these ones here like that's a mickey head um, there's another heart of Tufiti there. We got the tangled star, a little like flower star thing. I think that's sword in the stone up there, but I can't get it to like settle on it. We got a mermaid shell. Ugh, I love looking at this game at night. I've never really like looked up in the sky at night before. And it's just so pretty. Why are you and your character so cute? That's a good question. <laughs> I don't know. You just blew my mind. I cannot wait to show my kiddos. Thank you. We did see the Disney constellations. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. The constellations are so pretty. 
so, so, so pretty, but I'm glad um, to show you about the moon. It's such a beautiful moon. I love it. Love, love, love it. Okay, anyways, let's go back over here. I never knew that before. Now you can go stare at the moon like I did once I found out. <laughs> um, so past Stitch's house over here on the left. Well, on the right, we have a little seating area and also where my well is because I like to make a cute little centerpiece around my well and every biome. I need it to look nice so that when I come out on the other side of the well, it actually like is has a purpose. Um, over here, we have a little hammock that I got from a bag and um, some waterfalls with a pathway, of course, leading up to this cave so I can still access it. Um, and if we go best here on the right, we have our little restaurant. So this is a little check-in book. You can write your little reservation here. You have the kitchen um, and then you have the actual seating area. So you got the um, you can sit here on these little stools. You got a little campfire thing right here. And then um, some some beach towels with some umbrellas. And of course, Maui statue, because Maui would love to sit over there and look at a statue of himself and the people vibing next to it. So he's got his statue over here. <laughs> um, ooh, this is my moonstone chest. I was actually looking for it. Nice. Um, we got all of my fruit trees back here because I just wanted them to have a purpose. So I put them there and I put them at the end of the pathway over there. Um, this is where my uh, stone for the area is. Again, I wanted to make it kind of look like a little centerpiece. So it's got some benches. It's got some flowers, some bushes, some rocks. Just kind of looks cute. We got Moana's fish boat here. And then Moana's house itself is here. We got a little beach banquet. The um, Dazzle Beach rock clusters leading up as like a little pebble path. And she's got a seating area here with a campfire to kind of lounge at, which I thought was really cute. Um, very simple yard, but a very big yard, which I love. Another little spot to sit at, of course, a bike here. And this is my cute little romantic beachside um, picnic area under the gazebo, which is really cute. I like it a lot. So you can come here and have a little, a little picnic date against the water and just vibe and hang out. I really love this gazebo. It's precious. Um, and then... We'll do a quick noom uh, through my meadow again for anyone who might have missed it. Um, here we have Goofy's house and we have a fishing spot across from Goofy's area where he can sit at and fish since we obviously know the boy loves fishing. Um, we have Minnie and Mickey over here with their cute little gardens. They each have a garden that matches their home aesthetic. Minnie's matches a little bit better than... Um, it matches a little bit better than Mickey's because there is literally a flower planter that matches her entire house palette. But um, they have their own little courtyard area. And behind them, they have a um, a tiny little garden that they can tend to and a space to just eat lunch together and hang out. Um, as well as Minnie has all the berries next to her. A, because I needed a place to put them. And B, I feel like Minnie would love to have a berry garden. She feels very like garden-esque. So it kind of fits having it next to her house as well. It's actually a good idea. Wait, which one? The flower planters? Who would have thought about adding those tall grass for decoration? Yeah, I love using the grass on the beach. Like part of me doesn't want to use grass on sand because it doesn't make sense. But also like this is literally called like beach grass. Oh, Goofy by the pond. Yeah, yeah, because he loves fishing. He's our fishing boy. So I gave him his own little fishing uh, area. And I also wanted Goofy and Mickey and Minnie to kind of be in like a similar area. So they have like their own little neighborhood right here without it feeling too neighborhoody. Because I didn't want it to be very like city vibes, but I did want them all kind of near each other. Um, so they have their own little space here with like a little picnic area that they can vibe at, which is really cute. Um, so yeah, this side has a picnic area by the pond attached to the fishing area. Um, and then of course my berries, this is my little centerpiece with my well. We got some, this is a new addition is the flower planters with the, uh, the rocks and stuff here because I wanted to make it look cuter. So this is what the new centerpiece looks like. And I actually like it a lot. I think it's really pretty, really pretty, really simple. doesn't use too many resources, but looks good. Um, over here is my farm area. So again, we got more seating across from the ponds. We got my wagon, some tools, an outhouse that I'm pretending is a shed, a well, and my actual farming plots here with a bunch of table clutter just all over to make it look very lived in, very worked in, um, and all of that. So again, just a little farming area here, um, and then just more clutter. More clutter, more bushes, more plants more um, mushrooms that just grew in and I decided to just leave them because I thought they were cute. 
a uh, picnic area to sit here if you want to relax and stop on your way to um, another area. And then back here is another fishing spot by this pond. I wanted to make sure everything in each biome was accessible. The fishing spots, the um, mining nodes, all of that. I wanted to be able to get to all of them and not have them stuck behind anything. So all of them have like a dedicated space in which I can get into that area um, so that I can actually like properly get resources. Um, so like you can see even here in my farmer's market, like I have a specific spot marked out here so that I can still get in there and get to that mining node. I also have it over here um, wow. so that it's accessible again. Um, but this is my farmer's market. This is where we have all of our veggies and all of our materials for sale. So we have Kristoff stall, we have Goofy stall, we have Mirabelle's um, little fabric thing. Farmer's market on this side. And this side is the market market with um, housing stuff, books, robes, lights, boxes, old chairs, anything, anything you can think of, ice cream, boba, and coffee. This is kind of like giving market slash fair vibes in general. So thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you. Welcome in. I'm back. Welcome back, Monty. My husband and I went to the dentist yesterday. A very romantic date of teeth cleaning. <laughs> he was driving. I couldn't help but notice everyone's fencing and landscape. Uh, landscape means good ideas for DDV decorating. Let's go. Uh, also, hey, Tixie, hey, chat. Hi, Lola. I hope you have so much inspo. And I hope you have a fun time just decorating in your game and vibing. We love to see it. Um, and I think that's it for my meadow. Other than this is just, again, this is just random forest clutter. I just filled it in so it wasn't empty, but this is here as a placeholder for like, if I get a new character that I want to move to the meadow, I have a place to put them because um, there's not anything like dedicated in this area and I wouldn't have to redo a whole section. I would just have to literally come in here and just delete all of the pathing and like whatever. Um, so this is just empty, but not empty, you know? Um, my plaza is actually super simple. This is my main centerpiece is the fountain with a bunch of trees, a bunch of bushes, and a bunch of flowers. Um, I didn't want to go overboard with the trees and the flowers because again, every single thing you place counts as a item limit. When I first made this, I made it really cute with like, um, made it really cute with like these rocks outlining the entire thing, right? And then while it was adorable and it looked so, 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 so nice, it was way too many resources. So I settled on this since fencing does not count towards that item limit. And I just kind of made a way to make it work without using all those rocks because it gave me like 50 different item points back. Um, on this side, it's just some clutter behind Scrooges so things don't spawn in there. We got an open area here where I can get to my mining spaces. We have a Scrooge here with just a little seating area and some beautiful planters. Um, Remy's is over in this corner with again, another little area to get to the mining spot back here and an outdoor restaurant and bar area that everyone can kind of sit at. Um, my plaza is pretty like empty, but full, if that makes sense at the same time. I didn't want it overwhelmingly busy because uh, it's, it's kind of like a weird space. It's a weird space. Um, and then here, this is uh, Remy's apartment area. So I wanted to make it feel pretty grand. So we got a lot of like these bushes because I feel like it makes it feel very, um, very groomed, very like taken care of because these bushes are so like tight knit. So we have a little clock tower. We have these. And then on the sides, it's just full with like grass and things to make it look like it's, um, it's not flat grass in there. So, but it's again, really simple. And on the back side, I left it open back here so that I can get in there and access everything. I can still walk through and get all of this resource so that I'm not trapped um, without getting those flowers and um, those wood pieces. I can walk in there at any point and go get it. Um, new here, I'm loving this DDV tour. When you start an area, do you clear the whole area and just kind of wing it or have a couple houses there and go in with a plan? Um, I would say kind of a mixture of both, a mixture of both. I do flatten the area. Um, because it gives me a more accurate item number count if I flatten the areas. I kind of know a little bit more like the number that I'm working with if there's not an excess of trees somewhere. But I also do kind of plan it a little bit going in. Um, like here, for instance, Sunlit Plateau. It is completely empty. I don't technically have anything in here. It's just flowers. 
but it does have all of the buildings in here that I do plan on putting in here. So Casita, um, Woody's Carousel, Wally, Wally's Garden, Donald's, and Scar. They're all going to stay in here. So I have things to work on and build off of when I do come and decorate, but I don't have any of the pathing or any of the trees or any of the um, extra foliage to like clutter my head on what I want to do. But I'm able to like visualize the amount of space I'm going to have because I have all the buildings I plan on putting in here, over here, if that makes sense. So it's kind of like both, kind of both. I flatten it, but I also have houses so that I know how to plan it. Um, because when I first started doing the beach, I had planned to put like seven houses on the beach and I was like, that's not going to work. So then I started moving houses around and planning houses per biome and then going from there. This game looks so much better on PC. The shimmer for the pads I don't see on my screen. Yeah, it is. The quality on PC is, is, uh, obviously different. I love your decor. Thanks, Ryan. You're so sweet. I feel like my whole existence is weird. Why? For why though? The blue ravens in your world? Let's go. Go get that raven. Um, what else was I doing? Did we finish the plaza? Um, yeah, just across from Remy's, I just have my orchard. And that's really it. Xbox plays pretty good too. Yeah, Xbox and PS5 should also have really good graphics. Should also look a lot better than uh Switch. Switch, unfortunately, is just a little uh a little lackluster. It's old. The Switch is six years old, besties. It makes me want to cry. Seven? Is it six or seven? Are we coming up on seven? Did we pass seven? 2017 or 2018? I don't remember. No, six. Okay, six. I love your ballet. You're so good at decorating. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and that's it. And we're working on my forest now. 2017 release. Okay, okay, okay. And the forest is the area we're working on now. So this is where my house is. Um, this is my side yard. So I have like my little cooking area and my little crafting area with some clutter. Um, we got a table here just for, again, decor. We got a couple of um, farming patches here for when I do need to pick and plant anything. If I need to restock on anything, I got it here, but I filled it in with pumpkins so it looks aesthetically pleasing. We got, again, more clutter. And then back here, more clutter, more bushes, and then my well. Um, this is just pathing that is temporary for now. I'm trying to, like, figure out exactly how I'm going to make this area look full, but... Um, the pumpkins are also throbbing. Listen, they are. That's like indicating that they're ready. I don't know why they do that. I hate it, but it's fine. Um, <laughs> so that's my house. Across from my house is my um, storage area, my outside storage area. I do have an indoor storage area, but I also wanted an outdoor one for things that are more outdoorsy, like my soils, my woods, my clay, um, my crafted materials, my seeds, the snowballs, all of that stuff. I leave it outside. All of my veggies and cooking materials are inside my inside storage. So I have two separate storage areas. Next to that, we have a little blanket fort because who doesn't love a blanket fort right next to the water? Super cute. Love. Um, I do want to come back in here and add more of those like glowy lilies in the water because I think it'd be so pretty. I just haven't done it yet because I don't want to use those resources until I'm done decorating all the other biomes. Then I'm going to come in and add like random little cute clutter. Um, across from my house is where we have Buzz's campsite because I wanted to give him a little campsite since he lives in an RV. We used mud here to make it look like tire tracks and I love it so much. I'm obsessed with it. Um, he's got a little picnic area here. He's got an outhouse, um, a little campfire here to sit at and cook food or just get warm and toasty. He's got a little storage box here for anything that he might need to store for, uh, food purposes to keep it away from the raccoons or whatever, whatever you may need. A little um, bathroom box right here with all of his goodies for when he needs to take a shower or whatever, get clean, cozy. And then the rest of it, again, is just um, just more foliage. So it feels like a forest. My big thing with the forest is I want it to feel like a forest. So there's a lot of trees. A lot of trees, a lot of bushes, a lot of rocks. It's very overgrown. That's the vibe we're going for because otherwise it wouldn't be a forest, right? 
Um, so here we have Woody Stall or Woody Stall, Goofy Stall. <laughs> Goofy stall right against the water and when you come up in this and um, into this area because I thought it looked really nice here I didn't want to put it too close to my house, but I wanted it close enough that I could access it easily So kind of fit in this space So that I had something to go there um, Across from that is where we have our big centerpiece of the area, which is this ginormous fountain and That outdoor thing you use for your shed. I have that for buzz campground like a bathroom room Yeah, I've used it for both to be honest I've used it for both. Here, it's an outhouse. Um, over by my marketplace, there's one that I use as an outhouse as well. Because it's like a potty right by here. But in here, I pretend it's a shed. So I have like the tools by it and the extra box and stuff. So yeah, I use it kind of as both. Um, I was also thinking thrumpkins. Why thrumpkins? Where's the crates can be used as seating or a table or stackable? Yeah, I would love that. I constantly want to add something on top of the crates or the barrels. Mm-hmm. I wish they had an item slot on top of them where you could put something on them because they're so cute. Because um, you're to the item limit when you decorate the other areas, are you going to take things out or wait for them to expand the quantity? And hate for things to have to go. Your value looks fantastic. I'm not at the limit yet. I have a little bit of leeway. I still have like 400 pieces that I can put down. And all I have to finish decorating is this much of my forest, my frosted heights, and sunlit plateau because i'm not decorating forgotten lands i also have about 100 pumpkins in forgotten lands still that i really don't need i can go pick them and i really don't need them here so if i needed those i could pick all that up um i should be okay I should be okay i've been decorating pretty like light without going overboard. And if I really needed to, there's definitely some things in some of these areas that I could get rid of. Like I don't need this, so I could go in and delete that, like kind of thing. I do that every now and then to keep my item number a little bit lower um, so that I'm not like going overboard. So yeah. And such a cute decor piece. Yeah, I love it a lot. It's super versatile. Um, so yeah, then behind it is just, um, a bunch of trees and stuff across from here. Again, we have our cute little, um, fountain area, which is just our main centerpiece. I need to get another bench here. I just haven't made it yet. I need to do that. And then here underneath, if you go under this arch, you get teleported to the beach. No, <laughs> if you go under that arch, <laughs> if you go under the arch, okay, you get to Merlin's little house in the woods back here. Um, so he's got a little outdoor reading area with his um, his desk full of books and his bookshelf, all of these little celestial decors, another chest, <laughs> teleportation to the beach. I like it. Yes, exactly. It was exactly planned as that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's also got the orb over here as well. So yeah, I just wanted to give him like a cute little back of the woods, like little nook. It looks cute. And cleaning your value lowers the numbers going to well. Exactly, Lola. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to learn, uh, drink some tea and get ready for bed. Have a good stream and enjoy playing. Bye, Rose. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you so much. I hope your tea is really good. I hope you get some good rest. <clears throat> Hi, Ellie. Welcome in. Are you doing good? Um, what else? I think that's it. That's pretty much it. That's all we've left at. Yeah. Um, so here I want to put like a little, uh, seating area like a little picnic area against the water and then this is probably just gonna be more bushes and stuff but then we have this whole pathway that i need to do i want it to be very like zigzaggy it's probably gonna be like this like a little s kind of vibe i don't want straight paths like anywhere in the forest truly the only one i'm willing to accept is here because um i, I wasn't gonna really be able to like curve it without it it's just not long enough of a space so <clears throat> Such a great tour. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome. Some of the updates of this game are so nice. Smart sort was needed. Yeah, 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 yeah. We love the smart, like, put away thing. We love the smart, um, like, smart transfer. We love the sorting options. All of it are great. Yes. Agreed, agreed. Um, let's see. Oh, did I not make the paths? Oops. I don't like straight for a forest. Um, I don't like a hike kind of trail. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I don't want it to be, I don't want any pathings to really be that straight. Again, the only one I'm willing to deal with being straight is here, but that's because this is my area of the forest that's more like developed because it has my house and it has a campground. So it feels more accurate for it to be a little bit more straight 
pathing because it's not the rural part. It's like a lived in part. So it makes sense. But over there, everything is going to be curvy. This is amazing. I'm building my inventory and I am almost done. So I have started decorating. This is giving so much inspiration. Good. Good. I'm glad I can give you some inspo. Also, reminder, if you do want to look at it, I do have a um, Pinterest board with a bunch of wonderful, incredible, um, incredible pictures of builds on there. Um, I don't have anything of mine on there, but you're more than welcome to look at it if you want. It's exclamation point inspo in chat. It has a bunch of different um, inspo pics of beautiful valley builds from other creators. Um, and it's organized into biome. It's organized into like character houses. So if you're specifically looking for something for like um, Ariel and Eric's house, you want to go into the Little Mermaid category. It has a bunch. So if you're looking for inspo pics outside of what I've shown you in my game personally, you can look at that Pinterest board and maybe it will help you a little bit. <clears throat> Thank you. I'll check it out. I need inspiration, of course. Yeah. I need to go through and add some stuff to it soon. You're the best. <laughs> I try to help as much as I can. I know how hard it can be for inspo. Like, it can be so tough trying to figure out what exactly you might want to do um, and whatnot. So, I get it. I struggled for the longest time with inspo with this game. I mean, looking at inspiration for the Sunlit Plateau and Beach um, and Frosted Forest. Ooh, well, there you go. Yeah, that should all be in there. You should absolutely be able to find that in there. Okay. I haven't decorated anything. It wasn't for a quest. I really, really need to move stuff around. <laughs> There's no rush, which is so nice. There's absolutely no rush. Because we're not even getting new content again until April. So, and probably mid-April. Probably about a month from now is when we can expect it. So, you have no rush at all. And you don't even have to be done with that, doing anything by that time. That's just when there's going to be more stuff to take your focus is all. So, you got plenty of time. To do the things. I think I'll do it like that. I think that's better. Okay. First was easy for me. A hiking trail with a bench and picnic area. Cute. Uh, cute. I would love to make like a hiking trail vibe. All right. We're going to try to... How did I say I wanted this to go? Oh, gosh. Like this, I think. Is that what I wanted? Like an S, right? Like that. Yeah. Where it like curls into that corner and then like cuts back here kind of. Doing the pathing is always the hardest part. I think I actually might need to get more soil too so I can make more. Like an S. I apologize now for the massive save notifications. No, you're fine. <laughs> you're perfect. <laughs> I'm just glad y'all can find use of it. If I can compile a bunch of like inspo pics to one place and people um, like those pictures from other creators, then I absolutely use that. Okay, I think this needs to go more like this way. Like, this needs to go. Oogie Woggies. What are you doing? Let me inspire you with this beautiful song from many moons ago. It's a little number called Striped Sweater. The best time to wear a striped sweater is all the time. One with a collar turtleneck that's look fine. Cause when you eat earring that one. Special. Sweater. Best time to wear a striped sweater. Is all the time. <laughs> Thank you, Light. Thank you for the hundred biddies. <laughs> I appreciate you so much. Thank you for being so sweet. 
I didn't get that song stuck in my head, though. The Audacity. That song lives rent-free in my head like the rest. You do a loop-de-loop -loop and pull. And now your shoes are looking cool. Okay. This might be... Ooh, I'm actually... No shot. Wait. <laughs> Are we actually going to be able to finish it? I mean, I'm going to need more pathing, obviously, still. To, like, fix it and flesh it out. And I don't think the like the shape is exactly right but i'm actually kind of just like in general shocked that i even had enough okay because there's definitely like this corner is disgusting <laughs> but i think this is okay i might want it to curve a little bit better here um laying the pathing looks so much smoother than it does on my switch yeah it is it is though um you can try crystal um, I've heard a lot of Switch players have a lot of success um, using the touchscreen um, for decoration. I don't know if you knew that was an option or not. I don't know if you knew that was an option because I definitely didn't since the Switch, most games on the Switch don't um, support its touchscreen function. So um, I somehow got a gift to sell while I was offline. Well, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. When Big Larry came around just to put him down, SpongeBob turned into a clown, and no girl ever wants to dance with a fool who went in, ripped his pants. Banger. Ah. That's from memory, as it should be. I never thought of trying that. I should, I should though. Yeah, try it. See if it helps. I don't know if it's going to like solve all your problems, obviously, but it may help a little bit and we'll take that. So next update, I think they should have an option to try and close before buying them. That would be nice. You know what also I wish they would have is I just want them to add a controller like joystick sensitivity issue. Honestly, I feel like that would solve 99% of people's um, um, console players issues as far as decorating goes. Is it they just need a joystick sensitivity I don't know why there isn't one. The main issue is how like hypersensitive the joystick is, but you can't turn it down. You have a joystick sense option, but it's only the camera. It's not um, like for decorating purposes and it's stinky. Um, I bought the game. I bought the Deluxe, which I believe is one down from premium. I'm loving it. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying the game. I'm so excited for you. I'm glad you're having the best time already. Congrats to the um, Addicted to Dreamlight Valley Club. <laughs> I got Dreamlight on my PS4. I found a useful tip for decorating console. Oh, what is that? What is it? That's why I gave up on Sims 4 on PS4. Fair, fair enough. I don't know why that's not like a default thing is to have a sense option. Um, okay, I do think I like the zigzag here. I might want it to zigzag a little bit more here, which means I may need to get more pathing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to like fix the shape as much as I want. With how much I have. Actually, I might. Let's go. Love that for you. What is the outfit? I need to know. 
Is it the cute like little frozen um jumpsuit? Okay, I think that's better. Oh, yeah, I'm going to need more pathing, which is fine. Because I obviously need to make this. For PS4, I click on the object, but it like moves the screen instead. Just the joystick cursor. Wait, click an object. It moves the screen instead of the joystick cursor. Joystick is the one that messes me up with decorating. Oh. Huh. Interesting. I'm at the level where I collected all the tools I need, and I'm talking to Merlin right now about how to remove the big night thorns. You got this. You're doing so good. Uh, I'm glad you're just enjoying the game. Cute blue suit with gold on the trim and legs. Yes. I know exactly what you're talking about, I think. Adorable, as you should. It looks amazing. Absolutely stunning. Okay, we're just going to not worry about the pathing here to the exit of the forest, and we'll do that later. Because um, if I try to do that right now, I'm just not going to have enough paths. So I will do it when I can craft more. Using the arrows instead of the joystick? Oh, maybe. Maybe the arrows? Maybe that's... um, That's it, Beastie? Yeah. Um, but it is ad break time, besties. So if you need to get up and stretch your legs or use the restroom or get food or water or anything like that, now is the perfect opportunity to do so because you're not going to miss a single piece of content. I'm going to get up and use the potty and um, I'm going to uh, check on my game and y'all can see I'll put I'll put the um, pet cam up on the big screen instead of my little uh, BRB screen since they're here and they're vibing. So y'all get to stare at the baby boys while I go potty and do my things. Arrows are just slow. It moves like one square. Oh, that's silly. Hate that. I can hate that. Not a vibe. Weird. Um, but yeah, if you need to do anything, ads are going to go off soon. So we're going to take a little bit of a break. We do a break every hour. Uh, and I will be right back.
Okay, hi. <laughs> oh, we here. We back. I hope y'all had a good break. What? All right. Eye droppies. All right. Let's start decorating this heckin' valley, shall we? Figure out what the heck we want to put in here. Your papa looks so lonely in the cage of sleeping. He looks lonely. How does he look lonely? I know, isn't that emote so cute? I love the pink squishmallow. Uh, maybe I've got me the, the giant pink raccoon. They're so comfy. They are. They are so comfy. I also have my little of corridor, and I love it. He's got Ollie to cuddle. Yeah, they snuggle in. They snuggle in. It's fine. Did I win yet? Of course, new kid. Oh, you know what? We actually need to back out. Oopsies. I need to back out and A, make sure my pathing all saved, but I need to go like pick up some pieces that are going to be in my way like this thing <clears throat> and anything else that might have spawned that's like a diggable it is an avocado an avocado thanks <laughs> it is an avocado yep he makes a great headrest while gaming <laughs> love that for you it sounds super cozy. I'm jealous. My hubby and kiddos got me three um, new squishmallows for my anniversary gift yesterday. <gasps> that is so cute. It was the cutest thing ever. That is adorable. I love that for you so much. I absolutely adore that. What sweet. Cute family members. Love. This hour is taking so long. I just want to be playing tennis already. I'm sorry. I hope it goes by quicker. I wish I could make it speed by. Little speed racer. I love that um, everyone turns pink when they get here. Looking at you. <laughs> everyone likes pink. You dabble in tennis? Yeah. Gosh, likes tennis. I remember you told us about our, his new tennis shoes, but then was like, I was like, oh, you got new tennis shoes, like sneakers. He's like, no, like actual like shoes for tennis. And I was like, I don't know. Dabble. I was huge in tennis in high school. Oh, God. Look what you did like. How dare you use the word dabble? Disrespectful, truly. I love pink. It was that or turquoise. Those are both really good options. Not going to lie. Trying to get back into it, as you should. I hope you have fun with it. I'm excited for you. There aren't many bad switch colors, to be honest. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Are you sure? I feel like there aren't many great ones. I mean, I'm biased. I like that. What about some lime in your life? Put the lime in the coconut. Never mind, it's still pink. <laughs> it's lime for me. Well, green. Yeah. I tried to get into tennis and then I found out how much um, less running there is in pickleball and became <laughs> obsessed. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough, Duncan. That sounds like something I would do. I didn't know what pickleball was until like literally a couple years ago. And I was very confused because all I could think about was pickles. Fortunately, I'm now off until Monday. I know that sucks, Dragon, but I'm glad because that means you're going to have plenty of time to rest and recover. But I know it's also stressful, you know, 
it's a lot of days off. We still have a, unfortunately, like adult finances and stuff we got to take care of. So it's a little stinky. But I'm glad it's giving you enough time to feel better. Yeah, you do need the rest, but I also understand like how stressful it is. Even not sick, you need it? Fair. <laughs> not wrong. Definitely is making its round. Just heard another two people got sent home today for it. Nora! Gross. Everyone is absolutely going to be hunting down that person. <laughs> Whoever has done this. Whoever start the spiral. <laughs> okay. Love these ferns. Another fern here. And this. Why I take from all this is I need to start crafting yesterday. <laughs> It takes a lot of resources. It really does, but it's so worth it. But decorating does take a lot. Absolutely. Um, but luckily there's also like a lot of free stuff that you can use to decorate, you know, like all these bushes and things. You don't craft these, so you have an endless supply of them. Um, so I can use, use them. They're there for a reason. Save yourself all the resources and use the free assets the game gives you. Because you can do so much with just like the free um, ferns and trees. And yeah, the log benches for anyone. I thought they were crafted. No, no, no. All of the trees, all of the bushes, all of the like rocks and stuff. No, no, no. Um, also, yes. What Duncan said, make sure you use these. If you go under trees, you can go to this fallen trunk. They function as actual log benches. You can actually sit on them. So they're a free bench and they fit your aesthetic for the woods if you want them. So use them because you can actually sit down on them. They're really cute. Both cute and functional. We love both of that. Those are awesome. Yeah, I love them a lot. I actually think I'm going to put them right here as like a little, um, a sitting spot next to the water. Um, so anyways, bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. Light. Drive safe. Thanks for being here. I don't want to make anyone jealous, but I just opened my email and some Nigerian prince needs me and me alone to help them get their millions of unfrozen from their bank account. I'm going to be rich. Stop it. <laughs> Nor. Nor Vestia. Swear to God. <laughs> Not the Nigerian prince. Ay, ay, ay. You go get your millions, bestie. I'm sure it's going to be so great. <laughs> oh, you're the lucky chosen one. I wish I had a Nigerian prince, man. Yeah, I think I'll do something like this. You can sit down by the water. Okay, cute. Um, And then how do I want to do this? I actually might make this space. Send this sign. Go live your best life. Yes, go live your best life, bestie. I'm proud of you. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Where do I want to put the table? 
I feel like if I put it here, it's a little too cluttered. So I might like open this space up a little bit and put it over here. I just have to worry, think like about the pathing. Um, Cause I don't have much of this left. Hello. So let's do it like, oh gosh. Okay, let's do like this, maybe. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you. Welcome in. Hmm. I can't put that there right now. Okay. Um, we'll just have to move this. Cause I'd rather this all move down one. Maybe like that. Okay. Um, and then here will just be a bush of some sort. This is obviously not gonna be able to go there, which is fine. Um, I might be able to get I can get one of the trees there. I forget which one it is. I think it's a purple fur. If you want to give some gifts, I'm a size couple million. <laughs> oh my goodness. As you should, bestie. Proud of you. Yeah, this one will go over pathing. Okay. Hi, Kelly. How are you? Welcome, welcome. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Let's do it like that. And then, no, no, no. There we go. <laughs> Yeah. Whoops. Okay. Dang it. That'd be something like that. Or like finesse it. I don't know if I want that there. Might just put the tree there. Yeah. Now we'll put this bush like here. And then we can put this one here. And then this back there. Actually, I might swap this out. Can I get this here? Nope. God, dang it. Okay. Um, then I'm going to put this tree back here. Move this forward. It's too much purple in one spot. So this tree will go back. In this corner, this will move there. Um, the fern can go like in that spot. Actually, no. Where's the small one? Maybe that. No. Okay. Um, in the office today, I had a great workshop at a senior center sharing out some grants. We're offering it was nice. Good. Good. Sounds like a wonderful day. You love to hear it. Um, the valley's good. Valley's good. We're just trying to figure out exactly where I want everything and um, how we're going to have everything looking and no want see you now the usual. Trying to figure out how to fill spaces. Um... But we made like a cute little resting area where you can sit down and um, sit at the water and you can have a little picnic over here. I need to figure out what else I may want to put in this section because it's feeling a little um, just a teeny bit empty. I don't know what clutter items I may have that might make it look cuter. We could do like a little birdhouse maybe. I don't know if I need that. A nice little light post would be cute, but I don't think I have any because I'm kind of out of materials. So... Um, we'll put a little piece of wood for clutter. We could do a guitar, maybe? If I could, like, make it fit. 
Uh, it doesn't really work. I was thinking a guitar is like a... A fire pit, maybe? I don't think I have any more though, unfortunately. I'd have to make another one. I don't know if I have the resources to do that. My husband just stole someone's dog in his game. <gasps> I have a vendetta against your husband. How dare. It's that time again. Time to bring up that beautiful balloon arch that would look great anywhere in your valley. Monty, don't. <laughs> Nor, Busty. Oh, we could do like a little table maybe with Jess. I don't know if I'm going to be able to have a table where the chess board would actually look cute on it because it's one tile and most tables hold four tiles. There's some that don't though. This disgusting balloon arch would look terrible here. A gingerbread house because camping activity is true. True. We need an emo of that balloon arch. Don't give light any ideas. You're lucky it's not here. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that balloon arch. Uh, it's perfect. Loving the balloon arch. Stop it. Oh, we do have this little fire pit. That I always forget about. Do you use the inventory behind the secret door as extra storage? No, I always forget to go over there. I never remember. That it exists, truly. Do, 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 do. Using it for your gems. There you go. Well, good. I'm glad you got some sort of use out of it. It is nice to have. I just always forget about it and I have way too many storage chests now. <laughs> Where's the fridge was functional and you could use that to store your food? You can now. You can now. They changed it. Um, in like the last update, you can, um, I don't know about the fridge specifically in there, but I know with fridge items in the game, you can use them and you can store food in them now. My friend's game, uh, cute game announcement. If you have PS Plus, it's free um, for you, but... Oh! I think I saw that name on Twitter or something. Let's you kidnap beautiful street animals, please. I have a pink fridge that's functional. It has two rows. Yeah, so the fridges um, have the same amount of space as a small, uh, a small chest. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I want to put it right here. I'm going home right now. <laughs> yeah, they changed it. Um, actually, I think the sign is cuter on that side. They um, changed it in the last update. I keep my cooked food in my fridge. Me too. Me too, me too. My husband is playing it right now. Can you craft more storage chests? You can. Mm -hmm. um, if you go into your crafting table and you go under the like functional tab, there's three different chests that you can make. You can make a small one, a medium one, or a large one. The small one holds 20, the medium one holds 40, and the large one holds 60. But they are very resource heavy and also require dream light. Um, so the bigger ones, the medium and large do. The small ones do not. They are like a couple of like wood and some iron and maybe just wood. It might just be wood. I think the medium ones are iron and wood. And then the large ones are dark wood and gold. So like the regular small ones are fine. I think it's literally just soft wood maybe. Medium I believe is hardwood. And you were telling me, of course, uh, I wish you could sell furniture. I upgrade all my small chests to large chests. And I, yeah, can, yeah, you have like 30 extra or whatever. It might not be 30, but um, now you have all these extra chests. That's why I've started just using them, Liliana, honestly, as like decor. <laughs> 
I've been putting like, I know this isn't the same chest, but I've used like this chest over here and I have like a chest over by Merlin's and I have a chest over by Goofy's area. Like I've just been using them as decor pieces anywhere that I think of it. Like here I have a chest. I've just been putting them down because I have them and I can't really do anything with them. So I've just been using them and working them into people's builds. So at least they're like not just in my pockets, I guess. So maybe you could do something like that and just drop them somewhere that makes sense. Give your villagers like a little storage area. Who knows? My dailies are cook with seafood, prepare a one star better meal, prepare a two star better meal, three star, four star, and five star. Let's go. Completing all six with one meal. Nice. Uh, that makes it super easy, new kid. Dang. I'm going to go make some chess while I watch you and stick my fridge. Let's go. And stock your fridge. Let's go. Get all your things done, bestie. As you should. Um, I guess it's like this regal table. I don't know. I was thinking of making like a little... Are you... Oh, okay. It's just the angle. Oh my God. I was like, are you kidding me? Yeah, I think I might make a little chessboard table. A little chess table. That's cute. It's a little too regal, but it's fine. We'll just pretend that it's not. Do, 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 do. I should figure out where I want to put it. I might just put it in the middle. Yeah, that's kind of cute. Okay. I love the little chest table there. Um, and a chest. <laughs> and a little chest. Because it's another little uh, camping nook place. So budget. What else may I have? <clears throat> oh, these are all central soups. I got chests in my house for each kind of material, food, crafting, the shards, questing materials. Same. Yeah, I have a lot. I have a lot as well. I have storage chests like inside and then I also have them outside. Outside is all my like more material material like soil and rocks and stuff. But yeah, I got everything like super organized just to make my brain happy and make it so that I can actually like hoard all these resources. I want to make sure I have way too much of everything, <laughs> basically. Oops, I didn't mean to exit out. Let's see, just scroll through and see if there's anything else I may want. Um, I don't think so, but maybe. Might be something I forgot about. Oggy woggies. Oh! <gasps> Thank you, thank you so much for the 40 biddies. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for being so sweet. Uh, how dare you? Thank you. Thank you for the 40 bits. The only small chest I use are Scrooge's because how do you not keep your golden gems in a safe? That's just irresponsible. True. True. I do want to redo my storage rooms and I want to like make like specific rooms for like flowers and stuff like that. But I also know that it's going to be a pain when I go to put things away, but I think it'd be really cute aesthetically. That's something I do want to do eventually. Make like a little garden room, make a room with all my gems, make a room with all this and all my food and all that. And I think it'd be really, really pretty, but <clears throat> it'd be very extensive as well. So I haven't done it yet. It has a functioning ukulele. You can choose the note to play it on. Wait, that sounds so cute, Peachy. I'm going to have to look up this game later. I'm going to have to look it up because um, I saw it on my Twitter feed, but I didn't know what it was and I didn't look it up. So now I need to. I need to. I need to. It sounds like a project to get lost in. Mm -hmm. And I'm not on at the point in which I'm decorating my house yet. So not yet. Not yet. Um, okay. I think I want to put this picnic blanket here. I don't know if I want to make like this be the little picnic nook, like in the little corner of the... Uh, um, the corner of the woods over here, or if I want to do it here, I might do it in here. Like on the opposite side of where this space is, I might put it here because it's by the water again. I might put it on this side instead. 
By the river? Yeah, I think so. Oh, is it? By New Caledonia, which I interpret to mean um, that the surroundings will be beautiful. Yeah. Have you ever played Wind Waker and love that game? Like me, you'll like it. Oh, <gasps> I love Wind Waker. Wind Waker is my favorite Zelda game outside of Breath of the Wilds. So, yes, bestie. Yes. I love that game. With my entire soul. Okay. I'm going to delete that. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you. Welcome in. When Waker and Twilight Princess are my favorites. Twilight Princess is very much a... Uh, popular choice i do like that game it's just not one of my favorites because it's a little bit darker which is exactly the point of that game obviously um that's just not necessarily my preferred or my preference you know but it is a beautiful game i do like it never played twilight princess it's good i loved how dark it was yeah a lot of people like it specifically because of that um, I just know, like, my personal preference. I don't like games that lean more, like, um, hyper-realism. My perfect balance of realism is, like, Breath of the Wild. That's my perfect balance, where it's, like, it's realistic, but it's also, like, uh, cel-shaded realism, you know? You know what I mean? Whereas Twilight Princess is way more leaning more realistic than that. I just don't like it as much. Um, do you know what movie you'll be watching this Saturday? Yeah, we're gonna be watching Puss in Boots. And then the next Saturday after this one, we'll be watching Puss in Boots 2. Um, but reminder, we have a Discord. You're more than welcome to join it if you're over 18. Community in general is 18 plus. So um, if you wanna join Discord and join our movie nights, you're more than welcome to do that. We have them every Saturday at 2 p.m. PT, um, which is 43 minutes ago and whatever your time zone is, because it's 2.43 for me. Um, on Saturdays, we have movie nights. And we're watching Puss in Boots. There's no voice chat. You have to be in a voice chat channel um, to watch the movie, but there's no voice activity. I, I turn that off you. because that would be horrendous. Absolutely not. No way. So there's no voice activity that's going on during it. You just have to be in a channel so you can see the movie. But no one will be talking in your ears because I think I would have a panic attack. I'm EST. Okay, so five. It's the same time here for naps after stream. Let's go. There you go. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going a little overboard right here with trees. But also, like, I want this many trees. But I'm also, like, looking at this. <laughs> It's fine, because all I'm really going to do here is trees and bushes, and then the rest of it is there, so that's fine. It's not too big of a deal. Um, I just need to figure out this. It's really just going to be the blanket, I think. I don't think I want to put anything else with it, so I just need to add, like, little... A little stone moment. And then we're good. And then just decorate it with trees and things. Joy bus, yes, join us. I do love Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time. I like Ocarina of Time, but I don't like Majora's Mask. It's too time pressury. I didn't like it. Apparently, the develop um developing developing, developing studios founders. Um, we're born there. I'm absolutely getting this game. We love. Uh, not only inspired by, but says the co-founders are from New um Caledonia. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. Um, and used local talent for the VO in the traditional language. Seems like a game that came out of love. We love that. We absolutely love that. I cannot wait to check it out later and see. It seems exactly like a game that I would love, A. Eh? And also, um, we love supporting. We love supporting companies. What was everyone's first Zelda game? Ooh, first Zelda game. I think my first one was Ocarina. I'm pretty sure my first Zelda was Ocarina. Am 
Mine was Ocarina on the GameCube. Yeah, I think mine was Ocarina. I played it on our 64. I wouldn't have played anything earlier than that because the older, like, Zelda games that were on the NES, I think were a little bit too hard for the age that I was when they came out. So I never played those. Um, but I was, by the time the 64 game came out. <clears throat> Hi, May. Hello. I'm from the Midwest area, but ended up on the West Coast. I hate it here. Wait, what? <laughs> what do you mean? You ended up on the West Coast. Unless you count the Zelda map in Mario Kart. Nor you need to play a game, Duncan. You should play Breath of the Wild. It's really fun. I only played Zelda on N64 at the dentist. The dentist? That's wild. Kind of iconic, though. <laughs> My dentist didn't have heckin' video gums. Excuse me? My dentist is not dentisting right, apparently. That's what I'm saying. Uh, you got a cool dentist, bestie? The heck? We had three cubbies in different, with different consoles. Ugh. Iconic, truly. Love that. So, so, so much. Take away their dentist's license. Why? <laughs> Why? My orthodontist at a movie theater. A movie theater? Yeah, mine had nothing. Are you talking about taking away my dentist dentist license, Monty? I think that's what you meant. <laughs> I think that's what you meant. And I was like, why do you want to take away their license for giving video games? I think you meant mine for not having them. That would make more sense. Found my Game Boy. Yeah, I meant yours. Okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. I was like, wait, why would you want them to not have... Oh, I see. <laughs> I found my Game Boy and it's still alive. Oh! <gasps> We love that for you. Icon energy. Absolutely adore that for you, bestie. I'm glad it still works. I joined the Discord even though I have no clue how it works, but posting food sounds fun. If you have any questions, let me know. Please do not feel like you can't just post in like general or something, or if you want to ask it here, you're more than welcome to. Um, if you, anyone needs any help navigating Discord, A, a couple of things. Um, B, make sure you check out the roles channel under help I'm new. That's where you can assign your pronouns so we can see your pronoun role. Um, so make sure that we are addressing people in the correct way. Also, that's where the movie night role is. If you want to get alerted when we're having movie nights, go to the roles channel and make sure you react with the movie camera, like little emoji at the bottom. That would give you the right role because I don't ping the whole server when we watch movies because I just don't like adding everyone unless it's a big like deal, like I'm having a charity stream or we have like a new YouTube video since we only have them once a week or things like that. So you need to make sure you have the role to get the alerts. Um, and also check out channel guide. That will show you all the different channels we have. If you click on the channel that is in that list, it will take you to it. So you don't have to like navigate to find it. Just click the name of the channel and it will take you to that channel. It should just automatically open it. <clears throat> we had um, two themed games at my dentist. Um, like the crocodile that you'd pull the teeth out of. It was a bit like Hungry Hungry Hippos. Oh yeah, the one that like crunches your hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I remember that. Okay, thank you. Of course. Yeah, if anyone has questions about Discord in general, let me know. But y'all are more than welcome to join. Join us for movie nights. Join us for like showing um, off your cute outfits. Or if you need a place to vent, we have a venting channel. If you want to show pictures of your floofs, we have a new tattoo section. We have a food section. We have a Disney section, Stardew, Zelda, whatever. We have all the things. So many channels in there. <laughs> It's just a really, really, really wonderful um, discussion space to hang out with us, all of us in here, 24-7, um, instead of being limited to stream times, since I don't, unfortunately, stream every day. 
<laughs> so it's just a way to keep in touch with all these cute, wonderful, amazing people. Terrifying experience. Not only did I have to deal with the Denson sticking away, uh, my Zemi also had to deal with the crocodile that could potentially bite off my hand. I hate that for you, truly. Dr. Thomas the goat. Listen, with a name like Dr. Thomas. Yeah, that makes sense. Checks out. Do, 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 Are they a goat? Maybe. Okay. Do, 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 mm. do, 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 Okay. May that hour fly by. I need you and all my meetings, please. Thanks. You're welcome. I will be. I will absolutely be there. I got you. Going to go have dinner. Enjoy the rest of the stream. Bye, MB. Have a good dinner. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you so much. Enjoy, enjoy. Hope it's incredibly delicious. I'm actually going to use this here. Heck that rock. Use this one. Okay. Yeah, we're also going to need more pathing to go here, which is fine. That's okay. I just had a Zoom call with my doctor. My ADHD kicked in during the call. I have no clue what my treatment plan is. And now I have to wait to see what I agree to. No! Oh, I hate that. I hate that, bestie. I'm so sorry. That's the worst. When you're focusing so much on focusing that you don't focus. <sighs> and terrible. Zero out of 10 feeling. Literally though, love that to myself. It's so great. So good. Hopefully they, um, go over it with you soon <laughs> uh, it's zero out of ten hate it um i chose pronoun and reacted with the email for movie night hopefully that's right yeah let me see i'll check for you but i think you probably did it right i'll see i'll see um yeah, you did. You absolutely did. You're crushing it. You crushed it. All of y'all are crushing it. Everyone who joined recently, y'all did great. With all your roles. They're all set up right. Do, 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 do. Um, time to go home. Have a great rest of the stream if I don't make it back in time to catch the end. Bye, marshmallows. Thank you for being here. You're so sweet. I appreciate you so, so, so much. Have a good rest of your day. Drive safe, travel safe, all those things. We love you and adore you. I love you. I love you. How dare you? <laughs> Excuse me? OK. 
Okay. And a birch back here. Oak. Okay, maybe something like that. I need to make this pathway, but I don't have enough of the stuff right now, so. I'm just gonna have to make do with what we do have. Okay, I think the trees are pretty full. We'd love to see it. <gasps> it looks so pretty. Okay, but now we have to go in and like fill it in with the other stuff. I need this playlist. If you do exclamation point playlist, it's on there. Um, she kept asking me my thoughts and I was like, I have brain fog right now and have no thoughts. Oh no. <laughs> or nor. Yeah, if you do exclamation point playlist, um, it's that first link. I got you, bestie. Don't worry. Stay less. If y'all want the playlist, you're obviously more than welcome to have it. We don't gatekeep in this household. You just gotta do the command or let me know so I can um, tell you that there's a command. Because, yeah, I have it all, um, I have it all listed in there for you. Because I know it's very vibey. <laughs> very, very vibey. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oopsies. I just gotta be careful. Um. Rock moments. Maybe back here, actually. Actually, the best playlist. Yeah, I like it a lot. It's very nice. Very cozy. Very easy to like relax to, you know? Um, back to underbrush. We're gonna do. Hmm. I'm trying to like decorate this space without actually having the pathing here. I think a pink fern right there could be cute. We'll do one here. Another one over here. For sure, I'm gonna switch, so all of us is it's so exciting. Uh, that's fair, that's fair. Well, if you ever have any questions or anything, let me know. I'm willing to help with anything like Twitch related or not, whatever you might um have questions on. And will you just judge things around? Thank you. Thank you. Listen, my brain loves, loves, loves symmetry, but also my brain loves like random um random like clutter so i'm just i just uh, people ask me how i decorate i'm just like i don't know bestie truly i just take like a bush and throw it down and i decide if the color looks right for the area that i'm working on specifically <laughs> you know alex thank you so much for gifting that sub to may you're so sweet thank you for being so wonderful and supportive of not only me but also um giving me all of the emotes and ad previewing for 30 days that's so sweet of you i appreciate you Thank you, thank you, Alex. I adore you so much. Um, but yeah, for like decorating, I will just take, for instance, this area right here, right? I see that there's three green trees, so I'll put a purple bush. That's it, that's really it. If I see a bunch of purple, I put a green bush. If I see a bunch of green, I put a purple bush. That's like as much as like the thought process is for um, what color of something I grab, truly. It's like balancing it. If I feel like there's too much purple or too much green, um, then I'll like kind of fix it with foliage. So that it feels more cohesive. I'm 
Do I ever get lost in Discord? Like in all the channels and stuff specifically or? <gasps> Crystal! Crystal! How dare you? <laughs> Crystal, thank you so much for the prime subby. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for being so sweet. Thank you for the amazing support. I adore you. Just looking at all the things because you're all amazing people. Yeah, no, I do. I absolutely do find myself just looking at um, all the things that our friendos have posted and just get stuck looking at all the, the wonderful stuff. You're welcome. You're very helpful. I try my best. If I have an answer to a question, I'll try to answer it. That's what I'm here for. Here for conversation and vibing while we decorate. If I have the answer, I'll try my best to answer it. If I can't answer it, somebody in here probably can, to be honest. Um, so <laughs> we got a lot of smart besties in here. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you. Welcome in. And your stream is fun. Stop. I'm glad you're enjoying your time with us. Everyone here is just the best. I love my community so, so, so much. I love our friendos in here. They're so sweet and helpful and kind and amazing and just ugh, the cutest in general, the cutest. I could not think of a better group of people to spend my time with, truly. It's just so safe here. I'm so mad about the fountain tile I showed you in Discord. Not me redesigning my valley still. Yeah, so... Alex got this really cool item from Scrooge's that's like a fountain tile. And I had never seen it before. And it's gorgeous. And um, I need it immediately. So I don't blame you for wanting to redo your valley because of it. It's really pretty. Like, I love that tile. It's gorgeous. It's in Disney, um, during that Valley. Yeah, it's up a little bit, um, Liliana, but it is in, uh, the Disney section in Discord. I show up and get hugs and gifts. Like, wow, y'all are too sweet, aren't they? Hugs and gifties for everybody. <laughs> Where do you find gems? I have to sell them at Goofy Stall. Um, gems you find in like these little mining nodes along the um, whatever biome you're in. So um, in the plaza, they're um, they're sticking out on the wall. They look like these little these little black nodes though. So there's a lot around the plaza. Go hit those um, until you get some gems. Different biomes have different gems, but. You can do the plaza. I'm assuming you only have the plaza and probably the meadow right now. I don't know if you've unlocked another area yet, so. Thank you, you're welcome. You're welcome, you're welcome. Hi, Bookish, how are you? How are you, welcome in. I hope you're doing good. Yes, just those, okay, that makes sense. I figured as much. Oh, I'm getting close to 700, but it's fine because we're basically almost done with this section. And then we have the last like 300 almost for um the other two biomes. I'm not gonna put too much more like foliage. I just don't want it to feel empty, but I also don't want to overwhelm it. So anywhere that just feels overtly empty is getting something. Mm. Honestly, I might add another rock cluster back here. Um, actually, I'm gonna add a different. I'm gonna add this rock cluster. Um, I'm gonna get rid of the purple. I resent it on Discord for you to see. Oh, thank you, Alex. That was really nice of you. That was really sweet. 
Thank you for reposting it so it was a little bit more visible. You're so kind. Thank you. <laughs> Y'all are so sweet and kind to each other. I love it here. It was quite a way to ways up. Yeah, I figured it might have been. It was a little bit ago that we were talking about it. So I appreciate you reposting it. The camera angles of all these trees is a little wild. Okay. Um. I think we're pretty much done, besties. We're just going to go dig up some soil and walk it on foot. We're going to make some more floors, though. Let's see how much of it is. I mean, it's not going to save all of it because something's going to be, I'm sure, off. But I won't know what it is. <laughs> I won't know what it is unless it's very obviously off. Um, So this rock is not here anymore. That's fine. I can pick it up and put it back down. Uh... But yeah, I just won't, I won't know what's saved and not saved. So we're just going to like kind of just, uh, oh, you know, it's fine. I'm sure it's close enough. It looks close enough. There's really just that big rock, I think. Um, maybe this. Hello. This all feels a little squishy. I don't know why. Did I not have this? birch here anymore maybe i didn't have this here maybe that's what it was I'll move it around a little bit thank you so much for the follow i appreciate you welcome in i hope you're doing good and then Put a little glitter trash bush over here. Okay, let's walk the forest. I think it's giving the vibes that I wanted to give. Which is very lush. We just have to figure out this pathing here, because I have to make the paths. I have our little picnic area. I might do a little bit more around the picnic area to make it a little bit more obvious that there's something over here, like more cluttery stuff, but I don't want to add too much. Um, that's better back there. Hmm, this corner is a little much, so I'm gonna get rid of this. Move the tree back. Doesn't need to be that many things. Okay, that feels nice and full. A little light right here so let's move this over and this over let's make that feel better um this all feels fine okay i think it's good we just need to make a couple more pieces of uh flooring i think i have some soil but not a lot um, I can't get stitched yet because I need to get further in game. Oh, yeah. So the stitch quest is super annoying. Um, it's time locked and you the fastest you can get him is like 15 days or something. I don't know. It takes forever. It takes a long time. So you're probably as far as you can go before um, you can continue, unfortunately, because the game is stinky. I don't know why they time locked him so hard. But it's fine, I guess. 
Okay, we need to put this um, bench down here for the symmetry. We got ads coming up, so we'll stop for ads to do um, some stretchies. Step away for half a second and just uh, Hello. use the restroom if you need to or whatever you might need to do. Now will be the time to do so. While we do a little BRB. Boo, I'll do it because I love him. Yeah, I'm pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. I hate that they um, made it so difficult, though. But it's fine. It's fine. We do it because we love the boy. We'll deal with it, you know. <laughs> okay, let me just put this path down. If I can get it all. I'm not going to have enough pieces. That's fine. Bye! Have fun playing your game. I hope you enjoy it. Have the best time. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna need to make more. That's fine. I'll make a little bit more. Um, but oh, Trixie's mama, hi! Welcome in. I love this game. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing good. Um we're about to take a little bit of an ad break. I hope you do not mind. You're not going to miss anything. We'll be back in a couple minutes after they run. Um, I just like to give everyone a chance to get away from their computers and stretch and get food or water or anything like that at the top of the hour. Um, so if you need to get anything done, now is your time to do that. And then we'll finish up doing some uh, some more decorating. We'll probably finish our forest. But the baby's up all big. And I'm going to... I'm going to get up. I'll be right back. I'm just going to walk around. Go find Smokey and give him a little pets. Okay, hello. We should be back, besties. Adorable fur babies. That's Ollie. The cat was Ollie. That's Wolfie. They're hanging out. They're very cute. 
very snuggly little angels. They're always back there making me jealous <laughs> of how comfortable they look. Um, uh, unfortunately, I do not have any topaz, so we might have to do a little bit of mining. Because, um, I can't make any more lights <laughs> for this area. And I do obviously want to put more lights down because there's not enough. So we will have to figure that out. We'll have to figure that part out. Um, let's move some things around here. And don't really need this fern. Uh and probably get rid of that. Move that here. Move that here. Do I need the maple? Mm, kind of, actually. I get rid of this then. I'll do that. And add these. Little cluster. And fix the path so it's giving more curvy Dang it. like this and then hopefully <gasps> oh my gosh i think i have exactly enough tile we just need to move this back heck uh that back like that and then this back like that boom Nice. Um, I do not think we need this. If I was going to do this on this side, I'd have to take this in. Right? It just seems a little not necessary. I mean, I guess I could do it like that. I just want it to feel curvy. <clears throat> that works for me. Um, I actually may add one more bush back in here. Now it's looking too empty, so I'll take a fern and drop it in here. The forest is definitely, like, my most ambitious builds in the sense that, like, it's just going to have a lot of stuff. Um, this is not supposed to be like this. That's one thing that got messed up. Um... It's just going to have a ton of stuff. I want it to feel very full, right? Because it doesn't make sense for it to be a forest. And then have it, like, not have a lot of stuff in here. So, it's going to be very packed full of random foliage items. Which is good, but also, I obviously have to pay attention to, like, my limits what I'm doing because I only have so much that I can do but I think we're done with it pretty much other than um I obviously want to come in and add more lights I think I want to come back and add like a little fencing maybe behind this patio this uh picnic area so that it feels like a picnic area I just don't have any fencing and I don't really have the um don't really have the softwood to make it either because it's so expensive the only other lights i have are these street lamps and they're just too much and i have like a tiki torch but that's truly it um and i don't think there's really any other decor things in here that i can think of that i can use i can put like maybe some little chairs You're a pro at decorating. That would have taken me hours. I get distracted. <laughs> it takes a while. It takes a while. I kind of just got it. Okay. I will say the only reason, well, not the only reason, but one of the main reasons why decorating this was pretty easy for me is because I found my flow for this biome. When you watch me try to decorate a biome for the first time, like when we go into Frosted Heights for the first time, you'll see a lot of struggling um while i pick out like my palette and what i'm gonna be working with 
I think the most important part, something that helped me a lot with decorating was picking out a palette to work with, like picking out the four different types of trees I was going to use or the different types of bushes I was going to use. All of my options are like logged in my head constantly. So I know what I have. I know what I'm using and I know what I can like kind of play with and work with. Um, otherwise, I just don't know where to go from there. So I would absolutely recommend trying to pick out a palette if you can before you start decorating the area so that you have that like mentally and then start decorating. I feel it helped a lot, to be honest. I think it helped me. Oh, having this against the picnic blanket might be really cute. Hi, Elena. I hope you're doing good. Welcome More in. Lobbies. By the way, has anyone told you that you're absolutely stunning today? Oh, they have? Well, has anybody told you this? Happiness is like a butterfly. The more you chase it, the more it will evade you. But if you notice the other things around you, it will gently come and sit on your shoulder. <laughs> also, I'm back. Hi. Three. Hi. Hi, Light. Light, you're so sweet. You're so sweet and cute and wonderful. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for the amazing, sweet, kind message. Hello? How dare you? Thank you. Welcome back. Hi, Elena. How are you? I'm so happy I found your stream. I'm happy you're here too, Trixies. Hello. I'm happy you found us as well. It's very cozy here. Takes one to no one. Got him. <laughs> you showed me. Y'all want to see a puppy? Y'all want to see a puppy? Mm. Hi, baby. This is baby boy, baby void, baby smoky. He wants attention. Please hydrate yourselves, cutie. Okay, I will. I will get. Thank you. Nar, stop it. Stop. Mwah. I will get some water. Thank you. This is my angel boy. What do you smell? There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Oh. <laughs> Wait, Ollie in the camera. Hold on. <laughs> what is he doing? What are Ollie doing? He wants to come over. Oops, you came back with the baby. Chat, hydrate for ticks if you can't. <laughs> I did come back with the baby. Hey, warm in his belly. What a good boy. Thank you. Did you want to... Did you want your cute face? That was for you. Did you want a snack? Is that why you came in here? Yeah. I'll give you a little treat. We can all have something. It's been a while. I think this is the best they've been able to see your face in a long time. Hmm? You're usually face this way and they can't see you. Where are you going? <laughs> what are you doing? Hmm? 
Ollie messed up my light. <laughs> it was totally flat back there. Swear to goodness. There you go, you can see Ollie. Okay, baby Floof should be happy now, hopefully. Now I can hydrate. Productive day, but I get to lay down and relax and we love that, Alina. Good. Uh, I love both of it. Love a productive day. Love that you get to relax soon. Perfect. Um, let's see. Uh, what was I looking for? I think I was just kind of like looking to see if there was anything cute. I did want to put that little flower basket thingy, flower basket planter over there, but I need something for in between these tables. I think I'm just going to use the, um, the, um, what is the word I can't think of? Oh, the tree stump. <laughs> Gosh, there we go. I figured it out. I got there. Um, but yeah, I think we'll put a little stack of wood over here. Don't I have another like little cooler box? I thought I did. Like the little tackle box. Maybe I used it somewhere, but I thought I had one more. Oh. Uh... I might have used it. Heck. Thought you were going to say candelabra? I mean, a candelabra would be pretty back here. But I do not think I have one. Well, I have this one, but I feel like this is a little bit excessive. <laughs> I, I don't know about this. Um, and we'll add some torches back here. Since I have enough. For romantic lighting. Oh yeah, because I have these little like floor candles. But that's fine. Okay. And then I just wanted to add... Maybe... Maybe pink ferns here. They're pink ferns or regular ferns? Or actually plaza ferns? No, they don't look any different. Dang it. That's right. I thought they were a little different. Wait, maybe it's the Glade of Trust ones? Yeah. Maybe we'll use the Glade of Trust ferns. They're a little bit more like, they stick out a little bit more against the uh, grass in here. I love the other ferns. They just like blend in and I lose them. But I think that looks good. It gives just like a little bit of a, a little bit more oomph to the area, you know, without going overboard. But it makes it very obvious. It's like some sort of place of significance The audacity. We 
What is he doing now? <laughs> Don't do it. Oh. He leaving. He being a good boy. Oh, he coming down. Love how Ollie's staring at him and he's just like, what? Don't come over here. <laughs> As he should. He saw us watching him, probably. He felt the pressure. <laughs> he felt pressured and I was like, what? Immediately stopped doing what he was doing. Maybe I will have them swamped. Okay. I think that's fine. Cute. I like. Um, ooh. Need to fix this corner. That's better. I know it's not like symmetrical with this side, but it makes more sense, so. Okay. I like it. Cool. Um, well. Now, what we can do is we could either... Oh, I forgot the... <laughs> I forgot I left this here. I don't think I need this down. Um, also, what happened over here in general? It's all fudged up. There we go. I finally unlocked Wally's mystery quest. Now I only have two left and can start decorating. Nice! Uh, you got this. You absolutely got this. You're going to crush it. Um, also, I just realized that you're still following me, Scar. You don't need to do that anymore. Whoopsies, my bad. You've been following me like all day. Um, what we can start to do is we can go to, um, Frosted Heights and we can pick out our color palette. We can start working on that. Um, I'm not going to like decorate much of Frosted Heights today. I might like just try to lay out pathing and see how much pathing I'm going to need and how much more I'm going to need to craft because I'm going to need a poop ton of stone and a poop ton of snow. Snow shouldn't be a problem, but stone, I don't have a lot of right now, so I'm going to have to... We might have to do a resource farm day tomorrow. Um, so we're going to try to pick out our color palette and figure out what trees I'm using and what bushes I'm using and all that stuff. So let's just clear it out and get a blank open canvas so I can move around Anna and Kristoff's house since I think that's really the only building that's going up here. This is one of my favorite areas. I love it up here. I love it up here. As someone who lives in California, I just love snow. <laughs> I love snow biomes and games. They uh, make me so, so, so happy because I don't have snow here. Like, we, I could go drive up to some of our mountains here have snow, but, like, I never get the experience of just, like, snow on my front porch, you know? So I love snowy biomes. They're just so pretty. I love it. The only thing that I don't like about this biome is obviously that for some reason is unmovable and I don't know why they decided to do it that way. Um, but they have confirmed that it's intentional and not a glitch, which is stinky. So. Me too. I'm from SCU. We get um, ice storms. I mean, three years. No snow, though. Oh, gosh. Oh, goodness. Not ice storms. Hate that. As an LA resident, it would be nice to have some snow here once in a while. Yeah, right? That's odd. I wonder what the purpose of that is. I don't know. I don't know why they made it so you can't move it. Zero idea why they would have chosen that. But who knows? Um, I should... Let me see. 121. Let me steal my crafting bench from my house. Let's see how many I can craft. How many more? 121 is like not anything. Oh, 
craft 200 more. Okay. Boop. There we go. Um, right. So... This pathway is going to stay pretty much how it is. I might push it... Like, back a little bit? But let's figure out pallet and let's figure out the floor. So, obviously this tree. Obviously these trees. Um... Nope. Maybe the dead snowy trees in certain areas. I don't want to add too much though, because I do want it to feel lush. I'm just trying to decide if there's any trees that I want to add in for like. I don't want to add too much of all that. Like, and I want it to just feel very lush. So I was trying to see if there was like a green tree or something that I could add in that doesn't feel like too vibrant. But I don't think any of them really work. They're all too much. So yeah, probably just those two, which is fine. Just the frozen willow and the uh, snowy fur. And, well, the three, I guess. Technically, also this one as well. Though I'm not going to use, like, a ton of it, but I will use it in the background and stuff. So, that works. Um, underbrush. Obviously, the frosted heights bush. See, if I start adding this, though, I might be able to pull on the green. Because the frosted heights stuff isn't, like, uh, blue, per se. It does have some green elements to it, which is nice. Um, I also might add in Glade of Trust stuff. Mm. You know, I didn't even think about this. I should have used orange stuff as the... There's no, like, cute orange trees, though, but I should have used some, like, orange things in here. That might have been pretty, like, autumn kind of vibes, but I could use it up here. Maybe I'll have orange be the, the Sunlit Plateau stuff. be the accent -y color. I want something to, like that will add more color and more pop to the space. I'm sad there's not a tree that would do that. That really kind of works. Um, but maybe I'll do the sunlit things. I don't know if I'm going to use this one. I like the other orange. The other orange isn't too bad. This is good. Also, if y'all didn't know, there's like two color palettes of things. So these bushes are all in here twice. So like this is different than the other one. <laughs> this sunlit plateau dwarf maple is different than this sunlit plateau dwarf birch. They're in there differently. So make sure you're checking both color options when you're putting things down because these are all different things. Like they have entirely different aesthetics. And I like these three more than this one. This one's fine, but I just don't know if it's good. I think it's too contrasty where that I feel like it's okay. That feels fine still. Um, so we did the Frosted Heights. We have the Glade of Trust ones. Glade of Trust Maples as well. Okay. Um... What else do we have? I think that's really it. Just all these bushes. Yeah. And then, of course, all the rocks and stuff. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll use a few... Um, a few sunlit plateau things. I don't want to go overboard with it. 
because I do want it to still feel like moody, but it's just like, it's hard because these are the Frosted Heights bushes, right? So like they are already pretty vibrant and up against like these trees, they're pretty noticeable. So I might as well compliment it. And also blue and orange look good together. So since the entire biome is kind of like bluey white, the orange is going to look really nice. I think this is a nice palette. I think it looks good. I just have to figure out how I want to work it in. Um, so let's start with pathing and placement. They do go gators. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> you goober. Um... I don't think I want that to go straight because it's giving like blocky right here and I don't like it. So we're going to have it dough and do a little bit of a curve to make me feel a little bit better. This will then go straight from here, I think. Oh, I might even have it go up more, one more. What happened over here? Oh. There we go. Okay. Fixed it. Ah! Take that away. These two. It's okay. Um, this. I don't know where I want to put their house. I thought about putting it here because I thought it could kind of be cute with them in line with this bridge. But also, I might want to put them like here. Um, I like that Anna's house is actually in the snow area. Like, why is this ice house in the forest? I guess that makes sense for the flow of the storyline. Yeah, yeah. And, like, you can justify it, kind of, because, like, the snowy mountain does kind of run into the forest right here. But, yeah, no, I, I definitely, as soon as I had her house, I moved her up here because it just makes more sense. It fits perfectly up here. Also, it's really cute because, like, um, I actually might move her house more so, like, in this space. Um, so that her house kind of, like, overlooks. Elsa's ice cavern. So they feel like connected. I do that. Cause I don't like that they're all so separated. I'm gonna do again a more curvy path because I just don't like. <laughs> I just don't like the straight paths in this game, okay? But I also don't want them to be, like, super curvy. I just don't want it to be a straight, straight, straight line. Either. That's where I put the house, is it? It's a really good spot. So I don't blame ya. It's really nice. It was just feeling too cramped over by um, here. Like it was too cramped back there. I didn't like it. Ah, oopsies. Okay. Yeah. Hello, there we go. Um, I'm gonna make this three wide. Doesn't need to be that wide. Perfect. Okay. Um, I really like the bridge idea, but it looks like it belongs where it is. Yeah, it looks nice here. I liked the bridge idea, like you said, but like 
it's just hard because of this, right? Because ideally, I'd like her house probably more like here. Because it'd be really cute with the bridge leading up to it. And then I'd put like a bunch of trees in the background to make it feel nice and lush and full. But I can't put her house here because then this is blocked off. You know what I mean? So like I could put it next to the bridge, but I'd love to have it like in line with it. But then this bridge is and it's like if I did that, I'd have to put it like here. But then that's too close and it's just is just too complicated. So over here it is. <laughs> Hello. Why can't I pick you up now? Game. Question mark. Hold on. The game is angry at me. I wanted to move it over. Hello? Anna, I hate you. Well, Anna is staying there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> God, I just wanted to move it over like one tile because I realized it wasn't in line with this like little opening, you know? So that's all. Next to Elsa's looks great. I think so. I think it wound up looking really nice. Okay, so that's that pathing. It's probably going to change. So I want it to be... I'm trying to think about all the things that I want up here. Um, I really don't have much. I need a place for Goofy's area. I need a place for the well. I need a place for obviously their house, which I think we figured that out. <gasps> Hi, Lele. You know what I could have in line with the bridge is the well. Hi, I love you. That's all. Um... I love you. Well, I said it first, so. <laughs> Excuse me? How dare you? I love you more. Ooh. We'll see. We'll mess around with that. Anyways, I think the wall's gonna go back, go back there, maybe, possibly. Um, I do not want to go to work tomorrow, but I don't want to use my holiday. Mmm, tough, 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 tough. That's tough. Do I want to put the well here? The only thing that's telling me no is because um of the snow that's on it. But I could like make the pathway go around it, obviously, and not like underneath it. Um, but the other other thing about this is I think. Oopsies. I think it's gonna make it not in line with the bridge. I guess it is. Right there. But I'd also probably want to do it like... I don't know if I'm going to be able to make that work. Because of the limited space. Where is the path rounding? I know. I know. Nowhere because they hate us. I'm just kind of experimenting. I don't even know if I like this. Oh, <gasps> time to build your bookshelf. Good luck, bestie. You got this. I believe in you. I hope it goes well. <laughs> well. <laughs> Working on a well. <laughs> Alma goes well. <laughs> Good luck. Hee hee hoo hoo. Ha 
Ava. <laughs> okay, I actually do not hate it. I'd have to figure out obviously how to like dress it up with other stuff in the space, but I don't hate it. I do hate this though. The only reason I hate it is because it's not like in line with this. So it was just looking silly. So I need to just fix this path. Oopsies. I said it does that instead. Okay. I like that. <gasps> Thanks. Yeah, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I think it could look nice. With just some like fluffing of like extra um decor and whatnot. I feel like the corner is too harsh, but maybe it's not. Maybe it is. Now, why does this side look different? What did I do? Okay. Wait. Oh, yeah, no, that's still right. Props to you for dealing with these squares. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Trying my best. <laughs> okay, I think it looks better. That's a little bit more rounded. I think that helps. Yeah. Hi, Angel. How you doing? I hope you're doing well. And then we can add... Um, You know what I wish there was? I wish there was a really cute, like, little... uh. A really cute foliage item to add in. Like, you know how in the forest I have the ferns. I don't really have the fern. Like, I could, I guess, add these Glade Trust ferns. They're not too bad color palette-wise because they look kind of like... They're not, like, fully, like, vibrantly green watered, so they could work. But I don't, like, I don't want to use the little butterfly flowers. I might use a few of them, but I'm not going to use a lot because, you know, it's, I've used them everywhere, but... Um, thank goodness that bushes can go over pathing because I would cry if it was like AC. True. True. That would suck. Like, respectfully, love you, Animal Crossing, but also hate you. <laughs> like, also. No. Disgusting. If AC was like this, it'd be perfect. Oh, like this overhead, like buildy kind of vibe. I'd love that. That'd be great, truly. Yeah, mm-hmm, that'd be great. Absolutely wonderful. But no, they hate us. <laughs> I had a huge waterfall with Fauna's house on my old Switch. That's so pretty. I love that. Then I had to sell it. No! I'm so sorry, bestie. That's rough. That hurts. I'm so sorry. Nintendo, get your online save sorted out, thanks. Yeah, I don't know why there are certain games that just don't, like... That don't work with the online saves. Heckin' stinky. Because, yeah, I agree. That shouldn't be an issue that people have to, like, deal with or be afraid of. Bless Fort Dort for not even needing Nintendo Online. Wait, really? That's kind of cool. I didn't even know that. I figured it would since it's online. It's like shockingly nice of them. <laughs> God, oh my God, that is blinding me. I couldn't afford my 
subscription. I haven't gotten around to it, but yeah, still for Oh, interesting. I wonder why that is. It must be some sort of like something something with uh, Epic Games. I don't know. Who knows? Mm, oh, maybe. It could be because it's free to play. Anything that's free to play, you don't need the paid service for. I don't know. The Wi-Fi did used to be free. It's still such a weird move for them to make you pay for it. Well, like, I get it. I get it. We can't be, like, solely mad at Nintendo for it because every other company does it too. You know. Mm -mm. Do, 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 do. I need to figure out what fencing I'm using up here. I would love to use this fencing. Look at how pretty that would be up here. How do I make this? I actually do not know. I think it's a bunch of iron, obviously, but like what else? Iron and stone? Iron and, oh, I put the, I put my crafting table back. Do, 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 do. Oh, brick and iron. Oh, it's the same. But it uses more iron. Gross. The thing I have against Nintendo's online is that in general, it's worse than other um, online from other consoles. Before it was a paid thing, I'd say, yeah, it's worse, but it's free. Now I can't make that argument. I guess, I guess. How is it necessarily worse? Just like connection or what? She's adorable. I have a much hated character in the community if I adore her. Apple. Oh. I like Apple never had her, but I did make her a vacation on my HHP. Usually connections on Nintendo are way, way worse. That's fair. That's fair. I haven't really had that issue too much. For me personally, I know a lot of other people have had it, but and I know specifically like um people from like if we were playing games together and someone was really far away, then yeah. Which makes sense. That's why I wonder if they move forward and then to know online based things in future consoles. Probably, yeah. Calls her a serial killer because of her eyes. Uh, poor Apple. Games like Smash Bros. suffer from it, but casual games like AC, of course, aren't really as bad. Yeah, I can see that. Because of the nature of Smash Bros. Like, it's an online action-y game, so yeah, it's going to be very demanding. future of things we shall see <laughs> i think it will always be a thing it's just uh i'm also like wondering if it's again another hardware issue though you know what i mean um because obviously the switch is smaller so whatever like wi-fi cards that they have in there to make it so that they can connect and do all that is probably smaller um and not as powerful so it probably just has more room for error Yeah, I'm sure, listen, I have enough faith in Nintendo as a company. I know they're not perfect, obviously. No company is perfect. But I have enough faith in them as a company to know that, like, they're doing the best with what they can do, you know? And if there's a reason something isn't a way it is, it's probably for a reason that I just don't understand. So... Uh, 
Um, I'm, it'll be more developed in the future. I'm interested to see what they'll do. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested too. We'll see. We'll see how it gets, uh, how things improve on Wolf Hmm. So I remember when they banned the black market for turnips and exchanges for IRL money. Well, cause people, why are people doing that in the first place? That's wild. Heck and wild. People are goobers. I can't believe that was like actually a real thing that happens. You've never experienced the highs and lows of turnip stock exchange. Stop it. The Raymond Islands. Oh my God. Yeah. People literally selling Raymond for like $300. Like bestie. This is becoming a problem. Atrocious. To be fair, it wasn't entirely on Nintendo, but part of it was Nintendo being, um, trying to be marketable and not just adding the new characters on Amiibo cards that were like accessible earlier. Because if Raymond and them were on Amiibo cards, there would have been no reason for someone to like sell them off for real money if people could just get the cards, but no one could get them because they weren't anywhere. I accidentally ate my first 100 turnips. Oh, bestie. You ate them? I never cared about the turnips in New Leaf. I literally never knew what they did. Fair enough, fair enough. It's still a sensitive subject. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Monty. All right, be bestie. Thought Ollie was making noise, but it's the rain. I'm sorry, why did I look over to never eat the nips? A <laughs> hundred is too many. Maybe for you. Speak for yourself. <laughs> Lily is being Lily. That wasn't even Lily. It was Monty. use me. I won't let him slander you, Lily. Don't worry. I won't let him do it. She brought nips into it? Mm, no. I think you're just... I think you're just targeting Lily. It's kind of me. Kind of rude. Okay, and then I just have to figure out what the heck I'm doing over here. I need more path, a little bit more. Well, I don't really need it. <laughs> Leave my nips out of it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Can't believe Lily said that. Oh, my goodness. Y'all are wild in, as you should. Living your best lives. <laughs> do, do, do. Mm Hi, mermaid. How are you? Welcome in. Hello, hello. I'm sorry, what are we not eating? Nips, Luxa. Gone. Get with the program. <laughs> Specifically, not a hundred of them. That's too many. 
So. So I can eat 99, I guess. Only 100 is too many, they said. Sorry, bad timing. <laughs> Please. That's pushing it. <laughs> Y'all are wild, dude. I'm proud of you. I'm thinking I need to add something over here. So I need to make some more path, I think. 69! As you should. 99 is an odd number and it's bugging me out right now. <laughs> is 98 better? No, because it's less. Oh my god. I hate it here. Um, but hi, Mermaid Air between <laughs> You came in at an interesting time. How you doing? To be honest, all the times here are an interesting time. I love how I always say that, but I act like that makes it seem like it's not how this is all the time. It's literally like this all the time, as it should be, though. So, like... It <laughs> That is true, Lexa. True. I love how all this talk this started because we were talking about Animal Crossing and talking about turnips. And now it has escalated. As it should. Also, we're talking about turnips just to be clear. <laughs> we aren't talking about turnips. I mean, we're talking about Animal Crossing. But it's fine. Harry Styles. What? I love chaos, so it's okay. Good. Perfect. Yeah, we were talking about Animal Crossing. Originally, it started with Lily saying, I wish Animal Crossing decorating was like this, where it was like the overhead view like this. So you can actually see what the heck you're doing. And here we are talking about nips. So. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, that segues perfectly. You know what I mean? Makes total sense. Absolutely. But I wish both of these were like The Sims. Fair. Fair, fair. I do like how this is handled. I love how the decorating in this game is. Um, I don't have much complaints other than like, I just wish it would heck and save. <sighs> you know? I wish my game would just save. It's my biggest issue. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I want something to go here because it feels too empty to just add only trees. So, like, I don't know what to put back here. That's obviously going to be where the orb is. I can't really change that. This is going to be more foliage. I don't know what I'm going to put around here. There is, like, auto seam kind of, but, like... <sighs> if I move a bunch of stuff while I'm decorating and I back out, there, like, stuff will get moved around. It's really odd. I don't know. It's like not. It's, I don't know. It's odd. Why did my mind think of an OnlyFans parody for trees with the way you said only trees? What? Sure, bestie. Only trees. Yeah, for sure. For sure. That's why. That's why I meant. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. Trees got to make bank, too. You know what I mean? I don't tree shame in here. <laughs> you were attracted to trees. What a sentence. Now I will never be able to get that out of my head. Mm. The same Magsy don't agree with his unhinged thoughts. Oh my God. Mm. 
Why? No, I'll never be able to get that out of my head. Um, so anyways. <laughs> we're gonna do one last ad break because um I'm not ready to wrap up in 10 minutes. So we'll do one last ad break. So if you need to stretch or like maybe stop thinking about only trees, besties. And get some water, because y'all are seeming thirsty. <laughs> maybe you should get some water, get a snacky, use the potty. Anything like that, now would be a good time to do all of that. Hi, Singer. Welcome in. Hello. I hope you're doing good. Hello, hello. We're about to do ad break, um, but I'll also be here. I'm just going to um, let them go so y'all don't miss a single thing and hydrate myself. Um, y'all can get a big Ollie cam, though. He's kind of sitting there. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you. Welcome in. We can kind of get an Ollie. There you go. An Ollie and a Wolfie. While I hydrate, let me wait for these to end when they go off. They haven't started yet. <laughs> but I hope you're doing good, singer. I hope your day's been good. Yeah, Wolfie's there. Ollie's there. My avocado is there. All right, they're going. All done. Burb. Duncan, please. Bend it like a back ham. What does that mean? I know his emo friend. Look at him. All right, let me catch up on chat. Hold on. Now that y'all should be back. Let's see. Uh, um, for all these decorations in game, I only finished about five biomes. So I'll be redecorating Frost and Heights again. Oh, did you get to your item limit? Is that what you mean, you cannot? 
Also, hi, Abby. Welcome in. How are we doing good? Um, how's stream been? What have you been doing? We've been, we finished our forest singer. We um are starting Frosted Heights kind of. Um, like color palette wise, we're kind of like working and trying to figure out what we want to do. So, but we finished our forest. It was just a lot of trees, truly, really. But I'm glad you're having a good day. Also, that elbow cam was specifically for Lily, so. Um, 10 reps out of 60 for my Disney is so well. So good. You're doing good. You're doing so good, Lily. I'm so proud of you. I feel like I haven't seen Zangbar in a while. Hope they're doing well. They're usually lurkyish, Lurky turkeyish. Mm hmm I cut my hair off. Um, excuse me. Explain. How much did you cut off? Excuse. Hello. Hi. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Did you get a wolf cut update, by the way? I did. Uh, I did. It looks good. She pulled it off. It looks really cute. It's very cute, choppy. Yeah, very cute. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I meant like David Beckham. Oh, got it. Uh, I don't know who that is, really. I know his name, but like who? What is he? Isn't he soccer? I don't know. Seven inches? Jeez, bestie. That's a lot of hair. Did you do like a specific style? Did you just chop it? He's soccer. Okay, that's what I thought. I'm not into soccer. I'm not into sports in general though, so. I just know his name. <laughs> it's like knowing David Hasselhoff, you know? Like I know who that is. Do I know much about him? No. Just know the name. Going to be lurking. Hope the day is well. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate you so much. I hope your day is good too. Thank you. I'm having a good day. Um. Also, hi, Sunny. Not quite, but my item limit is around 2,500 to 2,600 out of 3,000. So being careful not to hit the max. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. That makes sense. I only know David Hasselhoff from the worst cartoon ever. Lexa? Lexa is trying to have a fist fight today, I see. Lexa is trying to fist fight me today. Got it. Cool. That's the energy we're having. Cool. Great. He was in Bluey. Oh, oh no. Light, I think you just started a war in chat. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh God. In before Light is uh, bullied by every single person in chat. Yikes. Mistakes have been made. Mistakes have been made. Come here. <laughs> Oops, my AirPods died. Rip <laughs> on Mistakes can't be unmade. Oh, okay. Well, Lily out here saying you make one mistake, never forgiving you. Okay. Band Lieb. <laughs> Come here. Hey, BB. You're so sweet. Thank you, Wally. Mm -hmm. Um, Soccer, yes. He curves the ball very well. Like he could score on a corner kick and it's amazing. Yeah, I know what a corner kick is. Uh-huh. Yes, yes, yes. Nice. Whoa. <gasps> That's so impressive. <laughs> What? Oh, a corner kick? Whoa. Got you. I got you with him forehead kisses. Come here. Give him all the smoochies. Go ahead, laugh. I don't care. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help it. Every single time this comes on. Go ahead, laugh. I don't care. I just love it. Ale. Mm. 
makes you sad, but he doesn't care. How many slots are in the medium chest? 40. To be a little kitty and receive forehead kisses? I know. Little forehead kisses. Nose kisses. Abby's hair. Did Abby post it? Abby. Abby. I don't know about the large one, 5,000. Yeah, it's a lot. <gasps> I see it. Oh my goodness. Abby. It looks so good. It looks really nice. I love it. Oh, love the undercut vibes. It looks so fluffy and healthy. I love it. I miss short hair. It looks so good. You pull it off so well. Hey, stop. You're gonna knock off my mug. Don't do that. Stop, 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 okay? No, no, Ollie. I'm gonna kick you off the desk in a second. I'm gonna kick you off if you don't stop it. What? There's nothing there. There's nothing here for you. There's not a single thing for you. I'm sorry. You, there's so much hair. God, I can see so much hair just sitting on you. Would you stop it? <laughs> I'll like, mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna cry chop you. And get ya. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Mm, 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 mm. Stop it. Stop. Ollie. 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 Stop. Mm -hmm. You're just going to sit down like you weren't doing a single thing. Okay, whatever, Ollie. Sure, 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 sure. I'm the bad guy. <laughs> So I'm the bad guy. Not to be dramatic or anything, but I would commit crimes for him. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. Oh, thanks, Lily. Thanks for confirming that I'm the bad guy. Crimes. We need to make a crimes command. I don't know what it would be. We need to make more of those. Uh, Celeste has a lot of those commands that... Um, we never use it here, but we have like a chaotic command. We need to make more like that because I think they're just so silly and fun. Well, they're like random percentages, but y'all never use the chaos command. Imagine you never check your chaos levels. I think it's chaotic. Chad has committed number crimes for pedos. Ooh, perfect. There you go. Lily, one percent. <laughs> Lily, Lily said I am angel today. Sure, that feels like a lie. That's not correct. Nineteen <laughs> percent. Light is five percent. Where's Magazine? We need Magazine uh, and Monty to do it. You should make more. I love um, checking my Goober check every day. Yeah, I can make more. We just need ideas of what y'all want. What kind of checks do y'all want? We have chaotic. We can change it. I can change it to chaos if y'all want chaos, but we can make more. I don't know what y'all want. Mm -mm. What would fit? What do you want? I can make more. They're easy. It rose. You've gotten more. Spicy check. Ooh, a spicy check would be good. Chaos is easier to remember. Yeah, I can change that. I'm here. What's happening? They want you to check your chaos level. 
do chaotic. I can change it to chaos. Is that easier for y'all? Forty nine percent. Thirty five. Thirty four. Do it again is okay. We won't tell. Ninety one. Okay, Lily. Lily said I'm either not chaotic or really chaotic. So I'm just an angel. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Boom, 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 boom. It dropped. <laughs> 69. Let's go. <gasps> let's go. Anxiety, you have the best luck today. Today is your day, bestie. 69. Poggies. A nat 69. As you should. Light, why are you bringing Lyle here? I want funny, but only I can use it. And it only says 100%. Stop it. Spicy could be good. This one is for my wife. 38. Not rad luck, so see. Stop. No, we're not trying to overstimulate people. Um, but for Rosie's not here, looks so good in you. Thank you. Thanks. <clears throat> um, let's see. <laughs> We have made less sound things because it's not a good idea. Yeah. It's too much. There you go. Now you have a spicy one. If you want one, if you want any, like they're literally so easy to make besties. Bella. So just tell me what you want. Where the hell have you been, little girl? <clears throat> just tell me what percentages you want so you can check them on a daily day to be sis. <clears throat> Rip, Lexa. <laughs> Hot and it always says 100. Yes. I like that. What? Duncan? <laughs> what? What does that mean? What do you, what, bestie? Excuse me? Bye, Sunny. You have a good rest of your night. All right, stretchies. Oh, <gasps> 99. Oh, Monty. Oh, bestie. Now that makes sense. You literally said you were talking about nips earlier. So, Monty, because of your nips. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Y'all know what it means. Do we? Do we know what he means? Thank you very little like Abby. I appreciate you. Also, thank you. You're so sweet and kind and wonderful and I adore you so much. Um, have fun uh, adulting. Good luck. Good luck, good luck. Bella, where the hell have you been, Loka? Or or it makes sense now. That makes sense now. Mm. Yeah, now that checks out. Okay. Fair, fair, fair. Probably should have known that. Oh, 
Bruno says it looks like rain. What did he tell us? No, 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 no. Oh, only 45 spent spicy because I was talking about turnips. True, true, true. But you're chaotic. Somebody get the umbrella. <laughs> Not the umbrella. <laughs> I feel like, um, honestly, that's probably my favorite part of um their part is probably my favorite part of uh we don't talk about bruno because i love their like uh their back and forth it's so funny <gasps> 69 percent spicy oh my god we've had two 69s anxiety was 69 percent chaotic you're 69 percent spicy as you should. Hi, Gash. Send help. We're sending help. I'm so sorry. Glad I got a quilt, though, so I'm really happy about that. You did. Yes. We need an exclamation point, meaning that only Gash can use. Is it what? Like his success rate for the meeting? <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying about hot dogs. Gash, do you have any funny ideas for um, percentage commands? We have spicy and chaotic now. He is currently 50% meeting. <laughs> I distract your brain with uh, giving me ideas for commands. Thanks. I did like 30 minutes when I'm dead. Oh, yeah, you did tennis. How'd it go? Why am I spot of shape? Because you're getting back into it. It's fine. It'll get better. 76. Oh, yeah, tennis. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Gash was going to tennis. Okay, Gash. Embarrassing. Not spicy after tennis. No, just tired after tennis, Julie. Tennis is hardy to degree. Yeah, tennis sounds exhausting. Not gonna lie. So you're doing amazing. Truly. Didn't understand. Do you understand? Do 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 do. You need to find a couple of friends to do stuff, like tennis with, to be more active and out of the house. Go to the places you want to do things and find people there. It's much easier. Yeah, that's probably true. Because then the people in that space are obviously going to be interested in the thing you're looking to find people to be interested in, you know? Lily just turned 69 into 96, as you should. Switch. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for getting that. You're welcome, bestie. Got you. Don't worry. <laughs> the problem kind of is I don't want to do things in particular. It's actually, for me, almost always about the people that I like. Fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, I need to get fencing. I think I'm not gonna like do too much decorating. We're not gonna do too much more, yeah, because I need to get the fencing. I think the fencing is really what's gonna bring this area to life. And the reason why I'm not liking it is because I just don't have the fence that I wanna put down. But I feel like once we get that and can make some, it's gonna be so pretty. It's just, it's gonna suck. I think tomorrow is only gonna be resource farming. To be honest, I think we're just going to do iron farming like all day because I need so much iron if I want to make any of that fence. 
like so much so we'll just do iron farming and shit chatting mainly maybe a little bit of decorating but um because the the gray fence uses a whole iron bar more than the regular brick fencing luckily i do not think i'm gonna need a lot of this fencing i will say i don't think i need a ton maybe like a hundred would be more than enough but i feel like that's even a lot Or it's level 50 to 55 when you need it, honestly, though. Have you noticed less flowers and wood spawning after decorating? No. Mm -mm. Um, that's because the way that I decorate, though, Crystal, is I make sure that there's plenty of spawn spaces inside of each biome when I'm decorating them so that those resources can still spawn in, if that makes sense. Um, I don't, like, fill an entire biome. I leave gaps so that things can spawn. Um, like if we go to my plaza, I'll show you like here, like everything is going to be able to spawn in here because it has plenty of room. Um, but like if we go to my plaza, like there's this whole empty planter. So there's a bunch of like wood in here and there's, um, my, um, herbs are in there. And then we have oh, here yeah, so and fun, yeah. there's space here too. And then space over here. And there's plenty of spots that things can still drop. So it's not too bad. Of course, all of the areas I checked don't really have anything here. There's a bunch of like herbs and flowers and wood back here that I can go get and all my little dig spots. And so, yeah, as long as you make enough room to where things can drop, um, you shouldn't really notice a decrease in your spawnables because there's plenty of space for it to exist because um, each biome has a certain number of things that it will spawn in. Like I believe the plaza and the meadow have it can spawn in 15 um, piles of wood. So as long as you have room for all that, you're good. And I have plenty of open spots. So it's all very, very full. I just have it like organized, if that makes sense. So it can all spawn in. It's also just like in controlled areas so that I know what spaces to check um, when I go looking for all my flowers and whatnot. I'll keep that in mind. You're doing great. You're doing great. <laughs> Yeah, just make sure you have open room and then it's fine. And then you shouldn't have a decrease in your spawnables. But if you decorate every biome, which you can't really do anyways because of the item limit, but if you decorate a biome like incredibly full um, to where there's no spawn space in the ground, then yeah, you will see a decrease for sure. But you can't really do that anyways because again, the item limit, I don't think they're, you might be able to decorate the plaza that way, but then you wouldn't really be able to decorate much else. <laughs> so, especially since wood can drop over pathing. So you can't really ever fully stop wood. More so like flowers and things. But it is, um, it is 440 for me. So I need to, I need to mosey on out. It's been six and a half hours. I haven't actually technically eaten. I ate donuts earlier, but I need to get actual like something else in my tummy before dinner time. So um, I'm going to do that. Tomorrow we'll do a lot of iron farming. Um, so if y'all need an iron route or anything like that, um, tomorrow is going to be the perfect day for you to watch me do mine, uh, so that uh, I can get some, I can get some iron so we can make those fences. Um, reminder again, girl, I will, I will, I will. I appreciate you. Um, ah, Fane saw. Don't forget the brown raven at 6 p.m. Thank you, Liliana. You're so sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will check. An hour and twenty minutes. Hour and twenty minutes. Fence, I love you so much. Thank you for the 45 mines. Uh, I appreciate you. Thank you for being so sweet and kind and wonderful and adorable. I love you so much. I'm so happy to hear from you all the time, always. Um, you're so sweet. Thank you. Thank you for the recipe. I hope you're doing amazing. It's nice to see you. I'm sorry that you hit the end of stream, but you're always more than welcome to message me, obviously, if you want to. So, um, but let's see. Let's see. Let's check um, Strem. Let's check Twitch. Um, but yeah, reminder, we have Discord. If you want to join, you're more than welcome to um, come hang out with us in Discord and Vibe. We have all the channels. We have a Disney Dreamlight Valley channel. We watch movies every Saturday together. We're going to be watching Puss in Boots this Saturday. Um, let me check for a red target. So give me one second. Let's see. Let's see, shall we? 
I know where we're going. I know where we're going. We are gonna read Crabby. <laughs> Smug faces on. <clears throat> new hair, does it just look good? Yeah, I have new hair. I went back to a middle part. Um, I went back to a middle part because I think I like it a lot more. I don't know. I like the symmetry of a middle part. Here's the direct link if the raid isn't taking you. Also, you can try refreshing if the raid isn't taking you and you want to go through with it. Um, but that's where we're going. They are one of our wonderful community members. So we love sending extra love over there as well. Um, if y'all could please copy your read message, which everyone um, applies to you, whether you're subbed or non subbed I would appreciate it so much. Um, if you're new here, my stream schedule is as follows. I, follow, I stream every Monday through Friday um, at 10 a.m. PT to about 4 30 pt so six and a half hours ago in your time zone is when i started i stream every weekday though so we got multiple more streams this week we're gonna be playing more disney doing some decorating all that stuff um you're more than welcome to come hang out with us and be here and be so cute and wonderful but i love you cactus thank you for stopping by i appreciate y'all so much um one of my few safe spaces in this world gosh you're so sweet i'm glad you just enjoy your time here Thank you for being here, every single one of y'all. I love y'all so much. I hope you have a wonderful, incredible rest of your day. Please make sure you get all the self-care in, stretch your legs, get food, water, um, all of that. And I'll see you in Discord, and I'll see you tomorrow for more Strim Stram. Um, but yeah, I love you guys so much. I'll see you over in Krabby's stream as well. Have a good rest of your day. Bye!